radio, which is pretty daggone cool. And if you have a smart speaker, tell your smart speaker. Hey, smart speaker, whichever one you want, Siri or you know Google or whatever it is. Hey, smart speaker, play Real, Real Radio 104.1 and iHeartRadio, and you can uh, it'll pop it on for you. What's up? I'm Russ Rollins, host of the program. And with everybody today, we're doing this until around 11 o'clock. Here's the producer, the Angel of Boom, Angel of Era. Go, go. The dance of Queen Angelique. Savannah, the Queen of Gators. Hey, hey. And the King of Gen- uh, Denmark, Ryan Hall. Let's go. Let's go. Telephone number, if you want to call, is 407 916 1041. If you want to text us, you can. People are already texting this morning. Uh, 77031. You can text the show, and uh, we'll text you back. Usually, Angel will text you back, or I'll text you back. And then when it comes to the chat in YouTube, uh, that's usually Ryan will chat back with you. And then when Angelique's here, she'll chat with you as well. So uh, that's another way to be 3D with the show. You can be all, you know, all, uh, uh, all encompassing and chat with us for the next five hours. What's up, everybody? Uh, I was up late last night. Uh, you watched it? Only a certain amount of things I'll stay up late for, and uh, and WrestleMania being uh, <laughs> one of them. And, uh, and, and look, guys, my, my streak is now broken. My curse is broken. Uh, every, no, it's not. Every, not a sport. It's not a sport. Television. Uh, every, every single match on Friday night and Saturday night, I predicted them perfectly. <laughs> no, you didn't. It, it's bro- yeah, I did. To who? Uh, to myself. I, I was like, okay. Okay, so that, first, that doesn't yeah. count. Second, I was like, I know who's going to win here. And, and second, uh, we know that it's already scripted, so that doesn't count. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It, it's still, you, you don't know the outcome. You don't get to set the rules, Russ. That's like you going, like, I predicted the end of this book. <laughs> well, I will say this. Uh, it, it, it was it was a fun WrestleMania. Who won? Uh, so, okay, so here's the, here's the thing. So, uh, Cody, I don't know, if you, know the, won. if you know the whole thing, but Cody Rhodes, right, which is Dusty Rhodes' son, uh-huh. you know, he, he wants to, he wants to end the story, which means his father never won the WWE championship. Like, he won other championships, but not the WWE. So uh-huh. he, he wants to finish the story and do it for his dad and all this stuff. And last year, he was supposed to do it for his dad. And last year, he got beat. He did. Oh, he, it's no. Like, he, he, so Cody. If, for the entire year, he wants to make the dream come true. He wants yeah. to finish the story, right? Mm-hmm. And the odds were against him because the, oh, the Rock hates him. The Rock doesn't like him. You know, yeah, the, he, like, does. Rock, the Rock oh, hates he disrespected him. the Rock. Yeah, he disrespected the Rock. So, uh, so the Rock was on the side of Rome. Roman Reigns and and the and, and, and the bloodline. Who's Roman Reigns? Roman Reigns is the cousin of the Rock, right? And he ah. and he's and he's been the champion for like a long, long time. Like, like you know, I think a thousand matches or something like uh, that. I've never even heard of him. How's he been the champion for a thousand matches? You know, he's he's been around. If you're not into WWE anymore, you probably wouldn't. You don't know, know but, what I'm into. But, well, you don't know Roman Reigns, so he's the, been the, he's been the champ for like <laughs> three sounds, years. He sounds stupid. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan. Well, he's a he's he's a bad guy, right? He's he's he's, he's, he's a heavy. He's not a baby he, face. He's He's not a baby face, right? He's a villain. He's a bad guy. And uh, so anyway, so you got the you know the big build up, and of course on Friday night, Cody Rhodes and and uh, it, it was so funny because it was Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, right? Rhodes and Rollins. It's kind of funny against uh, uh, the Rock and uh, and Roman Reigns, and they got beat. That means oh, man. that means bloodline rules on on Sunday night for WrestleMania. Oh my God! All the you know everything's against Cody Rhodes. He's, there's no way he's gonna win. They're making it the most most difficult way possible. Oh my God! It's, it's amazing. <laughs> and so two nights uh, in uh, in Philadelphia, uh, seventy four thousand people each night. Each so night. they they had wow. about one hundred and forty five thousand people. The at WrestleMania. street party that they the street events that they were doing. Basically, WWE took all over uh, Philadelphia. Yeah, and so. So a lot of the stuff that I got to see was the stuff that just all the fans and uh, like basically a tailgating version of it. But everybody was cool. It like was they, crazy. they were they were just excited that it was in town. Kel- uh-huh. uh, Kelsey, wow. uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, not- Jason. Jason. Jason Kelsey. Kelsey. That dude is still living his best life. So there's a, ma- a match, Savannah, and it was. Uh, uh, do you remember Ray Mysterio with the mask? Yes. The guy with the mask, right? So he was wrestling against his son again. His son. Oh, his, son his son calls him a dead Pete dad, and yeah. they hate each other. Oh, no. It's awful. Oh, it's awful. awful. <laughs> <laughs> so he's almost, he's like, you're, you're a dead beat dad. And then so he's about to get beat, and all, all of a sudden, this big dude comes out in a mask. And he interferes, and it's Jason Kelsey. Did and, you see and, that? And, Travis and, Kelsey's brother? Yeah, yeah. And the place goes crazy. They went bonkers. But did you see his move when he went into the ring? <laughs> what, He's in the big old giant Timberlands. Yeah. He pulls himself up. He goes over the top yeah, rope yeah, he did. to get oh, in the ring man. like a pro. I was like, 
Jason still got it. He's a big dude. Yeah. Too. Oh, wow. This so does it, not sound regulation at all. <laughs> I know. I, I'm surprised. Ah! That, I, I'm surprised they didn't do some sort of I don't know replay to see that uh, there was interference in the match. But anyway, so and they, and they had the uh, the the masks on themselves and everything. The, the place went absolutely crazy it, when it, those guys jumped in. It was great because it was, it was awesome. him and another teammate of his from the the Eagles. That the both of those guys. Yeah. So anyway, so oh. final match WrestleMania, right? Uh-huh. And so, Bloodlines. Uh, it's it blood. The bloodline is the Rock and all of the Samoan guys that have ever been in professional wrestling and so rock claims that uh, his oh. bloodline rules professional wrestling so oh, and wow. they want to keep the rule going, right? really really wow. deep stuff guys don't he's be dismissive a, know. and then dusty you know of course you know, got uh, cody rhodes his father is the american dream dusty rhodes and he's doing mm-hmm. it for the people because he's the you know he, he yeah. you know he's a, he's son, a john morgan no, of wrestling. Luchador. he's a no, blue Luchador. collar guy he's no, a son Luchador of a plumber bloodlines in wrestlemania hey, uh, we know what kind of bloodlines we want <laughs> right 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 so <laughs> son of a plumber he's gonna do it for the people right son Plumber. Yeah, that's uh, D- Son Dusty Rhodes. Of a plumber. So it's the it's the big match, and and uh, it looks like uh, Cody's about to you know about to win. All oh, of a sudden, we go. some guys from the bloodline come in, and they start they start punching him, and they're like, "Oh my God, <sighs> Cody's going to lose again!" And then all of a sudden, the music starts, Uh-oh. and out comes John Cena, and people oh, are going no. crazy, and John Cena's doing "You Can't See Me" all but over the place, can. and he's knocking everybody out, and, and like, "Oh my God, now he's going to win for sure." Well, then, well, whose the, team was the, John Cena on? He's on the uh, Cody Rhodes. Oh, right. yeah, okay. He's on Cody Rhodes, so he's helping Cody. Rhodes. Then all of a sudden, the music starts again. So it's basically white people versus Samoans. And then yep. out comes yep. the, out comes the Rock, and like, oh my God, the Rock's gonna be, get in a fight with John Cena. So he comes Not for out. Nothing. Cena and the Rock's uh, in the in the ring. That is awesome. So they're staring at yeah. each other, and they're like, oh my God, they're gonna. And it's all, gonna go down. And all, and of sudden, kiss. all of a sudden, John Cena they does. Kiss. You can't see me to the Rock, <laughs> and, and and the Rock grabs him and body slams him. Like, oh, it's over. The Rock just beat him. Not and then, good camouflage. And, and then all of a sudden. The lights go out. Dum. The Undertaker. Dum. Dude. The Undertaker's in the ring. So the Rock turns around. It's the Undertaker, and he takes him and he slams the Rock, and the place is going it's crazy. Complete mayhem it, at this point. It, it was so good. <laughs> and, and so then, and then, and then, and then, Cody Rhodes does the you know he does the crossroads one, two, three, and he wins the title, and the place goes crazy. And Mama Rhodes comes up in the ring, and, and, and it was Dusty Rhodes' wife, you know, comes uh-huh. up in the ring, and he's pointing up there, thanking his father, oh, and wow. oh my God, did it, Dusty Rhodes come down from heaven? He did he not. Did. He did not. He did <laughs> not. Did, whose ass did he saw? <laughs> <laughs> but it that's was, all that was needed, uh, Savannah. It was. Wow. Uh, oh, but I tell you something they're doing, and we can probably talk about this a little bit. <laughs> Owen Hart did too, they, but he was faster. They're oh, going overboard to make sure they're saying that this is a new era in WWE. Forget about Vince McMahon. Yep. Uh-huh. We're moving on with uh, yeah. Triple H. Triple H is the new man. Yep. They're, they're uh-huh. really trying to divorce themselves from all the stuff that happened with Vince. It's going to get ugly. Yeah, yeah I love. do all no, no. divorces. No, no, no. But the the <laughs> dirt that's on Vince, yeah. the more stuff that comes out, yeah. it's gonna be. It's and Triple H was there. Well, well, yeah, but Triple H. Well, he didn't make his. He didn't make that guy do all this stuff. He, he did. knew about it, man. That whole like, you want I me to get? You want wait, someone... wait, 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 wait! I don't know about this. What did Vince McMahon do? I'll tell you. Hey. When we, we gotta take a break. Yeah. I'll, oh, I'll tell you hell. when we come back. All right, we gotta we're wrap never up. Never gonna know. Some, some more crap. <laughs> I don't forget. Uh, uh, WrestleMania was fun. I, I won my bet. Ah, he did. Yeah, I won my bet because he did. Yeah. He, did, he, did, he, did hold the, he did hold the uh, the title up you in the ring. You won my bet on a fake okay. sport. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it was sports right. entertainment. It's, not, it's, it's, it's funny not that the WrestleMania same. was last night because I was just telling you when you got here, like I've been watching behind the ring. Yeah, yeah. Like, it started out. I was watching uh, behind the behi- comedy, behind the scenes, or whatever, mm, whatever. Dark side of comedy. Yeah, yeah. So, but it 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 like rolled over into Dark Side of the Ring when I was asleep, right? So then I woke up and I was like, <laughs> "Why am this? I watching Dark Side of the Ring?" And then I started watching Dark Side of the Ring. It's pretty good. So I have some lowdown for you guys. Okay, oh. all right, we'll do that. I'll tell I'll tell you what uh, what Vince Man allegedly uh, has done, and the he's reason why he's done enough without me even knowing. Yeah, he's nasty. As, looking. as far as Dark Side of the Ring goes, he effectively had a hand in in those people destroying themselves. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree with that. All right, uh, uh, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters of the morning need a woman in your life who responds to your most important commands hey siri play real radio 104.1 from the clausman law traffic center car crash call clausman law clausmanlaw.com 
They've wrapped up overnight construction and I-4 is now pretty quiet from Deltona to the attractions. An accident northbound on Florida's Turnpike has all the lanes blocked and diverted. At Orange Blossom Trail, it occurred just south of I-4. Also, four right lanes are closed with construction northbound on the Turnpike at the 408. And East Vine Street, US 192, is closed in both directions, approaching Smith Street in Kissimmee. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Castleberry Emergency, located at the intersection of U.S. Highway 17 and 92 and Dog Trek Road in Castleberry, is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Lake Monroe Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know a Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online at a branch or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. Here at Massey, we know a thing or two about bugs. We've been keeping pests out of homes for almost 100 years. Our customized pest prevention program keeps bugs outside, in their home, not yours. Because when we prevent pests from getting in, we protect health, home, and family. Make your home a Massey home. Schedule your free inspection today at MasseyServices.com. Massey Services. Expect more and get it. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you'll lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit FrankGayServices.com or call for details. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s, playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Gotta get back in time. Tina Turner, and more, all commercial free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. 
free never sounded so good. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Later on the show, uh, Angel of Boom tells me we got a new song by Ozzy and a new song by Fire Inside. So we'll uh, we'll debut those. Listen to those a little bit later on in the uh, program. It's a Monday. Obviously, I think everybody knows it's Solar Eclipse Day. We'll talk about that a little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, lost their mind with that. I know, there. man. They're going crazy for it. So we'll talk about really? that a little bit. We yeah. got uh, yeah. all kinds of cool stuff going on today. Welcome. What's up? Happy Monday. Good morning, blah blah blah. Uh, Ryan here, Angel here. I can't be bothered by his yeah, segment yeah. two on a Monday. And you're at blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. I want to get back to talk about Monday. I want to talk about WrestleMania. I'm having fun. I, you know, for, for me to stay up late, I stayed up late, you know, two nights. What's right? late? Uh, you say late. What do you mean? For me, right? I get up at three o'clock in the morning. So for me to stay up to eleven, that's late. Oh no, that's kind of late. Yeah, man, that's I'm crazy that late. That's even late for me. Yeah. What do you do from three until the show starts? Jerk. Uh, get- <laughs> I, I, whether it's turkey, whether I, it's beef, yeah. I try to find things that you guys will find interesting to talk about. For uh, you research it, at three o'clock in the morning. I, well, I see from three to probably three forty-five. I'm getting my beautiful hair ready. Oh, and um, I'm okay. showering. I got to shave. Taking oh. a poop. Got to shave. Got to pick out my a nice shirt. Now I've already picked my shirt out already. Uh, you picked your shirt the night before. Yeah, you I picked that shirt out on Friday. I, yeah, 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 he yeah, stops yeah. by a bowling store on yeah. the way. So what yeah. is the deal with you now wearing only bowling shirts? Well, these are, I had spoken with Angel about it. These these <laughs> are very curious these are about button up shirts. Yeah, well, I, I I don't bowl. We'll call these radio shirts. I don't. I'm not a bowling man. They're just button up shirts. Why don't you wear t-shirts anymore? Uh, just because I kind of like the way these look I, and i got you know i got a good deal on them and i got about 30 uh, so I, so I, have, so I have a different that's one why. i got a different one for every maybe day maybe sell them and no. then buy more some cool russ rollins shirts. you did I not like buy 30 of those shirts i did they're, they're like uh they were eight eight dollars and fifty cents <laughs> like, i got a good deal uh, oh my goodness. So, so I'm like, you know what? I like to button up look. It's a strange aesthetic when yeah. I watch the show. Yeah, well, you know. That's <laughs> I will say, like, I saw over the weekend four different people with your Godzilla shirt, though. Oh, did you? Yeah, and I, I, I kept going shirt. up to him, and I'm like, hey, I know a guy that has that shirt, too. And he probably said he'd go to Facebook like I did. Yeah. <laughs> Russ, uh, we're going to have to have an intervention with you in shopping on Facebook for clothing. Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah I agree. Uh, absolutely. I agree. We need to get, like, one of those, like, Monday, like, those Today Show restyle Listen. things for you. Like a, oh, listen, we're re-imaging. Listen, we're yeah. Yeah. We can have a no makeover. Yes. A makeover. That's what they're no called. No offense. The only person I would take uh, f- fashion advice from in these rooms would be Angel. Oh, he does, you, better, but, you better look around. He's, Savannah, the, one, right? he's the one saying Savannah, it, too. You dress like, you dress like uh, if RuPaul and, uh, and oh. Crocodile <laughs> Dundee had a, had a baby. And you, don't know, and you never come Damn. in dressed nice. I don't know what you're talking about. And you wear the same I shirt all the nice time. I was nice the other day. I was nice the other day. None of y'all don't have a dress. First Angel all, does. I have a style. People have copied it. People were sending Facebook yeah, of a guy I, they thought was me all weekend, and they're like, look at this guy. Is that you? And I'm like, no. That got, guy just has the riz. You got no style. Anyway, back to- uh, I have really great style, mm-hmm. and I'm the only fashionista on the show, would I you would please? Say. Savannah, yeah. you dress like Crocodile Dundee. I'm trying what are you to, talking I'm about? I'm trying to tell you right now, uh-huh. the bowling shirts are not a good look. Well, you know what? I like them. Yeah, I, it's fine if you like them. You know, and, you know? That, and you know yeah. that just makes me want to wear buy more. Well, <laughs> and, and you know, it just makes you look dumber longer. And that's, <laughs> that's fine. I, and it's not a it's a it's a button up shirt. See, I'm I'm a respectable not, man around here. It's a bowling yeah. shirt. It's not no bowling. No business was ever fine. done in bowling shirts. Which and this been... and this one's this one's got. Uh, I'm going with the theme that, that okay. a lot a lot of people think that because it's the solar eclipse that uh, that uh, spaceships are coming today, right? Viper uh, fighter. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so they think that we're going to have uh, a visit from, you know, no, they got the outer aliens space. coming in. The, uh, oh. the end of the world is co- happening. Could be Jesus. R- right at three o'clock. Uh, people are so. uh, yeah. rented their Airbnbs, w- done withdrawals on their insurances. Oh, people have gone crazy. Oh, yeah. with I the mean, solar I know eclipse. a lot of people that are traveling to the different places where it gets the a city in Maine. Out. There's 
little yeah. town in Maine that has been overrun yeah, uh, because that's going to be like the it's, like it's Jackman, Maine, where my buddy has Lake Parlin. And I normally, know about Jackman. There's yeah, a, yeah, there's yeah. a thousand up, people you? that are normally live there. There's going to be fifty thousand people there because it's yeah. right. Yeah, 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 it, yeah, it's right hey, in the middle of when everything. You wake up at three o'clock in the morning. You call that Jackman? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, not at this age. <laughs> you know. <Aww. laughs> no. Oh, that's uh, so yeah. sad. Combine uh, that with a bowling shirt yeah, and man. Just flaccid boners. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Bowling shirts. Back, back to WrestleMania and back to Vince Gross, McMahon. Gross, So Ryan. the reason that they're trying to uh, to uh, depart from the whole Vince McMahon thing and try to divorce themselves from it as much as possible and say, that, hey, you know, Triple H is the new guy, uh, is because Vince McMahon, they've got, uh, I guess it's audio and text messages and stuff of him telling some of these you know women wrestlers, <laughs> hey, uh, do this for me and, and we'll get you in a, a match. Oh. And, 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 you know, like, you know, sexual stuff. Well, that's what that well, And mm. that's like, so watching the dark side of the ring, like that allegedly Luna, right? Luna, who was the wrestler mm. and her fans were the lunatics, which I think is really cool. Mm. Um, she uh, they had asked her to um, let, I guess, Sable pull her top off. Mm-hmm. So she would be topless. And mm-hmm. she said no. Mm-hmm. And as soon as she said no. Uh, they were like doing, you know, other people that were there. They were like, well, they didn't fire her outright. They waited two weeks and then they fired her. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. she did a lot. She, she's crazy as hell. It doesn't matter if she's crazy or not. You can't ask somebody to show their boobs and then fire them because they didn't. Yeah, yeah, but she also. It, it, I know that's your philosophy on life, wait, but it's not real. No, but did, did you Uh-oh. watch the whole thing? There's a lot of stuff she did that was uh, crazy. I mean, she's she had uh, she had issues as well. well the, great Moolah, the great Moolah, the great Moolah tried to pimp her out to some guy that tried to rape her. Like great, like, great Moolah pimped a lot of women out. Yeah, well, yeah, that she, ain't good. She wasn't so mm. great. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so Vince McMahon is in the middle of all this, and now uh, Savannah, the WWE is this big corporation that's uh, it's it's it's, it's uh, public, right? It's a public stock. They mm-hmm. uh, merged with uh, so there's a equity f- uh, firm, a hedge fund firm, I think, uh, that uh, has bought the biggest two entertainment fighting uh, platforms. So they bought UFC, they bought WWE. They're under one umbrella. Aren't and- they Saudis? And they yes. are Saudis. And they're Saudis, yeah. yeah. So, uh-huh. so, the, so you know, you, the the image of WWE like, used to be, uh, who cares? It's this wrestling, and he's a bad guy, and we, he, you know, nobody would care. Now it's a big deal because they're uh-huh. their stockholders involved. Yeah. So he is now out. They uh, they paid him off, got him out of there, and his son in law is in charge of everything, and that's um. That's, but doesn't that uh, just Triple mean H. that he's still in charge? He's just not the face. I don't think so. No, no uh, Savannah, because what happened was before this move. Because some of these star, uh, stories started, uh, uh, you know, coming up to the surface uh-huh. a couple years ago, they kind of hid him away. All right, so then Stephanie and uh, Triple H were the face of the company, and Vince was kind of hidden away. When the Saudi money started coming in, he's like, "Oh hell no, I'm not missing out on this payday," and he kind of tried to reclaim uh, oh. uh, his position, and there was that caused a bunch of strife within the, mm-hmm. the company and everything. And then the, the first allegation of the first girl came out, and she detailed it uh, uh, specifically that where there's some really gross um, sexual uh, deviant kind of practices and everything. Ew. And he's a lot sh- of number two involved. Yeah. What? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. It's bad. Yeah. It's not even like okay, a little bit. We can we can no. forgive that. It, it, it's like yeah, he, he he was gross. Yeah. And that's so that's like McAfee stuff, right? Yeah. The, the, the antivirus yeah, program? Yeah. 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 It's on par with that. He, so then. He's like that too. But, you know, Angel, no. were you not surprised? I mean, I made you, my computer I, a piece I, of F. I know you didn't watch it, but if you see, if you saw the the crowds for both I loved nights, it, yeah. And, and, see, it has not hurt the brand of the WWE because, I mean, if it, I, I can only imagine how much money it brought into Philadelphia. Well, what I, w- I would say is that because they acted quickly and, uh, and were very uh, – uh, they knew what they were doing when they moved, removed him. Yeah. Um, and the, and then the deal with The Rock, and then he becoming the spotlight. I mean, that happened way quick. Yeah. Um, and so he's been the one, like, been out there. I mean, obviously, if you read between the lines, what wrestlers ever gotten to keep all their uh, nicknames? What wrestlers gotten to do get the deal that The oh, Rock he told did? Him, he told him, I will save your 
your company. Fl- fledgling, and, and I will tell you, with what he did with WrestleMania, from what I understand, he wrote most of the storyline with this thing yeah. with Cody Rhodes. Uh, and and it, wa- it was a huge success. It's memorable. Success. And, then, yeah. and think about it. Both nights, over 75,000 people wow. yeah. look at, in Philadelphia. Yeah. Look, and then just, just the um, social media footprint. Yeah. Like, it was all over my social media. It was on my Instagram. It was on my Facebook. It was everywhere. Every, and then, the, like, the, the Rock was involved. And yeah. He's one, yeah, I will tell you something. A couple things about The Rock. One, uh, listen, Father Time is undefeated. When The Rock took his shirt off, now, obviously, he's in great shape, but he is now starting to get the Hulk Hogan drippy boobs, you know, where where, where, where your skin is starting to start. Why are you, why are you watching? Why are you looking at his chest hole in them boobs? I'm just I got telling drippy you, boobs, too. It's the first time I know. I'm like, oh, my God, he's got the – remember when the first time you saw Hulk Hogan, you're like, oh, his, his boobs are kind of dripping a little bit. I have never had that conversation. Yeah. When you, when you, when you see The Rock, boobs. he's got the, he's got the, look, and he's an older guy now. He, it's been 12 years since he's been in the ring, right? Uh, it, it, he didn't take his shirt off until Dang, the very last. why la- are you throwing shade on I'm The Rock? I'm just telling the truth. Bowling shirt, no less. He, he <laughs> takes off his vest, and he's like, oh, he's got a little bit of that Hulk Hogan droop, droopy boob thing going. Who he looked said that? great. Huh? You said that. I said that. Oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> and, and I noticed it. I'm like, damn, that sucks, man. Father Time will get you no matter who you are. Uh, he looked great, but he's still his, his skin's just the worst. I was just his yeah. skin yeah. is starting to sag. Do you have droopy boobs? Uh, no, I'm fat, so you can't see the droopy boob. But uh, oh. if, if, I, if I had lost weight, I would have droopy boob. But you've lost weight. Not, yeah. not enough. I haven't hey, lost enough. Hey, pull out them droopy boobs. Yeah, pull out them droopy boobs. If I lost weight, you're I, would, fired. I, would have dro- I would have droopy boob for sure. And obviously, he's in incredible shape for the age that he is. But I'm just saying, Man. father time gets everybody. Man. Also, I'm, he's hot what takes. What's he doing, Ryan? Hot takes. Hey, he's trying to make himself feel better. No, 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 no. no. I'm, Rock looked 5,000 times better than me. I'm just saying for, for who he is in the I'm ring. I'm just saying he ain't as hot as me. I'm just saying I'm I wouldn't just, lick his nipples now. I'm just saying he got droopy boob and I don't. He, he does got droopy boob. Uh, and, oh, did you see this? This is like making big news uh, because they do interviews and stuff at WrestleMania. And they're like, okay, so uh, four years ago, uh, uh, Mr. Rock, sir, Dwayne Johnson, you endorsed Joe Biden. Who do you endorse this year? And he's like, you know what? I've decided I'm not going to choose sides. I'm not endorsing anybody uh, because, you know, I want the country to come together. I don't want to be a part of the division of it all, which says, hey, now I'm in charge of the WWE and I'm not going to piss anybody off and I'm not going to pick one side or the other. I'm not getting into politics, which is uh, super, super smart. Uh, that's, uh, that's one of the, the main stories that I got this morning is The Rock has decided not to endorse anyone. When how is that president. super, super smart? Uh, that's just like not talking about politics. You no, know, I know it, but that's smart. Last time he endorsed one side, which pisses off 50%. You know, if you're in charge of a company that is, uh, uh, you know, worried, worried about the stocks you're selling and everything, you don't want to piss off 50% of it. Like if you're yeah. just a wrestler, nobody cares. You can be a villain, no, but now he's in charge of WWE, all I the stock. I understand what you're saying, but I don't, his, probably his biggest uh, brand is him. Yes. And he's got the new men's products that he just dropped. He's got the tequila. He's got other things that are, uh, Droopy you know, boo bikinis. Yeah, and yeah. the Droopy boo bikinis. Uh, yeah, and all that. So I'm sure sure that the the WWE part of it weighs heavy on it yeah. but I'm sure his own brand does as well and the point where he's gotten now too where he's jumping into different markets and different uh items that people wouldn't think that he would do right you know so yeah you got you got to kind of walk that line you got to worry about yeah. it now. he did but 4 years ago he didn't care you know uh it was a different uh, a different thing so uh that was um that, that was pretty interesting but but um uh yeah man it was it was a fun it was fun to watch WrestleMania I don't watch wrestling all the time like I used to but uh it was it, a lot of a lot of celebrities were there Snoop Dogg came out oh. Snoop Dogg always comes out like and people <laughs> love Snoop Dogg like he yeah. probably got one of the biggest pops of anybody that mm-hmm. entered the ring uh, Bubba Ray Dudley came out he's kind of an old friend of the show he's been on the show several times and yeah uh, he came out and uh, because he had that uh, affiliation with WWE. Or, or, or w, what was it? EC, ECW, ECW. 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 Yeah, and ECW started in Philadelphia, so they were going crazy they for that. that. That Gage guy out, and what's his name? Nick Gage. He's like the ECW superstar, the one that got beat up all the time. Oh, what got, is his name? I know who you're talking you about. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. I think he died. I think no, like, he didn't. He didn't? He was what? in the show I just watched. He didn't die. Oh, that show's old, though. But um, uh, you're talking about the black guy? No. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh. I know who you're talking about, though, but not him. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, who else? What other celebrities were there? 
Man, wrestling's crazy. But from watching Dark Side of the Ring, here's what I know. Every story is the same with very few exceptions. <laughs> what do you mean? Every story is people work their ass off to yeah. get into wrestling. Right. Then they get on drugs. Yeah. Then they lose everything. Yeah. Then Vince McMahon brings them back for a second and then just completely destroys and puts their thumb on them and it destroys the rest of their life. Is this the wrestling or is this the monsters? And you know what the... Ah! Russ, you're the Vince McMahon of the monsters. He <laughs> has pooped on them. You know what the story what? is, though, too, uh, Savannah. It's they, they all of them have a ton of fame without money. They, they're, they're, everyone knows who they are, but they barely make any money. That, that's another big part of the story. I so, know how that feels. So if you have all the fame, you don't have <laughs> the money. I've worked for iHeart for a long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not. Uh, it doesn't seem to be as worth it if you're not getting paid properly. Now, <laughs> you know, like, yep. like Ric Flair, get, you know, he got paid, and a couple of the other ones. But some of the people that you're with, Dark Side of the Ring. They had all this fame, and they were making, you know, I penny. understand. I bet Ryan does, too. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Vince McMahon, he was making all the money. Yeah, you, I might, you might recognize me at a Target, but I can't buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> you can walk out to all your adoring fans, and then somebody could say, well, you buy me a drink, and you'd be like, no, nah, I can't afford it, yeah. man. <laughs> or you go on the brew bus, and you're like, man, I hope they're comping some of this, because <laughs> I can't afford a drink here. <laughs> You're providing lunch, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, can I have your free Jimmy John sub sponsored by Mo DeWitt? I got to say it, I can't eat. Hey, I, I know you don't want to believe it, but the truth is when we first started this, I, I was in the same situation. We we, th- we would go on monster cruises, and I'd have to go and, and get all my change to try to get enough money to be able to tip when we went on the cruise. Thank God for the coin star. The coin star, right? Savannah was with me. Like, like we like we didn't have money. You know, it, it takes it takes some time, especially through a big corporation like this. Yeah, Ryan, it takes some time. How long have you been here? Yeah. yeah. How long did? How long were you broke? Uh, probably ten years. Oh, six right. years. Yeah. Before, so like, no. what, four more years Six left? years here. I I, 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 was, I was the biggest draw. Me and Bubba were the biggest drawing entities on real radio, mm-hmm. and probably iHeart at the time. Truth. And neither one of us was getting paid by the station. Yeah. But we were selling out venues all over Orlando. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, so you're sort of well, like... Well, you know, things have changed, haven't they, Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so different. Yeah. Sort of like professional wrestling. Yeah, sort of the sort of, sort of the same thing. Um, oh, Russ has also decided he's going full heel against you. I don't know if he told you about this. Full heel against me? Mm-hmm. For what? That's not what I said. No, oh, we got, we got, we got, no, we got, no, we got five no, hours of show to fill. Oh, we'll, let, we'll fill you in on this. What, what? Well, Russ did call me the other day and started a conversation that I had to immediately say, you know what? We're not talking about this on the phone. Uh-huh. We'll talk about it on the air because I don't oh. feel comfortable with you trying to schmooze a situation into what you want it to be without my counterparts here. Uh-huh. Well, we'll, oh. we'll talk about, I got that to talk about later. So we'll talk about that coming up a little bit with the, uh, not the, time. Yeah. Not time there. Uh, wow. Fuzzy face. <laughs> what happened to you Wait, this what? weekend? Fuzzy what face. Who the hell are you Who calling fuzzy face? face? Yeah, well, is it me? That's is fuzzy it, face. It, it's, is it, oh. is it me? I'm fuzzy face. You're fuzzy I guess face. So. That's a cute little nickname. You're the only I'm going to call. Uh, hey, let me sit on that fuzzy hey, face. Hey, you want to get on this fuzzy face? You're the only one with a beard. That's not true. We have Angel Rivera. He's also yeah. a bearded man. Well, I wouldn't disrespect him like that. And Angelique has a slight mustache. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I forgot. My bad. I, I, fuzzy face That's to my early. left. You're, you're going in early, huh? <laughs> yeah. Got to get it in. <laughs> you forget by 11 when you can hit me. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, of course, we will discuss the uh, the slap shot uh, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, yeah, we need to bit. talk about that. Yeah. We'll we talk need- about that. And we then, need uh, for everybody to hear what is actually going on. All right. Well, we, but I'm not doing that now. We're doing that later. So uh, <laughs> Stop hold on. Stop trying to be the boss of me. Uh, <laughs> I know you had from three to six to do whatever jerk nonsense you had, but, <laughs> jerk but we're doing a show now. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what we're doing. All right. We're taking a break. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Macho of the Morning. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This is three time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. The Magic take care of business, beating Chicago. Paulo Bancaro, 24 points. The Magic, with four wins in five games, are currently tied with the Knicks for third in the East. College basketball, UConn tonight goes for a second straight national title, facing Purdue in the championship game. Meanwhile, big coaching news in college hoops. John Calipari, after 15 years in Kentucky, reportedly leaving the Wildcats, agreeing to become head coach at Arkansas. I'm Matt McCoy. 
Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward, like banners, flyers, signs, and catalogs, some even same day. And now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Offer N61. Visit staples.com slash print for details. Staples, your local print and marketing expert. You want something super clean? Zero Res can help you. No one can clean like Zero Res because only Zero Res cleans with a patented ZR water. No soap, no residue, no harsh chemicals. Here's the thing. If there's no soap, okay, no soap, no residue equals soft, fluffy carpets that are super, super clean as they clean or longer. That's right. Zero Res uses no harsh chemicals. Uh, they use this uh, P- uh, ZR water, and it keeps everything beautiful and clean, and it's purely safe for your family and your pets. Zero Res. Uh, they t- don't take my word for it. Go over and check out a 1,000 reviews uh, that are uh, 4.9 and 5-star ratings, uh, 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 Google reviews. Zero Res in Orlando has been a franchise, been around for a long time, and they're awesome people. Zero Res was in my house just a few weeks ago. They did a great job with the tile and the grout. This month, Zero Res is offering 25% off floor cleaning. Visit OrlandoZeroRes.com to book your appointment now. It's OrlandoZeroRes.com. Mention my name, Russ Rollins. They're going to give you this, that discount, 25% off. They can clean everything beautiful. It's spring, so it's time for spring cleaning. Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards, it's the right way to clean. They're modern-day con artists, and they're the focus of Creating a Con, a true crime anthology podcast. Season 1 spotlights Ray Trapani and his tech startup scam, endorsed by DJ Khaled and Floyd Mayweather, and built on empty promises and millions from built investors. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I don't think start a business. I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme, and I can't help it. Listen to Creating a Con on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Creating a Con. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. I'm Rebecca. I was injured in a car accident and hired one of the big TV law firms. They sent me to an injury clinic that I felt just wanted to make money off me. I needed an attorney and doctors who cared about me. I called attorney Glenn Klausman and he helped me get the best doctors who really helped me. I was extremely pleased with my settlement. He also got me $10,000 for vet bills for my dog that was injured in the accident. And he did that for free. Call attorney Glenn Klausman at 407-917-1718. That's 407-917-1718. Glenn Klausman, Office, Winter Park. Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's Injury Attorneys. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. Homeowners, do you need a new patio, driveway, or front walkway? Install Brick Paver can give you a beautiful outdoor living space. Would you like a custom fire pit for relaxing with your family? Or a custom outdoor kitchen or pool deck renovation? Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise, Install Brick Paver can do with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. Get a free quote for your outdoor project at 407 407- 407 
337-4040. Install Brick Paver is a family-owned and operated company with over 20 years of experience and fantastic Google reviews. Call today and get $250 off your next project. Buyer pits, paver driveways, patios, and pool deck renovation. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free quote and $250 off your next project now at 407-337-4040. That's 407-337-4040. Donald Trump Jr. here. Since January of 2021, the cost of living has increased by 17.9%. You can't get that money back, but you can stop your losses by diversifying into a gold IRA from my friends at Birch Gold Group. To learn more, get your free info kit on gold IRAs by texting the word SHELTER to 989898. That's SHELTER to the number 989898 to get your free info kit from Birch Gold now. Message and data rates may apply. International Diamond Center. Big sale coming up, man, on April the 19th, 20th, and 21st. Extraordinary sale, International Diamond Center. Their prices are already right, okay? But now, on April the 19th, 20th, and 21st, you get extra savings across the board, 20% off at the International Diamond Center. Special financing up to three years with zero interest on any kind of rings, bands, bracelets, earrings, fashion jewelry, whatever they got, 20% off at the International Diamond Center, even thousands of engagement ring mountings up to 20% off at the uh, at IDC, the International Diamond Center. Unbeatable prices. Great spring event coming up once again, April 19th, 20th, and 21st. If you're thinking about getting engaged, that's the time to go. The best is the best thing of the year. It really is. It's huge. And, and it's, you know, get three year zero interest financing at the International Diamond Center. Exclusive bridal vendor, vendors will be there. It's once again, April the 19th, 20th, and 21st at the International Diamond Center. Four beautiful locations to choose from. When you go there, there's not, there are not salespeople that work on commission that are trying to upsell you. These are sales folks that are trying to help you, you know, find what you're looking for, for, you know, what fits your budget. It's the International Diamond Center. You can shop online by going to shopidc.com. It's the International Diamond Center. Happy Monday. Today's the day of the solar eclipse. If you don't have any of the uh, solar eclipse glasses, uh, I don't know what to tell you. They're saying they're sold out everywhere. Uh, people were, uh, were selling bogus ones that don't really work properly. Uh, uh, they're, they're, people are scrambling for them. Uh, I guess uh, Home Depot and Lowe's are getting a bunch of phone calls. They're out of them. So if you didn't get them from us on Monday, uh, too bad, man. I don't tell you. Uh, Sell them on Friday. Bucks. We had a, we had a, on we, Friday we did that. Friday. Yeah, or, today's or, Monday. Oh, I, I said Monday. Yeah, <laughs> Friday. If you didn't get them on Friday, uh, we gave away like two thousand of them. Dude, that was to, awesome. Thanks to Solar Source, and we have. I mean, I mean, hundreds of people coming through the parking lot. We should make yeah. that a regular Friday thing. And, Beers uh, in the parking lot. Some barbecue and let's give some stuff I away like for that free. Idea. Savannah, did you, you got yours right. Yeah, I did. Angelique <laughs> did you, needs some. Yeah, yeah I well, need to get some. Well, you got three. Can you give her one? Well, can't, isn't no, there, you like, have an is there more? One? No, no. They no. had 2,000 pairs. No, no, are you not away? listening to oh, what you he's saying? Oh. They're gone. They're we gone. were listening, Angel, but sometimes you put stuff aside. Yeah, no, That's no. all we're asking. Well, I mean, we a... just learned today that you were here to this morning. so we uh, went Absolutely up. not. I walked out the door on Thursday and said, I'll see you all on Monday. I absolutely said that before I left, and I said it multiple times okay, so I... that I wouldn't be accused today of just coming in. No. Oh, snap. I told you guys last week because I'm going on the cruise ship and i said i'm coming she here before i go on the cruise you. ship i knew I, I knew she was coming in today dang uh, she clapped back on you hard yeah. angel no I, I i'm following the rules uh-huh. i'm following the rules anyway meanwhile uh, you still have no glasses <laughs> <laughs> okay then well, I, you know. savannah you got three oh, pair can you give her just one yeah i'll give her a pair of mine right, give her Damn. one uh anyway so <laughs> why don't you give her yours you flopping them around over there like you're a flaccid wiener <laughs> i only got one really. that's my one i got droopy jew boob juice on yeah um, but thanks, what was that? thanks to Solar Source for uh, for making that happen. They were very and what nice. a great connection, Solar Source and the Eclipse. Works. Like that's so smart. Yeah, yeah they, they, that's they, great marketing, Solar Source. So on uh, yesterday, once again, I normally don't do things on a Sunday. That's usually my day to do what I, whatever I want to do. But uh, but uh, they had the Raise Your Glass event with Superman HPV. Right, he's been coming in here, and we told him that we would do that. And that's how he's known. It's so funny because this there were like three hundred people at this Mercedes Benz uh, uh, place, and I would ask people, "Do you know Jay?" Jason, like Jason, uh, and they're like, oh, Superman HPV. Like, that's how they know the guy. Uh, but uh, he helped to raise almost, it was 90, I think $98,000 
for cancer survivors, for people who have survived wow. cancer, to help uh, other people, you know, get to their cancer, uh, you know, screenings and stuff like that. Uh, really, this guy really, really does care about helping people because he had cancer. He thought he was going to die. He wrote these letters to his kids thinking he was going to die, and he made yeah. it. So he, when he made it, he decided he was going to help other people, and he really does. He's a super nice dude. So anyway, so I go, and you know me, I'm a little early to everything, but they said setup was at 2. And I'm like, well, if setup's at 2, I'm going to get there at 2 when they say that's when setup is. Uh, no one else was there at 2 <laughs> but, but me. Uh, but uh, but I got to pick the spot that I wanted, right? I saw so, your post on Facebook. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm here at the, the event. Starts at 5. I look at the time like it's 2.30. Two I'm like, what are you doing, man? <laughs> it said on the thing, it setup's at 2. I thought there would be, you know. So, so anyway, I get it there too. Uh, and and, and, and I, can, I can pick whatever spot I want. I'm like, okay, here, here, here's my thought process. I'm like, listen, the band is going to be set up right over here. If I set up by the band, right, uh, then I'll be able to, you know, as they come by, I'm, I'm letting people sample the whiskey, but I don't have to do a whole lot of in-depth, like, small talk. I can do, hey, you like the way? Oh, it's so loud, can't hear you, and you move oh, okay. on. You're like, uh -huh. uh, you know, so I'm, yeah. you know, I'm like in a good spot where I could do say, hi, how are you? Here's try some whiskey. It's 80 proof. I think you'll think it's smooth. Thank you very much, and then you can move on because mm -hmm. it's so loud where the band is. Uh, the guy that sets up, and I want to give him a shout-out because because, you know, I didn't know how it was going to be. I didn't know, well, maybe the music's going to be too loud. I don't know. The guy's name is Alan Darcy. I don't know if anyone knows Alan Darcy. But Alan Darcy comes, and, you know, there are certain instruments, like when you go to, I don't know, like junior high school, and you're like, you need to play the clarinet. I'm like, well, who the hell is ever going to play the clarinet in the rest of their life, right? Or the saxophone. Who's going to play a wind instrument, you know? People play. Oh, no. What did, what's this guy play? He plays wind wind instruments. Okay. That's, his, that's his thing. He plays all these wind. And I'm, mm -hmm. and, and I'm thinking to myself, that's the one thing that they tell you you're going to use in, you know, band and uh, <laughs> junior high school but you never use this dude it plays every wind instrument there is. They bring he brings a drummer with him, and he's, everything else is like backing music. But he plays like saxophone, and he plays uh, flute, and he and I know it doesn't sound super cool, but I'm gonna tell you, it yeah. was awesome. This dude, I mean, he rocked the whole like all these different songs, and you're like, that's not a song you would use with a. Fl oh wow, look at that, <laughs> you know. And he would do it. So shout out to uh, Alan Darcy, who uh, kind of became the a buddy. Uh, he played. Mm -hmm. he, he had this other weird instrument too, Savannah that. Uh, I don't know. He told me what it was called, and I can't remember. But it it, it sounded like every wind instrument. It, 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 you hit a button, and it could be a different wind, wind instrument. Mm. And um, and he killed it. He was he was amazing. And then okay, so uh, Daisy Del Toro shows up. Now I got a little table set up, and half of my table is. Um, my triple R whiskey. You know, what time did Daisy get there? Uh, Daisy got there. See, the thing started at five. She got there at four. 58, <laughs> two minutes before, <laughs> which, you know, drives me crazy, you know, like, oh, my God, you know, thank God I was here to set up everything. So mm -hmm. she showed up a little bit late, but she brings one of her Mexican girls that's in all the regalia, right? Yeah, like yeah. the feathers and the whole thing. And, um, and you know, Daisy, even on a Sunday, is drinking whiskey and drinking tequila. <laughs> and I'm like, she's doing shots with people. They're like, hey, I'll do the shot with you. And she <laughs> she she got a little tore back and was dancing and partying and having uh, a good time, having a good time, and uh, it made our little booth the focus of the entire thing because uh -huh. we had the girl with the thing and you know and, and yeah. so so it was great. Met a lot of listeners, man. You, you know, you always wonder, okay, are there listeners in Maitland? Are there listeners in Winter Park? You know, these are fancy rich people. They they're going to the Mercedes Benz, you know, dealership. Yeah, man, we got a lot of listeners who they just don't tell nobody. They don't tell yeah. anyone. It's a see. I'm, I, yeah, we're the ugly secret, right? Uh, uh, and uh, so uh, Speak for yourself. So uh, many of them mentioned you, Savannah. Uh, of course, they did. Several of them. Uh, uh, it was that's it, my people. It just was good. It was uh, it was a great event. So congratulations to uh, to Jason or Superman HPV. He did a great job. Raised a lot of money. And uh, our name is on the car. I took a picture of the I saw that the, the logo on the car, which was very very nice. I mean, so the you... Monsters logo is on an HPV car. Is that what you said? Yeah, I'll show you right here. It sounds a, accurate. Well, it's not called the HPV car. <laughs> uh, it's the, the HP Humvee. Uh, <laughs> whoa! Ah, it, it's ah. it's actually a, a Mercedes, and they wrapped the Mercedes, oh. and they they put a whole bunch of different. Uh, they had all kinds of sponsors there. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, you know, people with the uh, people with cash. 
people with money. So it raised, yeah. raised a lot of money, and it was a really cool event. So thank you to everybody that came by and said hello, and congratulations to them for raising so much money for uh, you know for folks that have survived cancer and uh, and to kind of prevent cancer. Angel, what prizes do we have for the prize pinata today? Today's prize pinata is brought to you by Central Family Moving and Storage. They are Central Florida's trusted source for local and long distance moving services. From packing to delivery, Cento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can get into your new home, your new business, in no time at all. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress and move with the best. That is Cento Family Moving and Storage. Russ, in today's prize pinata, up first, we have a pair of tickets to. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. You remember the band Uriah Heep? Yes. Yeah. You remember the band Saxon? Yes. No. They are playing the Plaza Live Theater on the 25th, 425. So we, got that, pair, uh, we got a pair of tickets to Uriah Heap and Saxon at the Plaza Live Theater, April the 25th. Wow. Uh, you can get tickets at the Plaza Live uh, uh, t- through Ticketmaster and Plaza Live uh, box office. We also have a pair of tickets to Earth Day Birthday. And that's going to be at Central Florida Fairgrounds. And uh, a pair of tickets to Earth Day Birthday at Central Florida Fairgrounds, Saturday, April the 20th. That's in a couple weeks. Uh, we've got the full lineup uh, there at realradio.fm slash events. Those are the prizes in today's prize pinata, Russ. All right, we'll do trivia when we come back, so you might want to get on the line. The telephone number is 407-916-1041. When you win trivia, let's say you get it right, then right away you take a prize. We get to know you, get to talk to you. You can tell us about something that's important to you, so you get a, a, a free commercial, a free plug on Real Radio. If you don't get it right, you've got several folks here that can help you. It could be Savannah or Angelique, Angel or Ryan that can help you out. So you still have a chance to win. Good luck to you. We'll do trivia when we return. The the, the phone number is 407-916-1041. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Do you do words good? Prove it. The talk back feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1. Tap the microphone and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. This slow traffic eastbound on I-4 from U.S. 27 to State Road 429. Northbound Florida's turnpike is very slow from the Turkey Lake Service Plaza to State Road 429. The reason? Four right lanes are closed with construction. East Vine Street 192 has reopened at Smith Street in both directions in Kissimmee. We have slow traffic northbound on the Greenway near the University Toll Plaza. And if you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. At Rasmussen University, we offer 50-plus programs from health sciences to business to nursing, online and on campus. Are you ready to rewrite your story? Learn more at rasmussen.edu. Carl Black Chevrolet wants to send you and a friend on a road to Nashville for a fun-filled weekend and tickets for two to see outlaw country singer Cody Jenks on April the 27th at Ascend Amphitheater. Log on to realradio.fm slash contest and register for your chance to win two lawn seats in the Carl Black Chevy Silverado. Carl Black will provide you with round-trip airfare for two from Orlando to Nashville. Plus, you get $200 in spending cash right in your pocket. They're going to spring for two nights in deluxe hotel room accommodations in the Omni Hotel in Nashville. So, log on to realradio.fm slash contest and register for your chance to win a pair of lawn seats, tickets to see Cody Jenks in Nashville, plus you get cash and you also get the deluxe hotel accommodations in Nashville. It's Carl Black Chevrolet Beauty. And GMC East Colonial Drive, one block west of Alafaya. Online, go to carlblackorlando.com. Chevrolet, together, let's drive. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1 800 747 free for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. If you're a contractor who excavates... You can put time on the side of safe digging. 
Help locators save time and work efficiently by not requesting your tickets too far in advance, by giving detailed location descriptions, and by always pre-marking with white paint. Working together works better. Safety is in your hands every dig, every time. Always visit sunshine811.com or call 811. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. For over 35 years, we've grown by offering our clients more, more offices, more lawyers, and recovering more than $20 billion. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I'm concerned about my water heater. If your concern is of a serious nature, press 1. If it's more of a frivolous matter, press 2. Doesn't even make sense. Just press 1 or 2. Fine. Fine. What are you so concerned about? My water heater's like 15 years old and I'm worried it might... Oh, this is exciting! Has it burst yet? Well, no, but... Only a matter of time. Hey, everyone! 15-year-old water heater, place your bets! Are you laying odds on when my tank will fail? Have to make this call interesting somehow. This would never happen at Frank Gay. True enough. So, $10 buy-in. What's your guess? Guess I should have called Frank Gay. When you need a new water heater, it's no time to gamble. You want your problem fixed fast before it turns into a bigger one. That's the Frank Gay way. I've got a side bet it'll hang up and call Frank Gay in three, two, I win! That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com. Get ready for three days of extraordinary storewide savings at International Diamond Center. Not this weekend, but next weekend. You get extra savings across the board, up to 20% off. Rings, bands, bracelets, earrings. Best prices all year and up to three years zero interest. Next weekend at IDC. Donald Trump Jr. here. Since January of 2021, the cost of living has increased by 17.9%. You can't get that money back but you can stop your losses by diversifying into a gold IRA from my friends at Birch Gold Group. To learn more, get your free info kit on gold IRAs by texting the word SHELTER to 989898. That's SHELTER to the number 989898 to get your free info kit from Birch Gold now. Message and data rates may apply. In this week's Marketers Report, Dana Nussbaum, Executive Vice President, Worldwide Marketing at Warner Brothers Discovery, weighs in on regional audio marketing. Although we're marketing at a very broad scale, it does include specific local markets, and that's the beauty of iHeart's network. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to the audiences, influencers, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Good morning. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner with your Fox 35 Central Florida forecast. Today we've got a partial solar eclipse visible. It peaks at 3.03 p.m. It'll be covered nearly 60%. Make sure if you look at the sun, you always wear those special protective glasses or you can see the eclipse in the dappled sunshine under trees. It'll project as a bunch of little crescents. Pretty cool to see. Otherwise, a high today of 80 degrees. Our next chance for rain comes on Thursday with showers and storms. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Castleberry Emergency, located at the intersection of U.S. Highway 17 and 92 and Dog Trek Road in Castleberry, is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Lake Monroe Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to MillsAir.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Making his way to the ring from Orlando, Florida, Triple R, Russ Ray Rollins! Man, she was, she was all over WrestleMania, man. She is the official announcer. I did see that. Yeah. I, I saw her on, uh, on uh, I saw a bunch of what was going on on Saturday, and uh, she... 
She's amazing. She's amazing. Yes. And when Cody Rhodes won, she was crying. Yeah. When she was doing it. She was so she was so moved because you know he, he had finished his story. Oh my God. Hey, let me tell you about uh, Home Builders Network, HBNUSA.com. HBNUSA.com. It's my buddy, uh, Mike, the home builder. He did a great job for Angelique, did her roof, and did a great job, right? In and out in two days and cleaned up after himself. He also can patch your roof if you need a, a you know a patching. You don't have to have an entire new roof. He does windows and doors. He also does gutters, uh, custom-made gutters for your home, and he'll put the covers on the gutters so you don't have to clean them out. Does a great job, but if you need someone you can trust for your roof, it's Mike from HBNUSA.com. HBNUSA.com. Great installation, excellent service, really great dude that's uh, been sponsoring the show for a couple decades now. So it's someone you can trust. He's a good guy. HBNUSA.com. Who do we have on the line to play a little trivia on a beautiful Ooh. Monday morning, the day of the solar eclipse? We got Corey from Port Orange. Hello, Corey. How you doing? Good. How about you, Russ? I am wonderful, man. Are you doing anything special for the solar eclipse today? Uh, not looking at it. <laughs> yeah, it just, <laughs> I just ain't gonna look at it. You didn't get Smart. like a you didn't get like a cereal box or anything to put a hole in it and all that kind of stuff, did you? Nah, I'm not going to even waste my time. I can see it on the news. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, we have a trivia question for you, buddy. If you get it right, you're the king. You get to plug and promote whatever's important to you. If you don't get it right, you got several folks here that can help you. It could be Angel or Ryan, Angelique or Savannah, okay? Sounds great. Let's go. All right. It's a national day today. Uh, the, the first one of these was sold in the United States, shockingly, at Taco Bell. Uh, although the uh, this delicious di- dish uh, came from Europe, these have uh, made their way to other countries and other cultures like Argentina, where they're stuffed with a fruit filling uh, dessert, and then Jamaica, where they're called Jamaican patties. What food are we talking about? Uh, could it be the Taco Taco? It is not the Choco Taco. Mm. Who, who do you want to help? You've got Savannah, Angelique, Angel, or Ryan Holmes. I love the Choco Taco. Let's go for Angel. Angel. Uh, the first one of these was shockingly sold at Taco Bell in the United States. Uh, and other, It's moved its way to other countries like Argentina where it's stuffed with uh, like a dessert filling like fruit. And then in Jamaica where it's uh, called a, a Jamaican patty. What food are we talking about? Uh, quesadilla. Quesadilla is incorrect. Mm. Oh my god! Who do we got next? <laughs> Josh from Lake Alfred. Hey, Josh. Josh. Hello. Hey, buddy. What, uh, this uh, this food was originally sold at uh, Taco Bell, but it's made its way across the world in different uh, cultures, different places. Uh, Argentina fills it with uh, with fruit for a dessert thing, and then in Jamaica they call them Jamaican patties. What uh, what food are we talking about? Mm, the only thing I can think of would be an empanada. Yep. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> It is, Angel, I'm disappointed in you. It is national. <laughs> it's more fun when we get more callers on the air. Uh, empanada <laughs> day. Uh, and, you know, I, I, if you told me empanada, I, I don't even know what it is. Like, I, I've heard the word. I didn't even know what an ap- uh, empanada was. Have you ever had a oh. Jamaican beef patty? I have. Okay, so it's the same thing, but different stuff inside. Gotcha. So what's inside if, if you get it from Taco Bell or from Mexico? Well, I don't think Taco Bell sells empanadas anymore. I think they just started it. I don't think they still do, but maybe they do. So what's a traditional um, empanada? So a traditional empanada would have, like, like it's a crusty thing, and it closes up on the sides, kind of like a pie or like a popover. Yeah. And then you fill it with, like, ground beef and seasonings and stuff like that. Some people put rice in it, depending on where you are. Okay. Uh, they make chicken ones. Seasoned pork. Um, yeah, oh. pork yeah. ones. You've had empanadas, dude. Yeah. yeah, you have. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think they brought them over yeah. from... Uh, 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 Planet, Hollywood, uh, Planet Hollywood Planet brought them uh, one time. Uh, yeah. I think Hard Rock's brought them a, a handful mm-hmm. of it's times. It's like a Hot Pocket. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. But, well, yeah. It, but it, a real one. April... <laughs> 8th is uh, <laughs> National Empanada Day, so, you know, celebrate by getting some empanadas. Do you guys see Taco Bell's, like, 
TED Talk press conference thing that they did, like essentially like they did like what Apple does when they release a new product and they they had like a, a people on stage and they're like, you won't believe what's next. The thing was an hour long. What was it? And it was a what bunch they, of stuff that they were like. They, that's is this the out launch of the Jason Sudeikis stuff that they've been doing? Because he's been doing this whole, uh, they're doing, uh, what's it called? They, so they're doing it like uh, fancy tacos now and everything. And they're like, oh. he's going out and. Quote, uh, tracking people that tweeted, oh, this stuff really hits at midnight, and he's catching them eating it during the middle of the day. Oh. And he's like, so, so uh. you know, and he's doing his basic Jason Sudeikis kind of, you know, thing. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was neat to watch, but I couldn't tell if they were doing it ironically or not. Uh, as a bit? Yeah, like because it looked like like almost like a gaming convention kind of thing, and, gotcha. and w- one big thing was like, and this one, and they show like there's a big screen behind them, and they're like, check it out, there's an audience, like a stupid audience, how did they get there? And, and they're like, put it inside, put it, a cheese it, and then everybody in the audience is like, whoa! So Josh, congratulations, buddy. How long Ridiculous. you been? How long you been listening to the show? Uh, since 98. God bless you. It's it, it, it's amazing. That, you know, I am now amazed. Like, almost everyone I meet, even though, like yesterday at the event that I was at, have been listening since the 90s, you know? So it, it, listening that long is uh, is an honor. I appreciate that. Uh, Josh, what do you do for a living? Uh, work for construction company as a surveyor. As a surveyor? Oh, oh yeah. That's, see, that's, a, that's, that's the sweet job, right? Like, because you can, you know, you mm-hmm. get out, you do the survey, and then you get back in your truck and get in the air conditioning, right? It depends. There's times where we're pretty busy and we don't get a chance to sit on the trucks, but move from one side of the job to the other side. Gotcha. And Josh, uh, what, what would you like to plug? Is there anything you would like to plug and promote? Uh, my company I work for, they've given me the opportunity to promote, move up inside the company, Junior Davis Construction. Junior Davis Construction. How, how long did it take you to move up uh, within the company? Uh, it took me a couple years. Yeah. They, yeah, that's a big family on family owned company, and then everybody looks out for everybody. And construction now is pretty hot, right? Like, uh, I mean, we're still in a in a boom with it when it comes to construction. Boom. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. We're all over the place. We're right now. We got jobs on the turnpike here in Osceola County on Simpson Road doing the work. So, with what you do as a surveyor. How important is math? Like, I'm thinking, you, you, like, you know, you, we all went to high school. Like, I don't think I'm ever going to use algebra. I don't think I'm ever going to use geometry or uh, whatever. Like, like, the same thing. <laughs> yeah, you probably said it. But you probably now, for your job, need it uh, tremendously, don't you? Yes, sir. There's a lot of, if you punch in the wrong fat funk finger number, you'll get the wrong percentage slope of what you need. But, I mean, you have, like, computers that can do it all for you, right? We have a collector, but a lot of times it's, we have a calculator. You have a calculator. Okay, yeah, but so you don't have to sit down with a piece of paper and carry the one and subtract the two, and you're like, you know, you know, a long division. You don't have to. Sometimes like, he does. Do you have to? Sometimes you do. If you have to draw it out to see a better picture of what it's doing, sometimes you can draw it out. It'll help you out a lot better. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Hey, what, what what prize did you take with you? I uh, really didn't get to hear the prize. I just jumped on the highway and turned y'all on after because my daughter turns y'all off in the morning when I get in the truck. <laughs> All right. What, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put you on hold and let you uh, and let you pick out what you want with Angel. He'll, he'll tell you the prizes that we have, and you take one with you. And thanks for listening for as long as you have been. We, we appreciate it. Okay, buddy? No problem. Of course, my dad's the one that got me started on y'all. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, oh, dad. You, hey, daddy, I love you. <laughs> so as you were going to school, your dad had it on, and, and that kind of got you listening, huh? Oh, yeah, we drive from Lake Mary all the way to Orlando for high, my high school, and he got me started on wow. it. Is that enough? And here's the thing. We like hear you're... that, Josh, we hear that all the time now. And, it, and when we were, you know, when, when I was younger or whatever, had no idea that would have the effect, right? Didn't know people yeah. would be listening, and their kids would be listening, and then they would get hooked on it, and then it would continue for 30 years. Had no idea. Yes, Ryan? Uh, you went wait, you went from Lake Mary to Orlando for high school, so you went from a good school district to it's Orlando. What, what's the story there? Uh, my aunt used to watch me. Uh, okay. okay. My dad, my dad was a single father when I moved first moved in with him. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, nice. that Don't makes much. sense. My- <laughs> All right, Josh, we'll put you on hold, buddy. Thanks for listening as long as you have been. We appreciate it. Enjoy whatever prize you take with you. Uh, right, uh, you. That's that's amazing. I, I, yesterday, everyone I met would say the same thing. Like I've been listening for you know since the nineties. Been listening since uh, you know. Was, Just out of curiosity, I put a poll up in our YouTube chat and go to our YouTube chat. It's a lot of fun. Make sure you like and subscribe. Ooh, I want to see. And I, and I said, uh, how long have you been listening? Less than five years, five to ten, ten to fifteen, or twenty plus. So if you want to take part in that poll, it's yeah. in our YouTube chat. 
Real Radio Monsters. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and look, I, I love hearing the people that have been listening for forever, but when we hear someone had just started listening three months ago, that's pretty cool, too. That's you, good to hear. Yeah, yeah, I'm always like, how'd you how'd you find how'd you find us? Because it feels harder <laughs> yes. now somehow. Yeah, it is a lot like, harder. Like when cars don't have FM radios in them, Tesla. They don't have oh. FM radio. No, you got to have an app. So that's uh-huh. why I encourage everybody. And the, so, and I think Tesla's probably one of the few that doesn't have the FM radio option. Yeah, no, we, have, we like this company went back and forth with Ford at one point of like putting it in, making sure like you still put a radio in there. My favorite thing was like my cell phone, like old cell phones used to have a radio receiver in them. There was like, you just hit the app and then like you would just get radio. And then one day they just turned it off. Yeah. Super frustrating. Hey, I, uh, so, I answered the poll. Did Ryan. you? Yeah, I said less than five. Okay, <laughs> you've been listening longer than. Mm. Hey, uh, wh- I think if you counted up <laughs> total time of her actively listening to what you were saying, it would that's be a, less that's than a, five. That's yeah. Sure, yeah. Thank you, Ryan, for clarifying. Uh, did you see the the Kelly Ripa story from over the weekend? Kelly uh, Ripa, that I ass. Did not. I'll, I'll tell you about that when we come back. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Enjoy your dominance over artificial intelligence while you can. Did the coffee machine always have a laser cannon? Tell your smart speaker to play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. We have slow traffic eastbound on I-4 from U.S. 27 to State Road 429. Construction still slowing the traffic northbound on the turnpike between the 408 and Colonial Drive. On the northbound Greenway, we have heavy traffic near the University Toll Plaza and an accident in the left lane at the I-4 exit. And if you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. So do you have knee pain, back pain, shoulder pain, any kind of horrible pain that you're living with, and you're like, man, I think i got to go have surgery or I need to take drugs, a bunch of downtime? You don't have to do that. QC Kinetics can help you get rid of that pain without surgery, without steroids, without drugs, and you don't have to be out of work for a month. Not with QC Kinetics. No, no, that's no longer the only option. Uh, regenerative medicine is QC Kinetics, and they've been transforming lives with an innovative treatment that delivers fast-lasting results. It's QC Kinetics. QC Kinetics brings the, the you know, the, all their technology brings the power of your body's own power to repair and restore damaged tissue. They shoot all that right into the tissue that needs it, and basically uh, you heal yourself. It's all natural, and you don't have to go under the knife. QC Kinetics, they're awesome folks, and uh, they want you to get relief without a needle. Uh, or without a knife, with a needle, and, and it's much easier and it's much quicker, and uh, you get rid of uh, get rid of that pain. QC Kinetics for a free consultation. Give them a call at six eight nine two four four seventy nine eighty. That's six eight nine two four four seventy nine eighty for QC Kinetics. They're in Orlando, Winter Park, the Villages, and now in Lake Mary. I met them a couple weeks ago, and man, they really care about helping you get better. QC Kinetics. Once again, the phone number is six eight nine two four four seventy nine eighty for QC Kinetics. Sento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Sento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. This year full of Real Radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. Get ready for three days of extraordinary store-wide savings at International Diamond Center. Not this weekend, but next weekend. You get extra savings. Savings across the board, up to 20% off. Rings, bands, bracelets, earrings. Best prices all year and up to three years zero interest. Next weekend at IDC. Excuse me, is this the checkout line? Oh no, this is the line for Florida Sweet Corn. Florida Sweet Corn is in season? Nobody told me. You're not a member of the Fresh from Florida Club, are you? The what? The Fresh from Florida Club. Sign up at freshfromflorida.com and you'll get a heads up whenever locally grown produce is in season. The club has lots of free perks, but knowing when Florida Sweet Corn is available is one of my favorites. Yes, I'll be heading over to freshfromflorida.com after I get my Florida Sweet Corn. Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. When you excavate for a living, safe digging helps you keep living and save money, time, and your reputation, which can all help you breathe easier. 
Safety is in your hands. Every dig, every time. Always visit sunshine811.com or call 811. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Another happy SafeLight customer. SafeLight Repair, SafeLight Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere, a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered SafeLight Repair, SafeLight Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. SafeLight even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let SafeLight take care of everything. SafeLight Repair, SafeLight Replace. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. I'm Johnny B. Good, the host of the podcast, Creating a Con, the story of Bitcoin. This podcast dives deep into the story of Ray Trapani and his company, Centratech. I'll explore how 320-somethings built a company out of lies, deceit, and greed. I've been saying since a very young age that I was going to be a millionaire. If someone was like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme. Listen to Creating a Con, the story of Bitcoin, on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Think orange for your next vehicle. OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Well, Mr. Rivera, the fi- the test will be on Saturday. Will Angel be able to party all day long mm-hmm. at the Monster Brew Bus and then end up at Elixir I believe uh, by, in by 9 o'clock at night uh, from 9 till 11 at Elixir? Why do you sound so incredulous? I'm just saying. I'm kind of offended. Uh, well, I'm just saying. I feel like, like Angel's going to gonna do, what do you call it, an Irish exit? 
on the brew bus somehow. No, he can't. No, 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 no. no, no. no. Uh, that's he, my he gig. That's he, my baby. So. Oh. No, yeah. he planned all this. Yeah. He's got to be there from, you know, we started. To, well, our first stop I will, sneak will out. be Brewlando <laughs> at 1145. You can stop by Brewlando and say hi to us. We'll be there for a couple hours. So, uh, you know, if you are if you get up on Saturday, you want to go to Brewlando and say hi to the monsters, you can. The entire bus will, will be there. Then we're going to get back in the bus, and we're going to be at uh, Toll Road Brewing at 145 in Ocoee. By the way, the Ocoee Music Festival is going on then with the one and only Dan Newland. Russ, <laughs> turn your laugh. phone off. Huh? Yeah, is that your phone? No. It is. Oh. Somebody's. Oh, when did that alarm, when did that, when did that alarm for? <laughs> Seven <laughs> twenty. Checking her phones. Oh, your checking water everything. beeps. We're your like, phone goes off. Get on? it together, man. Okay, hold on. I don't know why I had a, an alarm on. I don't know. Why did you Damn, put don't you know on? how to do a radio show? Yeah. I've been listening less than five years. Yeah. So <laughs> Brad Michaels is going to be at the Koei Music Fest. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's it. Uh, that's uh, at 145. We'll be at Toll Road Brewing. And then we end up at Claremont Brewing. And uh, it's going to be a great time. We want to thank Wasi's Meat Market and also Just Call Mo for sponsoring this event. And uh, MCA Transportation, Jersey Mike's. Now, Angel will be on the entire brew bus. So what's your plan of attack in order to make it through the entire brew bus and then be an elixir that night at nine o'clock for the uh, it's an MMA fight, right? Yeah, I've been very forthcoming about this. Uh, my plan of attack is no edibles, no edibles. So all uh, the, so what Angel is saying, all the edibles. Oh, you give ain't them, trying to party. Give them to Russ <laughs> and to uh, yeah. And you guys to, can have all Ryan, of them. No, yeah. no, Savannah uh, and oh, and Angelique can, is uh, yes. the the witness of this. What put me down was. And uh, the gentleman that gave it to me was like, hey, be careful with it. Or he says he claimed that he told me it was a 500 milligram edible. No. Oh, he gave you a Delta 9. Yeah. I, I, no, no. It was a straight up real mm. edible. Um, but uh, it, it, like, it was a lot. But I did, <laughs> might not have heard him, whatever. And so I just like, man, let me eat this. Mm. Man, he, he was cross-eyed. He was, and so I just sat. <laughs> so when we were at Claremont, all I did was sit at the bar. And I fed him water. I drank water for two hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then I had to get in. in and then some, people hit on uh, Angelique. And then I had to get yeah. it on somebody's ass for talking crazy to Angelique. Yeah, yeah. So I did sober up enough for it to snap out of oh, that. because you also had some food. Yeah, you and I ate. Food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that's it. That, oh. So the plan of it, I was fine. I was good all day long until the... The, the long ride from uh, Persimmon Hollow <laughs> to Claremont. I was bored on the bus. We were talking. I was like, I wonder what happens when I eat one. Man, them beer farts got you. <laughs> them beer farts on them bar- party buses, especially as the day progresses. Yeah. By the way, at Claremont, when we go to Claremont at 4 o'clock, Mo- uh, Monster Music Man Matt will be performing live, and then also Daisy Del Toro is going to show up there yeah. as well. So that last stop will be a big one. Uh, and then, I'll be fine. Man. And then after that, Angel will be at, uh, at Elixir. At 9 o'clock. At 9 o'clock. Uh, I told him some that I just couldn't do. I like I yeah. can't. I can't party all day and then party all Why night. Why not? I did not yeah, anymore. I bet, he he could, could, I bet um, you could if you weren't wearing that bowling shirt. That's right. Remember <laughs> he just said what his age was and he was like, "Listen, I'm just this Listen, is what it is." And like I've you said, he gave in. up. Yeah. He's given up uh, already. It, it is your what cargo it is. shorts. And, and I, I got my cargo shorts on right now. Uh, uh, do it. And where, I got my bowling shirt on? on and I like it. Oh, are you wearing Crocs now? Are you wearing Crocs too? No, no, no. I wear Ufas. You wear what? what? Ufas. What? Don't U- sleep on the Ufas. U- Ufas, what? Ufas. I need to feel, see a picture of that. Ufas yeah. feel good on your feet. Yeah. I'm What's telling you. What's an Ufa, Ryan? You it's the a, it's, uh, it's a, again, a, one of these off-brand uh, Amazon, um, <laughs> uh, like. I don't think it's off-brand. No, 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 it isn't. I, I, I'm just saying that that's where, like, that's where, uh, so I bought a pair for my dad is what I'm mm. trying to say. How great uh, And my dad swears by them. He's are they, so, wait, are they Ufas or Bufas? Ufas. Ufa. And I will say this. <laughs> Bufa D's nuts. A, a doctor, like, yeah, prescribed them to me. Like, listen, because I was my, oh, my, my, oh, my dad. Oh, my gosh. Here Orthopedic go. shoes. Subscri- if you got prescribed shoes. <laughs> I do. Prescription for the shoes. Prescription shoes. Pick them up at Walmart. That's He's ridiculous. The pedi- what's it called? A pedi- uh, what is, uh, orthopedic. Orthopedic, yeah. yeah. Russ, oh, Russ, you have given up on life. No, no, no. What's it called when you, if you go to the a doctor, a foot doctor? Yes, the podiatrist. Podiatrist. A podiatrist. I said, listen, if your feet hurt, that you wear these. And I swear, I don't go barefoot in the house anymore. I only wear the oofas. And if, I might be butt ass naked, but I got my oofas on. Ew, Damn, Christina does they're that. They're so ugly. I don't care. <laughs> Listen to you. You don't dress. How are you going to talk about how anybody oh, dresses? I'm a fashionista. You are not, uh, you, if you keep saying that, you might believe it. But no, uh, it's the truth. It's Savannah. I have I have the most fashionable clothes of anyone. You no dress like the Angelique. crocodile hunter all the time. No, no I don't. You, right now, my shirt says Total Wills from uh, Wills Pub. Uh-huh. Shirt I picked up a cool while ago. Wow. It's okay. absolutely cool and trendy. Yeah. I have jeans on and cowboy boots. Like I'm not oh, yeah. trying to dress up today, mm-hmm. but also don't have on a bowling shirt. This is a 
cool a ass shirt. A bowling shirt and oofas. By the way, that... my, my shirt today has got like it's got a starship on it. Getting ready bowling for the shirt, it... starship, oofas. That means you've given up on the life. starship oofa. Whatever. I'm, uh, Russ, just so you I'm know, busy texting being me. Hitting I hate us being up, you. Yeah, what? hitting us up on seven seven zero three one. Uh, yeah, the oofas are infinitely popular. They so, are. They are yeah. awesome. I yeah. mean, I mean, it's for uh, eighty year olds. Whatever. I, they make my feet feel good, so I don't care what they're yeah. for. Also, the person who's Dan texting in that Snyder. says Ufa is the best is uh, their their name is COVID is a hoax. So you take with that what you want. <laughs> I, I, you know, I tell you what, put on, slip mm-hmm. on a pair of. You know what? I might even buy. What, what, what size? What size you wear? Uh, thirteen. You wear thirteen. I got a big wiener, bro. You're oh my God. What are you, you doing? We wear twelve. <laughs> You wear 12? I wear 13. If, uh, you don't wear a damn 13. I'm six foot four. I wear a size 13. I'm regular if, ass feet. If you put some oofas on and wear them around your house, you're going to be like, that damn no, Rollins was right. I wear right. Vans till I die. Uh, no, if, Vans, well, Vans, here's what happens. Converse. At certain point, your feet will start to flatten out, right? No, uh, not certain, if, no, the only reason your feet flatted out is because of that country <laughs> ass yeah. you drag around. Ryan's never going to have that problem. Yeah, maybe, load-bearing feet. Maybe. I don't know. All I know is, is my feet start to flatten out, and I start wearing oofas. And you got it, duck feet? And it feels good. No, you know how there's just so much weight, probably. I don't know. What color oofas you got? Uh, 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 dark blue. You got blue for oofas? Dark blue. Yeah, dark blue. You don't even have black ones? Dark blue oofas. No, I don't know. Dark think blue doesn't go with everything. I think they're super now, dark blue. Now, are yours the tennis shoe kind? Because there are a lot of varieties of oofas. Yeah, oofas. are they the sandals or are they the tennis yeah, shoes? Yeah, are they the sandals? The they tennis like- shoes are something new that they just no, dropped. I, I don't have the, the sandals are, are, are what the go-to. Are they like I, Tevas? No, they're like... Uh, uh, Do they go between your toes? No, oh, no, You, you no. could choose the slide. Well, there's some or, that are. I'm looking at them. No, no, uh, Angelique, you could choose the slide or you could choose uh, the, the regular sandal style. Like the thumbs. Uh, my yeah, wife yeah. has oofas, but that's because she suffered from uh, leg injury. No, I, I've got some of those, but I don't wear those. I wear the ones that with the closed toe because I don't like to see my toes. How do you spell oofa <laughs> again? Aren't you the toe? O-O-F-O-S. Yeah. Since oh. when do you not like to see yeah. your own toes, Dan Schneider? I don't like to see my own toes. <laughs> I just don't like it. I just uh, uh, so I'd rather have it. Uh, those, I wear those. Those is what I wear. Oh my god, Around that the is the ugliest they're, old they're man crocs. shoe on the planet. Oh they're no, crocs, Savannah says different. they're ugly. I think I'll change my whole uh, life. You don't know ugly. You don't. Uh, I know what you wear. I know ugly because when I came in, look, look I saw it on your face. How are you going to tell oh someone how to Lord. dress when you dress like you dress? You hush. Listen, that's what I wear wow. right there. Everybody knows badass. I'm the coolest person on the show, right. with the exception of. A couple other people. <laughs> <laughs> you just think you're cooler than me. Listen, I'm telling you, they're they're comfortable as hell. Well, I, I was okay. gonna go at Ryan I'm a little bit, but I feel like we're all collectively against yeah. Russ today. So well, I didn't what else? Bre- what else? I didn't want to break up the crew. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, size thirteen. <sighs> they got big oofas. They don't have thirteen. They, yeah, got- they do. Hold on. You need to get them you, Ufas. Don't order on the phone. You got to go on the, 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 the laptop. The, I ain't going on the laptop. All right. Uh, Hold on. Oh, you're not a woman, are you? You're, you're a man. I'd like to think so. Men. Oh, yeah. They got, okay. Men. Uh, oh, men. Ryan is never going to wear that. I'm never going to wear no Ufas. If, no. You put them, if you put them on your foot, you're going to go, damn, Rollins was right. I wear flip flops or I wear Vans. Yeah, They're just like the flip flops. This is an just Ufa flip flop, basically, Ryan. It is not. It's that, a, it's whatever a, he showed me was not. Crocs are ugly enough, yeah. and I can't believe you're at the Here. part where you don't even want to pay the, enough for Crocs. W- w- <laughs> 15 for women, 13 for men. That's uh, I'll get one for Savannah. Don't give me one, because I'm going to throw that S right in the trash. Will you, will you, will you, if you put them on, I swear to God, you will thank me until the day Listen, you die. Listen, Ryan, he only wants you to put them on so he can see your toes. Yeah. Uh, no, no, oh, I'm getting yeah. in the closed toe ones. I, ain't, I don't want to see his nasty no, He ass. wants to see I've you seen, take your shoes off and put them on. I've, mm-hmm. I've seen his skinny ass toes. I don't oh. Oh, yeah, long, he always long toes. wears. The... Now you got to cover them damn things. No, they're Put good. Put your toes on. They're rust. like talons. There you go. I just ordered you no, some. My wife does them. I just ordered you some oofas. You're gonna. You know, I'm telling you. You walk around your house naked in oofas. You'll be happy all day There's long. There's nothing Bro, sexy about what? walking around naked in oofas. Like my. Like my, who, my who needs to be sexy? My, you want to be sexy see, for your wife? See, and... that's the problem. You just spit it out. Uh-huh. Who needs to be sexy? Uh-huh. That means you've given up on life, Russ. Yeah, Ryan. it does not. Listen. Yes, it, it does. does. Poor Mary Ellen. I have. I know. Why are you trying to? be sexy for your wife. I happen to think I look pretty sexy in my oofas. Running around naked. I like Gross. it. Get her on the phone. What is going on? I have an intervention. She likes them. Nobody she, likes them. Does, she doesn't like them. She does. She, she does likes not. the bowling I'm shirts. I'm telling you, if, if she loves the bowling shirts. And if I tell her, if I wear something else, she goes, why don't you have your oofas on? It's better for your feet. 
Oh, so she, no, no, yeah, so she yeah, yeah. for your feet health. Yeah. So that's, if you just got inserts and put inserts into your different shoes, she'd I, be cool with that too. I did that. I, I have inserts too, but uh, but you the have inserts are com- in your oofas? I uh, no, the oofas oh are. Oh my gosh. The, the oofas are the insert. You oh don't need an insert gosh. with an oofa. Oofas are, are are the best. Listen, when I leave here, because my phones have been listening to this conversation, and they're going to start suggesting mm-hmm. oofas to me. And like, if you put if you put your big old feet in some oofas, you, 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 I'm yeah. telling you, your feet would appreciate it. He called it. you a bigfoot yeti. I know. I don't care if he calls me bigfoot. I have big feet. She got big feet. I'm and a I'm big girl. You would like the oofas. You like my foot spot side your face. <laughs> <laughs> Kick you right in the face. We were going to talk about Kelly Ripa. I want to say this real quick because we got a couple minutes. Mm-hmm. Kelly Ripa uh, don't date guys that can wear oofas. And this, I know. this goes back to. You <laughs> I know, never even heard that word before. Oofas? I know. I yeah. had never heard about it before. As a matter of fact, uh, Mary Ellen told me to get them and I didn't listen to her. And then I and then my feet were hurting. I went to the podiatrist and he's like, let me tell Why you what your you... feet always hurt. They were hurting. No. What a Why? typical man. Because don't be... listen to the woman. I didn't and listen and you to you have my to wife. to pay to get uh, like someone you... else to tell you and, and the went... same thing. It ain't like you walk a lot. <laughs> they like you're really in motion all the time. I, I was having he yeah, he's doing chair yoga, so I don't know. I, I was starting to walk like four miles a day, and it, they, it was oh, hurting. Oh, Lord. Yeah, and, so, the, and the, so I went to the doctor, and he said, oh, here's the problem. Your arch is kind of collapsed, so you <laughs> yep. need to. You need he to, didn't uh, say, here's the problem. Your fat ass made your arch yeah. collapse. <laughs> he may have said your weight might have been a problem at some point, Ooh. but I've lost yeah. weight, okay? So, and then he said, oh. arch your back, too. So he said, Whoa. you need arches, and in I'll tell you the best thing to do is I order do. The, I have the golden arches every day. Order these oofas, and I <laughs> did, sandwich. and it was a big difference. And when I give them to Ryan, he's going to bitch about it, but he'll slip them on in his house, and he'll go, mm-hmm. damn, those Listen, are comfortable. Is it, uh, oh, you're going to wear, wear them to kettle corn. You'll like it. oofas, were they invented by your doctor, Dr. Oofala Foofala? <laughs> o- Oofala Potty. Oofala Potty. No, <laughs> yeah. I go see her this week. No, no, this is oh, the. Oh, you see her this week? Yeah. Are you ready for her? Yeah, yeah, Like, yeah. for real? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good. I, I've been, I'm, yeah, I, yeah. I'm, You've been I'm cutting ready. weight? Hmm? Been cutting weight, <laughs> basically. Yeah. yeah, basically, I've been cutting weight. You've been watching ready, your cholesterol too, because one time yeah. you were watching your weight, but not your cholesterol, and then you got in trouble for that. Yeah, now with uh, with the Wagovi, you just don't eat much, so uh, it makes your it, all your numbers are, are great. Okay. You're mad at the Wagovi now? That stopped working, huh? It stopped no, working because you fought it. No, 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 no. It, it, it always gets to a plateau. They said you know, if you watch, if you read all the stuff, watch all the stuff, mm-hmm. uh, it gets to a plateau at a certain point. My doctor, uh, or, you know, Affinity, uh, uh, Brent, he's Bob, like, listen, sorry. He's, like, he's like, you just probably are a guy that weighs 240. Just be happy with that. All your numbers are good. You know, you, you know, because you, it's better than two, uh, 290, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you know, you know, unless you really starve yourself, you're probably not going to lose. This is what's giving you, you a plateau. To, do you still have to take the Wagovi, even though it's plateaued? Mm, I probably wouldn't you need have to. Take to. a break. Yeah, I think take a break helps. Do you, do you still get those Marks shots? Marks cocaine. Mm-hmm. I still well, get those, <laughs> all the, like the mall shots? What? No, no, I stopped doing that. What were Why the mall shots? Doing that? He goes to the mall to I get was. the B12, yeah. the sex drive. You get those this, at like Affinity. All the stuff. I know, but I would, I, I no, would have to but up. He also has to go to Hot Topic. So. Oh, yeah. They don't sell UFAs at Hot Topic. No, they no. do sell bowling shirts with uh, Star yes, Wars they on do. them. Yes, they do. They got UFAs at the, at the, at the shoe circus. <laughs> They're shoe carnival. Oh, he's yeah, oh, buying, <laughs> he's buying bootleg <laughs> ufos. <laughs> ufos. <laughs> Apparently, it's ufos. Oh, oh ufos. My. Yeah. Mm. A- Angel, so your papa likes them, right? He likes my dad them. loves them, dude. So I'm telling you, yeah. they, they feel good. Why could you just dad? buy a pair of Adidas slides? Because because it it, it pop pop. It was for medical purposes. I didn't buy them for aesthetics, you know, because it makes your feel, but you, feel better. But you see what's happening, right? Mm. Like your whole life now is not about aesthetics. No, yeah. your I love whole these. life now no, is about just giving up and being comfortable. Just because you don't like them, it doesn't mean I like these shirts. Are there, Can they're, we do they're, a they're new poll? Shirt. Nobody <laughs> cares. I don't care. But poll all you want. Can we do I, a new poll. If no. I look in the mirror and I'm like, that looks good, then that looks good. It doesn't though. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, I but know in your mind, in your mind, in your mind, you got to <laughs> like you want everybody else to think it looks. Good. I'm I not, I'm am not okay with me myself. liking them. This is a badass shirt. I don't, okay, fact, I don't know if I can go that far. I mean, when you say badass shirt, like badass you've shirt. Worn, no, you've worn shirts that are like cool and badass shirts. Oh, I'll show you the one I had yeah. yesterday. Hold but on, that's not, this one's better than the ones I've seen. Like the camping one, the really light oh, blue yeah. and whatever. That, that one's one. really bad. But that really material, bad. That, this, that this one had bad. a frog on it, and the frog was sitting in a, in a, in a, in a whiskey glass. <laughs> oh my God, I can't. Yeah, yeah. I just can't. that's a frog in a whiskey glass. I a like that super one. Super frog HPV. Uh huh. Yeah, that was a gooey.
I wore that one yesterday. In his throat. And you know how many I mean, people like, told me I like I like your shirt yesterday? They were like, I don't like your shirt. Well, they thank just you. Appreciate say it. that, Russ. They don't mean they it. They say it, but that doesn't Listen, mean that they would buy it. I There's w- a difference in someone going, oh, wow, that looks cute, and then going, wow, I would never wear that. <laughs> we're but, telling or, you the truth. We're your friends. Yeah. We're trying to look, help and you. And they look, thought you were dying of HPV. Look, he's trying look at the frog. To, he's trying Man. to prove it, and he's making it worse look by showing. Look at the frog. The frog is sitting in a cookie. The frog is sitting in a whiskey glass. That's pretty cool. Cookie? That's what it looks like. I don't know. Or a little tree frog. I know you I go know, through Russ. these stages, I, Russ. I've known you a very long time in the five years. In the years bowling I've been shirt stage. Yeah, yep, it's the stage. Mm-hmm. But the bowling shirt stage leads to the picnic party outfit from the Magic Mall. No, no, no. I, that was me paying attention to you. See, that was the problem. That's when you talked me into wearing that thing. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, <laughs> see, yeah, that's why I don't listen to you because you, oh. you try to lead me to the looking stupid. That's we what you want. We could get you a fedora no. and you could start a Scott band. I don't need to lead you to looking stupid. Yes. You're doing a great job. You all led your me to looking <laughs> stupid. That's why I don't pay attention. I go with what I like, and you know what I like? I like my my, my button down shirts. I think they're cool. Button down shirts even... are nice. Thank these you. These are I, no, I didn't say these shirts. That's I just said <laughs> material of that shirt is synthetic and it's yeah. gross. Honestly, I've, like, I, I, if no. I if that material uh-huh. touches my skin, uh-huh. I will freak out. Uh, you really? Because it's so gross. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's yep. so gross. I thought like with the guests we have coming in today, like you would be in like a business suit. Today. We've got no guests coming in today. I thought we did today. No. Nope. Yeah, it no. was me, bitch. Okay. <laughs> Smile, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just wear that to your Edgewater induction ceremony then? Ooh. If you're bowling shirt. Oh, guy. that was the thing yesterday. Everybody wanted to tell me what suit, and, the it, red one. and it's half and half. Half the people were like, do not wear the red one, but you don't wear the red mm-hmm. suit. And the other half, the people were like, oh my god, you got to wear the gray suit. No, uh, it's so boring. I, yeah, if it's, you wear the gray suit, on. you're doing yourself a disservice. P- people have a damn opinion. It's so funny. They're like, well, the red shirt. You're just saying, look at me, look at me. And then the other people are like, uh, oh, the gray shirt, so uh, the gray suit is so boring. Uh, yes. And it's about 50 50. Well, aren't you saying, look at me, look yes. at me? Hey, guys. Like, you your whole career has been me. based off that. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know what? Honestly, so I did it on Facebook, right? And I did it. Uh-huh. And, and so when I read all the, the, the people that are saying, oh, my God, don't wear red. Red is just look at me, look at me. I think, oh, this person doesn't know me. <laughs> right, yeah. the, the people that are saying we're the gray are like, oh, they don't know me. They're, 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 <laughs> they're saying what they would do because they don't want attention. Yeah. Like, don't you understand that I'm a whore for attention? Like, that's yeah, what, I, that's what is, I do for a living. Is why uh, you wear the red? Uh, uh, and so, uh, so I've ordered both, and we'll see what Where happens. Where did you order them from? Uh, at the same place I got my shirts. Where? <laughs> oh Jesus! Christ. Some, Where? Some Facebook thing. I don't know. You ordered a suit from yes. Facebook. Yes. Oh, you want to see did. it? He ordered Ross, two. You want to see really it? We have a Bloomingdale's. We have a Macy's. We have a Neiman Marcus. Yes. Look, look, look. Have, we, they don't have a big and tall. It's not going to look like that. I know. It's when you not going to look like that at all. Uh, no, but he's going to take it to his uh, Taylor. lady, a Taylor. Yeah, yeah, that, take it to we, a tailor. yeah. Even though Savannah. he gets the suit like a couple days before the event, he's got time to like take it to the tailor. Days before the event. <laughs> Come on, man. Why don't you go go to Bloomingdale's and get them to put you in a suit, and they'll tailor it for you right there. They don't got red. Yes, you, they do. We talked about that the other day. That they have suits they, here. They, they even listen. have they even have ombre <laughs> like where it goes from like red and then it will fade down into black at the bottom. Oh, by the way, everyone's here like uh, Ufas are the best. You yeah. see that? Yeah, yeah. Ufas are amazing. They're very popular with our listening audience. So. Did you also see in the poll for how long people have listened to? That also kind of gives us like how old people are as well. What's that? How many years they've been listening? Yeah. So how are the the people that are texting in? Or are they about the same age? I, I don't know, but how long have they been listening? Mostly over twenty years. Yeah, fifty five percent. That's awesome. That's cool. All right, let's take, take a little break. I still hadn't, didn't tell you about Kelly Ripa or the other thing I wanted to tell you. So we'll do that <laughs> when we come back. Uh, you're listening to the Mantra of the Morning. Here's the limited amount I know about earthquakes. Okay, I think that, I believe this is right. I think it matters a lot how deep. The earthquake was. I th- I could be wrong, Do you but I feel think it more if it's deeper. I think. <laughs> sex. Sex yeah. Reference. yeah, I think so. The news junkie weekdays at eleven on Real Radio one hundred four point one. From the Cool Today Weather Center, CoolToday.com. Good morning. I'm Fox thirty five Storm Team meteorologist Brooks Garner with your Fox thirty five Central Florida forecast. Well, today we've got a partial solar eclipse visible from Florida. It peaks at about 3.03 p.m., and the sun will be covered nearly 60%. Otherwise, a beautiful day today with passing high clouds. Our high temperature, 80 degrees. For tomorrow, we warm up to 88 degrees, and that's out ahead of a storm system promising a chance for some showers and storms by Thursday afternoon. 
For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. At Rasmussen University, we offer 50 plus programs from health sciences to business to nursing, online and on campus. Are you ready to rewrite your story? Learn more at rasmussen.edu. I'm going to tell you about Zero Res. When it comes to cleaning everything, they know what they're doing. They bring with them their own patented ZR water. No soap, no uh, no residue, no harsh chemicals. So there's no so- soap lingering uh, that attracts dirt. There's no, but here's what I, you've got no soap and no residue. That means soft, fluffy carpeting that stays clean longer. That ZR water is technology that is awesome and it cleans surfaces better without any harsh chemicals. It's safe for your kids and your pets. And they've been to my house and they do a great job. It's zero res, pure safety when it comes to your, you know, your children and your pets. And uh, it cleans better. They've got all kinds of great five star reviews. They've been to my house. I give them a five star review as well. It's zero res. Orlando uh, was the 2023 franchise of the year, and uh, they're tracking to be that again. It's Zero Res in Orlando. Zero Res in my house a couple weeks ago. They did a great job with the tile and the grout. This month, Zero Res, for, for Monster listeners, Real Radio Monster listeners, uh, or, you know, if you say Russ Rollins or the Monsters, they're going to give you 25% all of your floor cleaning. Visit OrlandoZeroRes.com to book your appointment today and mention my name, Russ Rollins. You'll get 20 25% off, and look at spring cleaning time. Let them do the spring cleaning with zero res, spelled forwards or backwards. It's the right way to clean. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Call 844-AD-HELP-5. That's 844-AD-HELP-5. I'm Jeff. I got a call that my wife Katie was in a bad car accident and was airlifted to Shan's hospital. When I got there, she was in surgery for a brain injury. She's had a long recovery. We needed an attorney. Our close friends recommended Glenn Klausman. Glenn Klausman was available 24-7 to help. We've been blessed by my wife's recovery. The results from Glenn Klausman's efforts were way more than expected. He's more than an attorney for us. He's a friend. Call him at 407-917-1718, K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N-Law.com, Office Winter Park. Being a great dad doesn't require some fat wallet. I realized a simple stopwatch could make my kids' day better. I turned everything into a speed competition. Just time everything. How fast can they make their bed? How quickly can they fold 10 shirts? The weirder, the better. I want times who could hug me the longest. They'll be excited if you're excited. Trust me. Pull out a stopwatch or try something else. Just choose to be a father first today. At Fence Outlet, we're proud to be Central Florida's top fencing contractor. And we're celebrating 30 years of framing your family memories. Here's to many more years with you at the center. Thanks for 30 great years. Visit us online at fenceoutlet.com. If you ask anyone who's experienced LASIK, they will tell you it's the best thing they've ever done. And more often than not, they'll add, I should have done it sooner. So what are you waiting for? The Filatowski Eye Institute is offering free LASIK consultations. Just text 1041 to 868686 and start your journey to better vision with the Filatowski Eye Institute. They've performed over 65,000 LASIK procedures using the latest state-of-the-art technology. If finances are a concern, they offer 24-month interest-free financing. Text 1041 to 868686 to schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatowski Eye Institute. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking. To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com. Spring is here, and Tools Ace Hardware has everything you need for your lawn and garden this season. Tools Ace Hardware's helpful associates have the answers to all of your lawn and garden questions, and they'll load up your mulch, soils, and fertilizers for you. Now through April 30th, all Cypress mulch is on sale. Get four bags for only $10. Also, check out the biggest sell ever from Steel Outdoor Power Equipment at Tools' 11 full-line steel locations. Tools has 13 convenient locations, including the new store in Hamlin. Or you can just shop online at acehardware.com for free in-store pickup or delivery. It's Tools. Tools Ace, your local helpful place.
Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. In this week's Marketer's Report, Angela Zapata, CMO Hyundai Motor America, discusses measuring audio. The measurement capability with an audio, I think, surprised all of us. We have seen a huge return on our investment. Seeing real numbers has helped us continue to invest. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the data, audiences, and influencers you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Once a year in the spring, IDC does something insane, and it's happening next weekend. April 19th through 21st, three days of extra savings store-wide. They're taking up to 20% off of IDC's already unbeatable prices. Plus, get zero interest financing for up to three years. A $20 million three-day sale on all rings, all earrings, all pendants, all bracelets. Even designer engagement rings and designer fashion jewelry will be on sale. Wedding bands, timepieces. It's three days only. April 19th through 21st at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations. Get Spectrum, internet, mobile, and TV. Restrictions apply. Visit Spectrum.com for details. Ryan, you're going to love your oofas. I can't believe you bought these things. I'm, I'm sad. I, like, I'm a, I'm a, I don't want to like them. I'm a care. I know you don't want to like them. I don't buy Crocs. That's why. That's why I'm got. I got them for us. Yeah, he's going to love them. You know what? I know. Ryan, I know. I know. Like, you know what? I should have got them for Angel. Why did I get them for you? You should have gotten them for me. He'd appreciate him. Well, no, you told me I look ugly in my shirt. That doesn't mean that. Well, on, I did not. <laughs> so I you know said what? That your other button-down shirts look better. Oh, you I like you in the button-down shirts, just not you those. Well, that you, was all. You don't like the. Uh, the you don't like the, star, the starship. No, I hate honesty. I'd rather you lie to me and oh, tell okay. me something nice. Why, well, why do you not want us to help you? I don't want you to help me. You, you don't know what you're doing. How are you going to? Well, I'm not even going to get into it. Go ahead. Go ahead. How are you going to get big man? advice? For dressing, when you don't dress, you dress like you dress like the crocodile hunter. Well, you, what, 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 what are you talking about? Well, that's because I work, and that's my uniform for work. Well, this is my uniform for work. Yeah, but, <laughs> hey, question. That's today, not, you today, don't have to today, wear that for work. Oh, oh, before I ask you about Gatorland, because I want to ask you about Gatorland. We only got a couple of minutes. I want to. I keep teasing this. This is why they they tell <laughs> you to tease, care about Kelly te- Ripa? tease a story, Kelly and, then, and, then, and then we start talking about other stuff, wow. and I, you know, I've teased the story too much, and, we're not, no, and nobody really <laughs> no cares. No payoff. But yeah. here's the payoff. So Angel <laughs> has to pick, when we decide to go on vacation mm-hmm. and stuff, Angel has to pick best of, right? Mm-hmm. And then when you pick best of a lot of times you just go through and you're like okay just grab that and put it up you know and i don't know how much you like listen you you can't listen to the entire five hours you don't know what we're gonna say so Mm -hmm. no i'm not no no i'm just saying that there's a very carefully uh very uh, detailed detailed oriented curated best ofs bro well Mm -hmm. i'm meticulous about how i do that then they didn't do that for uh for uh uh, kelly ripa because the other day they played a best of kelly ripa or whatever and in the in the segment she was begging to go on the P. Diddy yacht. Like, there was this whole segment oh, where, she, where, where she wanted to go on the yacht, on P. Diddy's yacht. That's and she was so a, funny. And, and, and they didn't realize that it was in the best of that That's they had played. Great. I and, love it, it. and they got all kinds of. Did they heat. have to issue wow. an, an apology? Uh, I think they did. I think to. that's done on purpose then. Uh, you think so? Absolutely. Look, really? uh, her show's not doing that well in the ratings. Uh, uh, and well, how do you do? How do you draw attention to yourself in this uh, cl- uh, clickbait day and age? What? It's a calculate. I'm not mad at them. E- either way, yeah. it's still funny. They, yeah, they, absolutely. They, they, it's they, absolutely uh, calculated. But I would, I would have, if I was her producer, I would have done the same thing. Yeah. So you're saying if we had a segment where we begged to go on the P Diddy yacht before we know what happened, absolutely, you would that, definitely though. play it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I, well, I, I, I agree. Nothing, I mean, because nothing really happened. She didn't get on the yacht. So it's just her, you know, doing that. And then now, you know, there's all these other allegations that are uh, come along with that. And so that makes it even more kind of, whoa. So I saw P. Diddy was on this morning. There's something happening again with P. Diddy. What's the 
new is what's the latest P Diddy news? He just uh, posted his uh, Bad Boy for Life video. Well, which oh, the I, victory? Yeah, it's just uh, him where he's talking about how all the detractors are coming after him. It's an older song, uh, so he reposted that video. Here's the part, and this is what I have been cautious uh, cautious about this whole time. Yeah, the dude that has uh, filed this lawsuit. Yeah, and the guy's lawyer. Now those two guys are under scrutiny, and they're being looked at because that a particular attorney is known for filing these salacious lawsuits against celebrities. Right. And it, they come off as shakedowns. So you're and, Team P Diddy? No, I'm not. Oh. I was just I've been uh, you know pumping my brakes on just jumping off the out the window about with all the allegations. Gotcha. And so now the tide is turning, and a lot of the things that this particular guy, the second lawsuit, a lot of the things is he alleged in that lawsuit. Right. The judge actually had to admonish him and his attorney for making all these salacious claims, and they haven't been able to back up any of it. Well, here's the thing, uh, and you're right about one part of that for Mm -hmm. sure, is that uh, when you've got millions and millions of dollars and you got people hanging around you that are jealous or that want money or whatever, you do have to question any allegation. Allegation might not be accurate. You know what I'm saying? It could be uh, someone just trying to get money from him. Uh, I don't know yeah. anything. I don't know anything. I he need didn't to know help about himself. Look, and and the way that it looks, or just mm-hmm. on the surface level, he doesn't help himself when he settles with Cassie for thirty million. And the part of thirty million, yeah. yeah. And 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 the part of that lets you know because she's been cooperating with the uh, with the FBI. So her that part of it. Um, seems to have some uh, legitimacy. It's this second lawsuit, this other dude who's come out of nowhere and he's making all these fantastic claims and he's throwing all kinds of people's names in the mix right. and none of it's been validated. Well, he says that he has, he says that they haven't talked to him yet, but he does, he says that he has video and photos from some of the incidences that the I- Images happened. that he's released already, right? He, these two women that he said that were underage, these photographs that came out, mm-hmm. the women step forward and said, hey, that was us. We were of age. We we actually chose to hang out there, oh, okay. right? So the, the key t- tidbits that he's uh, released so far, every single one of those things has been refuted. But well, he, he, is, he is like the butt of the joke everywhere now. You know? Oh, he, yeah. I don't think Diddy recovers from this. No, I don't I, even, yeah. even if it comes out and this guy is, is proven that all the things that he made claim in his particular lawsuit. Right. Cassie, uh, Cassie can still like she got paid. Yeah. She got her thirty million. Thirty million. So once she get okay, so if there's a, an agreement, right, that she drops the lawsuit, you get thirty million dollars, and then Homeland Security or the FBI or whatever come and question you. Mm-hmm. If you answer their questions honestly, does that negate your? contract where you got the 30 million dollars no she's already so she's already got her thing and, and she's, she's already, spending it yeah, yeah. And she's already cooperating with the fbi that's what i'm saying there might be some legitimacy to this right. and that's her claim it's this other dude okay and this other attorney that are uh, really like kind of basically looking like they're trying to just jump on and get paid well, and the so, attorney has the reputation for shaking down celebrities so you don't think there's any way that the, the, the kelly ripa show i don't even know what they call it anymore but uh, uh kelly and mark i think uh, uh that they they would replay a show and not know the content of the show and yeah. not realize I, no. that, that that she's begging to be on the p diddy yacht i think it was a hundred percent calculated i would have done I find this. it hard to believe they don't know what is the content of the best of it yeah is i would yeah. if, it, if it's me I would have done the same thing if I'm the producer and, uh, you know, create some hubbub while you're on vacation yeah. and, and you come back to it and then, oh, you, you know, you know, Angel made a mistake. He played the best of he wasn't supposed to. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. And, you know, and you make a big deal out of it. But it does. We're thinking it from radio world, you know, like yeah. from, you know, so I don't know that they think that way. But, yes, yeah, Savannah, I was going to say my favorite part of this whole Diddy thing. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And it, it entertainment wise. Right. Mm-hmm. For me is 50 cent. 50 yeah. Cent. He is a professional troll. 50 oh. Cent is the fun. Like every single day, there are a minimum of two <laughs> posts just dragging Diddy. So he, don't like, he, he so doesn't like Diddy. Like, no. So, like, my, my favorite one was uh, the one of him on a bike down in Miami, <laughs> and and he puts a picture of Diddy on a bike down in Miami, and then underneath it, it's like, uh, you know that bike ain't got no seat, right? <laughs> so and then, and then this morning, 50 Cent put up a video of Damn. an interview with Diddy and Mike Tyson yeah. where they're sitting, look, look at me and Angelique. So they're sitting on a couch together like this. Diddy has his hand down there like that, and Mike Tyson picks it up and moves it. And then then changes the entire way that he's sitting. Mike Tyson moves over and then, like, whole body over. Oh, that's for real. Yeah. 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 
And so, uh, wait, so he's gay? No, nah, nah, at that at that level, uh, you just you just. I don't think he's gay. Yeah, I think you're he's just, you're just power banging hungry. everything. You just do what you want. Yeah, you got he's bored. Fluid. Yeah, you got bored with something else. Let me. Do, do, does he wear oofas? I don't know. Dude, why are you making it stupid now? We were having a good conversation. When we come back, Angel's going to bring you Monster Sports. Oh, now I made it stupid. Angel's going to bring you Monster Sports when we come back, and we'll be more stupid. It's like a text message with your voice. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. Westbound I-4 is now slow traffic from Saxon Boulevard to the St. John's River Bridge and from County Road 46A past Lake Mary Boulevard. Had a crash in the left lane northbound on the Greenway at I-4. An accident southbound on Boggy Creek Road at Beth Road. And a crash in the right lane southbound on Orange Blossom Trail at Councilor Row. If you see traffic problems, call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. At Rasmussen University, we offer 50-plus programs from health sciences to business to nursing, online and on campus. Are you ready to rewrite your story? Learn more at rasmussen.edu. Are you ready to put some cash in your pocket? Because Real Radio is giving you a chance to win $1,000 by putting a grand in your hand. You know the deal with our national contest. We'll give you a keyword at the top of every hour from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And all you have to do is enter it on our website at realradio.fm for your chance to win. With 13 chances every weekday, you'll have plenty of opportunities to win a grand in your hand. But there is a catch, because there's always a catch. Right. If you get a call, you need to answer your phone. That's right. The key to winning is picking up your phone when we call. So don't send us to voicemail. This contest brought to you locally by Mills Air. Mills Air been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. Carrier factory authorized dealer. Rebates up to $1,275 for brand new carrier units. Turn to the experts. Carrier. And you can always turn to the experts at MillsAir.com. They're modern-day con artists, and they're the focus of Creating a Con, a true crime anthology podcast. Season 1 spotlights Ray Trapani and his tech startup scam, endorsed by DJ Khaled and Floyd Mayweather, and built on empty promises and millions from bilked investors. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I don't think start a business. I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme, and I can't help it. Listen to Creating a Con on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Creating a Con. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992 right here in Central Florida. Over 30 years, they're not going anywhere. Carrier, factory authorized dealer, turn to the experts. Equipment changeouts and upgrades right now up to $1,275 in rebates. Go to MillsAir.com. Hi, this is Earl Ron. I'm the president of New South Window Solutions. What I like people to understand about our company is what's unique about us. We manufacture, we install, we guarantee. We go out of our way to make it easy. Going on now. Save 35% off factory direct windows and doors. Visit NewSouthWindow.com. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Cento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long distance moving. From packing to delivery, Cento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know a Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? <laughs> You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. 
Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. But I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it, and at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I read used their protocols, and everything they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Scheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980. In Orlando, Winter Park, the Villages, and Lake Mary. 689-244-7980. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Duncan is dropping a new kind of energy. Introducing Sparked Energy by Duncan. It's energy for the fun of it. Available in two full-on delicious flavors, Berry Burst and Peach Sunshine. It's what you need when your afternoon needs you to get going. A revitalizing burst of caffeine, vitamins, and minerals gives you the energy to turn the fun up to 11. True story. Drop by or order ahead on the Duncan app today. Fruit flavored contains 0% fruit juice, caffeine from caffeine and guarana. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. This hour of programming is brought to you by My Home Builders Network. Need a new roof? Then you need Mike and his team at HBNUSA.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Saturday is the Monster Brew Bus. Angel worked hard on putting all this together. Excited about it. I will be there. Ryan Holmes will be there. Angel will be there. If you're an old time, a long time listener, you remember Bo the Big Man Rhodes. He's going to be my plus one. He's going to be there. The last stop, oh Monster Music Man Matt will be at uh, Claremont Brewing. Daisy Del Toro will be at. Uh, Claremont Brewing. We got three stops. Brewlando Brewing is the first stop at 1145. Everyone is welcome to join us on Saturday and come by there. Angel tells me the place is awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Toll Road Brewing will be there at 145. That's downtown in uh, Ocoee where the Ocoee Music Festival is happening. So that's going to be a hell of a party. And then we go to Claremont Brewing and it's always a party. We got Matt performing live. We got Daisy will be there. We'll, we'll, it'll be our third stop. So we're going to be lit and ready to go. So looking forward to it. We I want to thank Wasi's Meat Market for making this happen. And Just Call Mo, injury on the go. Just Call Mo. Thank you, Mo, for sponsoring the Brew Bus. You know, we can't do anything around here without sponsors. And we appreciate when you sponsor something. And when we, you know, when we bring it up, man, when you jump on board and sponsor it, we appreciate it. We do have coming up uh, very soon the Cinco de Mayo event. And we w- really could use a sponsor for it. But if not, Ooh. we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. But we sure could use a sponsor. That would be very helpful. And we're going to raise money for the uh, the food pantry of Volusia County. And we'll tell you more about that in a little bit. Uh, but uh, now it's time for Angel to bring you Monster Sports. Monster Sports brought to you by Monsters.fm. That's our website. If you get a chance to jump on there, we've got a bunch of different content and stuff for you to check out. 
We'll start here. Congratulations to University of South Carolina Man. Mm-hmm. for avenging their defeat from last year Ugh. and beating the Hawkeyes 87-75 to on Sunday in Cleveland to win their third national championship and become the 10th undefeated national champion 38-0 in women's college basketball and that's how history. you know Russ's curse isn't broken because he he bet on a live scripted television event but the actual game that he wanted to happen well, let's, well, let's, go, let's go back to the, the final four which was on Friday right that was Friday so I watched that on Friday with the girls and I was I was pulling for um, Caitlin Clark and uh, and she you know it was great it was awesome and this game I, I wanted to see Caitlin Clark finish her story you know because her win in the national championship would have been a cherry on top for her a storied career uh, and I'm sitting at this event yesterday, you know, because I'm there two hours early and I'm watching it on my phone. Uh, you watch, you know, so I'm watching the uh, the basketball game on the phone. People kept coming by wanting to know what the score was. And at first, it was like, uh, it, you know, Iowa's had uh, 10 nothing. Like they were on fire. And then South Carolina comes back. And man, and once they, once they overtook them, there was no turning back, was there? So they, uh, Iowa jumped out. I think it got as high as a double digit lead in that first uh, few minutes of, of the game. Yeah, it uh, did. Yeah, they, they, 12, they jumped out and something like that. Yeah. Um, but the difference in this game, again, there was a, there was one one team was uh, more developed in the sense of they played nine to ten players deep. Iowa does not. So the the difference in the game here is that South Carolina scored thirty seven points from their bench. Yeah. Iowa had zero. Yeah, and they were they were yeah. kind of, it was it was you know Caitlin Clark basically, and then they have some other players that hit some threes, but yeah. Uh, so it, Caitlin Clark scored uh, 18 points in the first 10 minutes as Iowa jumped out to a 27-20 lead. Yeah. But at halftime, South Carolina took a 49-46 lead at the half, and then after that, they just started you know just really uh, imposing their will on Iowa. Um, uh, there's uh, I felt like Caitlin towards the last few minutes of the of the game started pressing. Uh, yes. She started taking some. I I, th- I think Missing she went 0 for 4 or 0 for 6 her last uh, s- uh, few shots of the game. So, yeah, she missed a lot. Yeah, but again, can't take it away. Uh, the uh, coach from uh, South Carolina, Dawn Staley, uh, said it best. She, uh, Caitlin Clark, is uh, one of the, uh, women's basketball's uh, goats of all time. Yeah, and she's going to elevate the the WNBA game as well, just as the way, that, just the same way that she elevated uh, women's college basketball. I got this you, class I, of uh, women going into the WNBA. Yeah, is incredible. So. I enjoyed watching women's basketball this yeah. year. Like, like, I, and I tried watching the guys' games, and I wasn't as into it because there wasn't anyone I really cared about that much. Uh, and um, and yeah, so uh, I bet tonight is the finals for the the guys. Tonight's right? game is going to be the finals, uh, men's final, which is going to be interesting uh, for a, a handful of uh, little details. But so it's the number one uh, Purdue Boilermark, uh, seed, uh, number one seed Purdue Boilermakers versus number one seed Connecticut Huskies. Now, what's funny or interesting about this? This is the first time since 1984. Patrick Ewing and Akeem Olajuwon mm. that you have two bona fide seven footers in the middle of uh, playing center for both teams. You got Edie uh, who's uh, seven four. You got the kid from uh, UConn who's seven two. So we're playing some old school big man in the middle Ooh. basketball. Okay. Um, it's going to clog up a lot of things. I'm really curious how this is going to turn out. Now both the guys, both the seven footers are very athletic. Uh, they're very mobile. I will prove to you that the streak oh is broken. Gosh. I'll prove to you that during uh, WrestleMania, I was able to pick the the winner of every single match, and now and my, now my, my streak is broken. I'm telling you right now, UConn is going to win the national championship, and just go ahead and, and put all your money on it. All the money you got, UConn wins tonight, flat out. Oh, we got this right, Ryan. No, this is his. This is his. Uh, he's he's, call, he's right calling now. his shot, proof, right? Proof right. that the curse is broken. Mm, right. I'm telling you, you heard it here first. Russ Rollins says UConn. Wins. Uh, the fans, the uh, uh, it's unfortunate for y'all, but uh, I apologize. Uh, he's, he feels reckless oh. and, and dangerous like that. Oh. He's a, I see a uh, uh, world renowned broadcaster Linda Miller here with a, a prediction. Where did Linda slide in at? Linda, how you doing, mama? Hello, Linda Miller. T- turn the microphone on. Linda! Oh. Where is she at? Oh, I thought uh, she was there. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I, th- I thought you gave me the look, like, uh, talk to me. I wasn't looking at Ryan. Oh, okay. 
I guess Linda Miller's not here, Angel. I'm sorry. Go why are you throwing with... throw my uh, my sports broadcast off like that? Yeah, go on with your little program, as she would say. I was excited. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Sorry to... <laughs> Ross and try, she woke me try, up. I guess try, I'm coming on the show. Trying to pass the ball around. My bad. <laughs> I'm awake now, Russ. <laughs> Damn. I'm awake. Oh, oh, I see Linda Miller's now here. She hey, is... Linda, did you uh, catch the listening. women's uh, championship last night? I did. It was fantastic, Angel. And yeah. thank you for having me on your show. I, I love love being a guest on the show when when you know when you asked me to um, <laughs> but i mean i guess you got this old man booking talent now and um, oh. he kind of caught me off guard i apologize for not being as professional as i normally am mm. I, it's all right linda i enjoy your company regardless linda miller what's your prediction for tonight's mm. uh you know n- men's national championship who do you think's gonna win tonight I've been thinking about this a lot. I was writing down some statistics the other day, and uh, I think the 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 real loser from tonight is going to be Ufus. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, yeah. actually, basketball mm-hmm. players and athletes all wear Ufas. Did you know that? No, they, they don't. Do? Yes. that's a lie. That's true. And much like that ugly shirt you have on, that's a lie. <laughs> Linda Miller, you've been there at the games. Have you seen any of these players wear these UFOs? Right, and, you, and you actually played uh, uh, women's basketball, didn't you? I did. It's a, it's a new game now. You know, the athleticism is at such a high point with all of these women, and they're just out there killing it. And I couldn't be more proud that, you know, I was one of the innovators. I was kind of like the... I was kind of like the the great moolah in the beginning of women's basketball. <laughs> That's what I think of when I see you is the great moolah. Uh, what, you, what? Know what of, you know what I think of when I see you? What's vomit. It? <laughs> Jesus. Said vomit. Right. <laughs> yeah, she said vomit, yeah. All right, we're going to wrap up Boston Sports with a couple real quick hits here. Orlando Magic beat the Bulls 113-96. Uh. to 96. Mm. Now, Russ, this is imperative right now that the Magic get it together and mm-hmm. beat some, t- you know, we got two games versus the Milwaukee Bucks. As it stands today. Who we play next? Oh, at, hold on a second, buddy. As it stands today. <laughs> Slow your roll, fat boy. <laughs> as it stands today, we are currently the number three seed mm. in the Eastern Conference. Wow. We are behind the Celtics are one. Yeah. The Bucks are two. And the Magic are three. Knicks are four. Now we're tied with the Knicks, but I think mm. we win the, the differential there. Now, what's interesting is, Russ, all right, so we just beat the Bulls. Today, tomorrow, I'm sorry, we play the Rockets. Yes. We should win that game. Yeah. Wednesday. I, I predict the Magic will win against the no! Rockets. No. No. What are you doing, Why man? The streak doing is this? broken. No, it is not. The streak Why is broken. Are we doing this? I can predict. Angel. With the best of them. Uh, he really wants, because it hurts his feelings that all these teams were him. losing. Yeah, yeah and he dude. gets upset about it. Now Angel. he's going to go over the top and ruin it for I told everybody. you Cody Rhodes was going to win the, the that that is scripted Universal. television, No sir. one is giving you credit for that, Russ. Uh, I, Angel. I, 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 we went double yes. or nothing. I got credit. Angel. Yeah. Yes, Linda. How you doing? How about you give me a differential with your rocket in a 69? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> What, like you, you'd He's wear the jersey speechless. number sixty nine wow. and the Houston Rockets. Yeah, that sounds that sounds accurate. Sometimes I get lonely, Angel, and I think about you a lot. Oh wow! <laughs> we'll wrap it up. With Linda, that. Linda wasn't here, and then she was, <laughs> no, and then she was very horny. <laughs> she's very here. Yeah. Uh, from one whew. And that's lots of sports. He doesn't okay. wear that sounds about right. <sighs> <sighs> okay. Uh oh. Don't go what? anywhere. You're listening to the Mosh of the Morning. <laughs> Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Westbound I-4 is looking slow from Saxon Boulevard to the St. John's River Bridge, from County Road 46A past Lake Mary Boulevard, and from the Beach Line to State Road 535. An accident westbound on Colonial Drive at Cricket Club Circle has two right lanes blocked. There's a wreck southbound on Boggy Creek Road at Beth Road. An accident in the right lane southbound on Orange Blossom Trail at Councilor Row. And traffic signals aren't working at Moss Park Road at the Greenway. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. At Rasmussen University, we offer 50-plus programs from health sciences to business business to nursing, online and on campus. Are you ready to rewrite your story? Learn more at rasmussen.edu.
This ear full of real radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most. Attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, and working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Visit iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at abacuspays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at abacuspays.com. He's a former coach with two sons who played professional basketball. Satch Sullinger is a competitive individual, but his golf game was suffering because of painful joints. Right. That's real important. The golf game. Right. As we get older, we create these bad habits because we're relegated to hit a certain way. QC Kinetics used regenerative treatments, all natural healing properties from Satch's own body to restore those damaged joints and get his golf game back on track. QC Kinetics regenerative medicine is regenerating me all natural and that's what i'm about i'm gonna tell everybody why i'm better oh and by the way it looks like the competitive satch is back we're all in the same boat and i'm getting better and i'm watching them stay old go to qckinetics.com get relief and your game back call for your complimentary consultation call qc kinetics 689-244-7980 that's 689-244-7980 in orlando winter park and the villages 689-244-7980 getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. Here's a top move for hiring a divorce attorney. See how they look and handle themselves on video or audio. Chances are that's them at their best with editing, setup, and multiple takes. The courtroom is live. Mediation is live. Make sure your divorce lawyer is going to make you look good. At Trendley Kramer Law, we handle family law and divorce. TK Law, one firm for life. Get ready for three days of extraordinary store-wide savings at International Diamond Center. Not this weekend, but next weekend. You get extra savings across the board, up to 20% off. Rings, bands, bracelets, earrings. Best prices all year and up to three years zero interest. Next weekend at IDC. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. I'm Johnny B. Good, the host of the podcast, Creating a Con, the story of BitCon. This podcast dives deep into the story of Ray Trapani and his company, Centratech. I'll explore how 320-somethings built a company out of lies, deceit, and greed. I've been saying since a very young age that I was going to be a millionaire. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme. 
Listen to Creating a Con, the story of Bitcoin, on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. One broadcasting live on iHeartRadio, reminding you that uh, okay, this weekend, this Saturday is uh, Earth Day. I mean, no, no, is uh, the Monster Brew Bus. The next Saturday is Earth Day birthday, and at Earth Day birthday, there's a Monster Chill Tent. Yeah. And in the Chill Tent, Angel of Boom, Angel will be DJing in the Chill Tent. It's gonna be air conditioned. I'll be there for a little while with the uh, official. I brought a bottle in here today. We can share with people when they come. Uh, of the official whiskey of Earth Day Birthday is a uh, Triple R Blended Whiskey. I brought a bottle with me uh, so we could uh, maybe 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 on Friday we uh, <laughs> Stop yelling. we get into it. You know? uh, Why are you yelling at us? I know. Man, it's yelling? talk. I'm trying to listen to him. I got two loud Since ladies when talking do you about listen nothing. To Russ? And you have your headphones on. You don't hear us through I the headphones. I definitely hear you guys having a loud ass conversation. We were talking about something important. <laughs> what, it was quiet. What were you talking about? Hair. <laughs> We were anyway, talking about hair growth. Earth Day birthday on uh, April the 20th <laughs> will be happening, and uh, we'll be there. Come by and say hello. We'll uh, excited about it. And then that night uh, is the is the uh, Edgewater High School Hall of Fame induction. If anyone wants to go to that, you're welcome to go to it. And, I hear Linda Miller's going. And uh, I hear she is, too. She's oh. going to your induction in the Hall of Fame. Uh-huh. Yeah, How'd she, she get tickets? Uh, she already bought tickets. Actually, Sweet. Ray Trinley bought a table, and she's going to be at the table. He did. Nice. He actually oh. bought a table, and uh, anyone that wants to go can go because there's extra tickets if you if you want to go. Just say you're with uh, with Russ. How is Ray Trinley is just the greatest guy ever, he's right? He's so sweet. He is super good. He is uh, wonderful. He's a good guy. He I like that you dude. almost said he's so sweet, too. You stopped yourself. He is sweet. <laughs> he's a sweet oh, that guy. That dude's a sweetheart, yeah. And, uh, they're, they're, they're Easy com- now, Diddy. I'd go on his yacht. <laughs> I think there's someone else that uh, uh, bought tickets as well. So if you show up that night, just tell them you're with Russ and you get in. Uh, at, uh, if you went to Edgewater High, or even if you didn't go to Edgewater High School, if you just want to come support. That's uh, that's nice. If I'm uh, you just like hanging middle. around at high school, and, and I don't, I don't, oh, I don't so know weird. which suit I'm going to have as of yet. It's either going to be the oh, red one gosh. or the gray one. I don't know. I think which you should one. go birthday suit. I might do it full mm. nude. Ed yeah, Warner. that's it, full nude in your oofus. Yeah, <laughs> I go if if you're a badass, that's how you go up. Droopy there. boobies uh-huh. and all. So uh, I'll, I'll let you try to uh, finish finish this joke, uh, Ryan, because this is this this happens uh-huh. all the time. <laughs> To Mary Ellen, it right? Is. Now, my mm-hmm. wife's a paramedic, right? So when she, And she's a paramedic that goes out to uh, the Orange County Convention Center all the time. So when she goes out there, it's usually for conventions. And on the first day, there's always, like, riggers up in the, uh, up, up in the uh, mm-hmm. you know, rigging things the and rafters. everything. Uh, and the rafters. Are when, okay, so <laughs> what do you think is, and every time they think it's an original joke, they think it's original. What do you think is the, something that's yelled out at a female paramedic, uh, you know, way up there so she, you know, they can't they, they can't do anything what mm-hmm. what do you think is and, and she said it happens almost every single time happened again the other day and happened again this morning and she's walking on you know walking in beginning of the day the riggers are up there they see a female paramedic what do you think the joke uh i don't know i, I don't know what a rigger is you don't know what a rigger is they're, oh. they're rigging everything up in the in the rafters they're, they're everything that for why the convention she, why well, she's up there. She, no, she's walking in, and they're way up away. So it's like a, it's like a cat call. It's like it's like a construction guy is is, is cat calling. Oh, to they're calling down to her. They're, they're calling down to her. Oh, they're oh, calling. Okay. To, I thought okay. she was up he, there. The way he said it made it sound like he was uh, calling, no, or, that she, or that she was up in there. She's walking in, and as she's walking oh, okay. in, the construction uh-huh. guys. They're, they're okay. called the riggers. They're, they're, they're up there doing rigging stuff. How about and everything. paramedic? How about pa- nice pair of boobs? Okay. <laughs> Are you looking down. Hey, Doc, see. is this look infected? Oh, you're closer. You're no. closer. Yeah, every, I just, hope I fall. If I fall, will you fix me? I hey, catch this drop bear. <laughs> Do objects seem smaller from where you stand? I don't know. Hey, I'm Doc, can I like... get some mouth to mouth? That's exactly it right there. Uh, hey, 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 paramedic, I think I need mouth to mouth. And they, all the guys laugh. And, they, and she's like, Jesus. Shout out to Arturo. He's she's the one like, that texted that Oh, one okay. Then. Yeah, he says the same joke every time. They think that's funny. They think, and, and, and I was going to talk about that. So, guy, so they're doing it to make their buddies laugh. Right. Mm-hmm. They think it's an original joke. It's the same joke every yeah. single time. You yeah. know, they see a female oh. paramedic. Hey, hey, I think, it, you know. Uh, you know, it's called if a pirate gives you mouth to mouth. What's what? it called? CPR. 
Ah, that's oh funny. Oh my gosh, it's a Monday, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's funny. Um, so it's like this whole sort of hive mentality sort of thing that people do and say the same things all the time. Yeah. Like I get the same comments what, all the time. What do you get? They're always the same. What? Uh, I wrestle you. Well, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Wrestle It's, it's always uh, just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. Oh yeah. Just a matter of time. Yeah. Like okay. Just a matter of time, like what, yeah, but, what, okay. But, but, but what, what men, he's men, talking about men is, do it to women though, like like like, yes. like 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 women don't do that to guys. But, Whatever. But men get, will get together the and they'll. You Did know, you just hear the sports lady that was in here? Yeah. yeah. Well, she's yeah, she's all about that ass Angels got. Well, yeah. yeah See what I'm saying? She's, she's very anom- aggressive. She's an anomaly. <laughs> she is aggressive. How about you, uh, Angela? What, what's the uh, what's the cat call? The thing you get uh, yelled at? I come dance <laughs> she, your pants off. But no, she gets. Hey, talk is this infected? Come scrub this. <laughs> Scrub this. <laughs> I know they call me Superwoman HPV. No, oh, Ryan. God. Too uh, low. <laughs> um, it really depends on where I am yeah. because it does change. So when I am in the table and I'm at the convention center and I am playing Carmen Miranda and I have bananas on my table, the amount of comments that happen about the size of a banana, oh, what where, kind where of you're holding the rest of them, how much can I? Oh yes, where are the rest of them? Have I tried all the sizes? I that can, I, up. can I squeeze are your the, fruit? Are the are the fruits real? Yeah. What about these? You know, what about these can melons? I have these melons to the oh yeah, so a, that a, and type each of guy stuff, that's all they think they're being original. Oh, they, oh, oh yeah. so they think it's just so funny. Yeah, yeah. It's just the most, exactly what you said, so, the most original hey, thing Hey, why don't you come ever. dance on my lap? Do you think Whoa. guys are saying it because hey, they're, they're, they're trying to make their other guy friends laugh, or do they think it's really going to be funny to the girl? <laughs> Like, because Mary Ellen said it's usually they're up there with their buddies and they're trying to make their buddies laugh. So like, hey, I think I need mouth to mouth. Same joke every time. Uh, I uh, think there's a there, I think there's a level of dude who genuinely thinks he's that funny. these corny ass lines work. Yes. Yeah, right. I think there there's these guys out there that because they they re- resort to them mm-hmm. quickly. Yeah. Now, if you're good about your game, you've evolved and your and your lines and your game and all that is evolved and it's right. way better yes. than these uh, than these lines. Yeah, and it it's one of those things where yes, sometimes I do believe that they they themselves think that this is funny or this will work, um, and then there are just times that they want to see how far they can go because they know that in the instance that I'm talking about, there's only but so much I can say back because I'm working yeah. and I'm mm. representing a company, so there's only but so much clap back that I can give to them. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's just one of those like all Mary Ellen says. I'm going to see how far I can push it and how yeah. how bad I can get, or like the people who like try to look underneath it, like they'll lift up the table skirt and they'll be like, oh. "Hey, what does it look like under that table?" And I'm like, and I can't reach them. Yeah. So there's been problems where I've had stuff like that. Where even women. How about you come over and be a milking table? <laughs> <laughs> uh, or they'll I... just like lift the back of my skirt on the top, and they're like, "Well, I just wanted to see you look like a mannequin." I said, "You wouldn't even touch a mannequin like that. Why are you trying no. to do that, yes, creepers? I would. Creepers? I, oh my I, god! I, just I have funny sexually cause... assaulted a lot of Birdine's mannequins. <laughs> She's like, I, it, it's the same joke, and it has been for same years. Thing. Uh, same. Hey, all and, you and chatters they... out there in the chat, lady chatters, come show me your words. <laughs> <laughs> they, they think it's original, but it uh, but it's not. So today is the is like the eclipse, hashtag that I am. is the social, <laughs> the uh, solar eclipse today, and uh, hurt. it's getting uh, it's big news everywhere. Mm-hmm. If you're in, let's see, it starts in Texas, goes through Oklahoma, then it goes to Missouri, uh, Ohio, New York, uh, uh, Maine. Maine. And then Canada. What a rock rock too, right? Isn't there a place in Philadelphia? Uh, there in- probably will be. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, thanks, it, Biden. It says like only <laughs> like like one out of seven people uh, is even concerned about it. It's, it's not really, you know. Uh, but they're, they're- that's weird because I feel like then I've all the other just the, all the ones. Are, are are in my circle because yeah. that's all they've talked about. I agree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The path of totality is what they're calling that, and they're saying that in, in that path of totality, there probably is going to be problems with with air flights, 
Uh, there's going to be problems with traffic problems. Oh, uh, problems with Major League Baseball games. Major That's League what Baseball I games. Yeah, so it's, uh, short, there's uh. a couple games that this is going to affect them uh, yeah. during the game. There's a couple games that are going to uh. happen. People are concerned about if their pets should be brought inside, and the official word oh on God. that is you know, PETA is saying protect your pets, bring them inside. Oh, but uh, other people are saying, listen, listen, unless your dog or cat stares at the sun, they're probably yeah. fine. They're going to be okay. But <laughs> what uh, in the world? Other animals are going to be affected by it, and as one with Savannah, obviously she's a professional at, yeah. out at Gatorland. Uh, will any of the animals out at Gatorland be affected I by the... I don't know, and that's really exciting to find out. Like, I never even thought about that. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, so I'm excited to find out. Does the eclipse make a sound like a door shutting? <laughs> no. Yeah. No. <laughs> it, does make, it does make a sound. If you listen closely, it goes... Turn around. Every now and, and then, then I get, get a little bit around. restless and I'm never come around. Come around. <laughs> Turn around. around. Every now and then, and so I don't know the <laughs> words to describe it. Something Turn is around. Good. Bright eyes. Every now and then I fall apart. Turn around. Bright eyes. Now and ever, now and then I fall apart. And I need you now, tonight. You know, when, she wrote, when she wrote that song, like, I'll put the word total eclipse in there. She had no idea that that would it'd make the song stick around forever. Remember you know? when me and Drunky sang it at Hard Rock Live? I do not. We absolutely sang Total Eclipse of the Heart at Hard Rock Live. I don't remember that. No, no. Uh, so, yeah, it is today. Uh, and now, for us, so it's not going to be a... what time does it hit Florida? Uh, it hits Doesn't. us at 3.03 is, oh. is when it actually oh, happens. Uh, and it says here that, um, you know, uh, it's three, and it only lasts for four minutes. But what we're going to see won't be a total eclipse where we're at. It'll be like yeah. a partial eclipse. Uh, but the total eclipse, they, they think it's going to affect, like I say, air flight, traffic, uh, the animal animals in that area because the animals in that area got they well it's dark because you know like the, the the stars come out i mean if it's not if, if there's not too much uh clouds and stuff you'll be able to see the star it'll be like it's nighttime in the oh, middle of the day for, so it for, freaks for four out minutes. it freaks out some of the animals yeah four minutes is all okay. really is going to last well i'm glad it's happening now because i thought it was happening when on the same time that i fly out and i would hate to be in the air when that was happening yeah and it's kind of weird yeah. so it says nasa is running a big study today to look at how the animals uh, will react to the eclipse because you know they don't get a chance to uh, test this that often last time we had an eclipse was 2017 and in 2017 it says here half of america uh watched the solar eclipse so, and I think it'll be more this time because it's getting more, uh, more attention. Just like Angel was saying, and, and and we're more in tune to social media and Facebook, and it's kind of everywhere. Uh, I got my glasses, so I'll you know I'll try to check it out. I guess. Yeah, but there's a hysteric level that people are uh, kind of responding to as well. Like no, I said, there was people crazy. that are you know think that this is the apocalypse. They're yeah. waiting for the aliens to come yes. right after that. Yes. Uh, there's people that are uh, rented Airbnbs and have signed away all their thi- all their lively possessions. Yeah. yeah. There are people that have gone that are. Com- completely gone off the reservation on this and thinking that this is it. The, you know, with everything that's going on in the world, this is the culmination and the aliens come in right after the eclipse. Here's another wow. thing that's out there. They're, they're, this is making social media. They're saying that you can't, don't eat, you can't eat during the eclipse because if you eat during the eclipse, your food is poisoned and, from the radiation from the sun oh and it'll God. make you sick. Who said that? And NASA had to come out and say that it, 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 they debunked it. They're like, that's a t- that's a ton of crap. That is not true. But there's a there, there's a thing out there saying don't eat popcorn because popcorn, for whatever reason, is attracted to the radiation. <laughs> attracts all their, popcorn attracts you all stop spreading <laughs> fake news right now. <laughs> no, I'm telling you that NASA has had to come out and officially debunk this. That's because stupid. Because, well, people say stupid stuff on social media, yeah, and some people do. believe it. It makes but, me so, like, it, what's so stupid about people? Like, eclipse is coming. It raptured all this. It's just like we've been able to accurately predict eclipses for like a thousand years. Like we've known this one is coming for hundreds of right, years. Right, right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like this is nothing new. It's just it's just the way things orbit. I don't get why people freak out. There's a I pet don't... service that will take care of your pet if you're raptured. <laughs> <laughs> that's Are a, you like, serious? Yes, that's a real thing. So like the guy, guy created pet service. So if you go, if you you pay him ahead of time, 
If you get raptured, then you go. He'll he'll go and collect your dog and stuff because he's assuming he's not going to get raptured. By the way, through the uh, the path of totality, all of the schools and uh, you know all the classes or whatever throughout there, they're not letting the kids out at that time because they don't want to be responsible for the kids looking up at the eclipse and hurting their eyes. So so if they had oh. if they had you know recess or whatever at that time, all the kids are staying in. They're so not letting crazy. them go out. Meanwhile, there's some sensible schools out there and sensible administrators, yeah. and they sent permission slips home and said. Hey, listen, if you want your kid to come out here outside, be outside and watch this, mm-hmm. we've got glasses yeah. for them. Just sign this permission slip. And luckily for us, some of those schools are here in Florida. I will say it's, <laughs> you, you, <laughs> in Florida. <laughs> it's easier to to do look accidentally look at the sun when you have the eclipse glasses than you think it would be. Because I was down there when Solar Source was there on Friday. Yeah. Oh, uh, Ryan. And so Savannah, listen to this. So I had the glass. I didn't this put, dumb dog. I didn't put them on on, right? Like, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to bend them yet. So I. I held them up above, like, I just held them up to my yeah. eyes like God this. forbid you bend the sides and put them around your ears like you're supposed I'm to. I'm planning on selling these. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Get good money for this. And so I'm holding it up, and I'm like, oh, wow, look at the sun. That was crazy. And then I'm still looking up, and then I pull the glasses down, <laughs> and then violently blind myself. I still see a spot in my vision. He he blinded himself. He got so sick to his stomach, he had to leave. I was already sick before that. Ooh, Bubba. Yeah, he was queasy already. <laughs> oh, <Bubba. laughs> yeah, he is. Little bubba. That's, that's for sure. Right another here. another thing that's out there is that uh, you're going to lose uh, cell service during the eclipse. That's why. That's why people. That's why people are that's losing their minds. Why. And you're not going to be able to be on social media it's for four, four minutes. minutes. It's not true. That's another thing that uh, someone spread out there to tell you you're not going to use your. I don't believe you or wherever you're getting your sources from, sir. You so t- wait a minute. I have a question. Did any of you guys see the movie Leave the World Behind? No. Because uh, it has to do with like certain things happening. Happening and how that's how the aliens are going to come here that's and like what, the that, whole, it's that, the Julia Roberts movie. Yes, it's I actually liked it. a really good movie. I liked it. That's the one that just recently came out, right? Yeah, it yeah, did. it was on Netflix. So, the big ship coming on shore. And was there? Yes, a, it was, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, like a tanker. So yeah, there, like there, a, there yeah. was there was an eclipse with that. I'm there right. wasn't an eclipse, but I I oh. feel like this. No, no, wait, no, no. Hold on. But the stuff that you're talking about, yeah. makes sense in like all the different things happening and what people are thinking. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Ryan, stop looking at me like that. I can't. So long. People are crazy. Hey, Angelique. People are crazy. <laughs> so yeah. Ryan blinded himself by looking at the yeah. sun for a second. Yeah. That was easily uh, one of the top ten dumbest things I ever did. And then he announced that, he, oh, now I feel sick, and he left. No, I was feeling like that. Like The last hour of the show uh, on Friday, I got real dizzy, and I was trying to like, all right, Ryan, be cool. Like I know the room is spinning for no reason, but we just got to power through this show. And I can just, tell something was up with you. You got paler. Yeah. I don't How know. How's that possible? He became no, translucent. He did. He, yeah, he was almost translucent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those things. But that, your, like, bit, your bit was super funny. So why don't you do that again oh. today? Oh, damn! <laughs> get sick. All right. <laughs> the sicker, the sicker, the funnier. Let's get some more beer then. Why is he oh, so mean to you, Ryan? It it was, was, it was, he's it always so mean to you. What are you talking I about? I bought, I bought him a pair of oofas today. But I don't he didn't mean buy. Nice. He'd rather have the twenty three dollars and ninety nine yeah. cents. My dad, my dad would just buy me stuff too, but he never showed me love either. By the way, oofas are eighty five dollars. They're not. Oh damn. Well, then you're, then you're stupid he... because the ones I just saw were twenty four dollars. No, I got them the good ones. I got I yeah. got them the ones I got. Eighty five dollar pair. Why do you get all the good? He would stuff? rather have the eighty five dollars. <laughs> I I'm guarantee not, you. No, I bought a Mufas. I want to I want to see his little feet wow. be comfortable. I thought they were like he's twenty just bucks. He's trying to see feet, dog. He's trying to see his feet. That's what he said. I already have one of his. He said I want to see his his little feet be comfortable. I want his little feet to be comfortable. Yeah, you you, you wait till you you slip on some oofas. You'll see why all major athletes wear oofas after their basketball games. I think think that's the brand of shoe my wife has because of her uh, sprained ankle. So she has to walk Uh, around the house in these like mm -hmm. orthopedic shoes all the time. They're not orthopedic shoes, but whatever they are, they are are sexy. Not sexy. No, (laughs) like she. And it's funny too because she, she, you know, sexy is a state of mind. Mind, by the way, you can be sexy in oh, whatever you want. Oh my god, that's what all not sexy is. Slap that on my shirt. Oh. <laughs> I'm, Russ, I'm, come on. I'm sexy in my star, stormtrooper shirt. Sexy it's like not, not even a stormtrooper shirt. shirt. That's the Rebel Alliance, bro. Oh. They're, they're, that's who they battle against. You don't even know what it is. How are you wearing it's, something that you don't know what it is? I knew it was Russ. a spaceship, and I knew there was a solar eclipse today. And if the uh, aliens do come down, I can be like, hey, I'm with y'all. See, I got, I got a spaceship. Angel, right on my shirt. Don't you, didn't you talk to your daughter? Daughter about not wearing shirts that she doesn't know yeah, about the, the bands and what it yeah. is and everything. Can you have yeah, that discussion with Russ? Yeah, you're a Star Trek Russ? guy, 
Now why you wear a Star Wars? I am a Star Trek guy. That's oh true. boy, here we go. I, why are you wearing Star Wars? We're going down rabbit hole. I think here. this is uh, Battlestar Galactica. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. All right, listen, we're taking a little break. Don't, what the frack? Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. What the frack? Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. The uncle you love. Who also frightens you? The Jim Colbert Show. Weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center. Cooltoday.com. Good morning. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Brooks Garner with your Fox 35 Central Florida forecast. Today we've got a partial solar eclipse visible. It peaks at 3.03 p.m. It'll be covered nearly 60%. Make sure if you look at the sun, you always wear those special protective glasses or you can see the eclipse in the dappled sunshine under trees. It'll project as a bunch of little crescents. Pretty cool to see. Otherwise, a high today of 80 degrees. Our next chance for rain comes on Thursday with showers and storms. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. At Rasmussen University, we offer 50 plus programs from health sciences to business to nursing, online and on campus. Are you ready to rewrite your story? Learn more at rasmussen.edu. Carl Black wants to send you and a friend on a road to Nashville to check out a great concert in Nashville, Tennessee. Outlaw singer Cody Jenks will be performing live April the 27th, and you can win tickets by going to realradio.fm slash contest. Register to get a pair of tickets. You get to sit in a lawn seat in the Carl Black Silverado. That's a pretty cool way to watch the show. Carl Black will provide round-trip airfare for two from Orlando to Nashville, and you get $200 in spending cash put in your pocket when you go to uh, Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. Also, they're going to give you two nights deluxe hotel accommodations in the uh, Omni Hotel in Nashville. It's Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, East Colonial Drive, one block west of Alafaya. If you want to win this incredible trip, now listen, if you win the trip, call us afterwards and tell us about it, because I want to hear about your experience in Nashville. I love Nashville, Tennessee. I went there for the first time because of Carl Black. They sent me there, and they'll treat you right. Guarantee it. It's Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Chevrolet, together, let's drive to Carl all black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. Nervous about investing in college savings right now? Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. Our 529 prepaid plans are 100% risk free because they're backed by the state of Florida, so you can never lose your investment. And now, prepaid plans start at just $34 a month. Open enrollment only happens once a year, so don't miss your chance to lock in the lowest prepaid plan prices in 10 years. Florida Prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jar Levine. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. My friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992 right here in Central Florida. Over 30 years, they're not going anywhere. Carrier, factory authorized dealer, turn to the experts. Equipment changeouts and upgrades right now up to $1,275 in rebates. Go to millsair.com. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise, efficient, and less invasive. We are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. Sunnyside Air Conditioning. Oh, hi. My air conditioner is blowing hot. For air conditioners making a funny noise, press 1. No, it's... Try to listen to the whole message before making a selection. Sorry. For air conditioners blowing cold, but not quite cold enough, press 2. No, it's blowing hot. I haven't gotten to that one yet. Well, can we speed this up? Don't get grumpy with me, or I'll take you back to the main menu. No, anything but that. Please don't send me back to the main menu. Fine, but I'm watching you. Bet if I'd called Frank Gay, I'd already be getting my problem solved. But you didn't call Frank Gay. So, what do we do now? I'm calling Frank Gay. When your air conditioner is blowing hot, you need a solution now. A helpful operator to guide you, all your options explained, and your problem fixed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. If you're ready to pull your hair out, press 7. Ah! That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Another happy SafeLight customer. SafeLight Repair. 
Hair safe light replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere, a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered safe light repair, safe light replace. I booked my appointment at safelight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to safelight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. The 2024 NFL Draft is here, and we have the ultimate watch party for you. It's Bud Light and 96.9 The Game's Draft and Crash Party at the Hilton Orlando Altamont Springs. We've taken over the ballroom to hang out and watch the draft. Just $28 gets you an all-you-can-eat buffet and two beer tickets. Bud Light and 96.9 The Game's Crash and Draft Party at the Hilton Orlando Altamont Springs. And if you want to crash for the night, take advantage of the special room rate for $96 bucks plus tax to get tickets head to 96.9 thegamecom slash Hilton brought to you by Mills Air. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues and all plans are backed by the million dollar protection package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Car crash? Call Clausman. ClausmanLaw.com. That's K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N. Oh, my God. Angel and I went to go get something... You know, and we, and we, we go past the newsroom, <laughs> there's like four big TV screens with all the latest news. And that's the news hub, right? Everything. Eclipse. Oh, eclipse. eclipse. The eclipse. And I'm like, man, it's, it's four minutes of nothing. <laughs> but, you know, basically, it's going to be four minutes of a, uh, you know, just... Uh, I don't know. It's funny. The only clips I'm interested in is the one in Fast and the Furious. Bring the Eclipse back. Is that a car? (laughs) Yeah. Mitsubishi? (laughs) Mitsubishi Eclipse, yes. Yeah. Wow. That's a a major story. Welcome back. back. I'm Russ along with uh, Angel and Savannah and Angelique and Ryan all here today. Turn around. Um, Um, (laughs) Mitsubishi Eclipse, though, it's in my brain. Like, does everybody have a car that, like, you think of and you're like, yeah, only douchebags drive that? Uh, is, is the eclipse for you? The, for is me, that? it's the Mitsubishi Eclipse. Like the douchebag what? dudes who are a little bit skinny and probably sell drugs drive a Mitsubishi Eclipse back oh, wow. in the day. You know what? I honestly okay. can't even tell you from my memory what a, a Mitsubishi Eclipse was. Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi Eclipse. <laughs> in, it was a really popular car because it was, it was. Uh, pretty easy to tune. And so yeah. uh, so that's probably why Ryan has this uh, uh, aversion to it because uh, that you could put on a, you know, a really... Uh, you know, fart can on in it and make yeah. it sound those obnoxious exhaust sounds. And I thought the car that was the king of the douches was the Hummer, and that's why I drove one. Like, I thought that was uh, the, the, the the one that people associate with douche people. Yeah, this specific car, yeah. uh, that year, <laughs> was like, oh, okay, oh you, a, you deal but, drugs. But that's that's that was a cool-looking car. Yeah, it was a fun little car, though. But Ryan yeah. is right. That, that was the car that everyone, especially after Fast and the Furious came out, yeah. that everybody could go because in. Because they couldn't get a Supra. No. And so, you could get, <laughs> so this one is way more oh. affordable, and you could do all the engine upgrades and all the exhaust and everything and uh, get your fast and furious on yeah there's just cars that i have like i'm like if you own this car i'm like i feel like i know what kind of person like girls who drive black jettas back in the day i'm like nah nah i I love bmws (laughs) i love bmws right and my one of my uh, cars that i want on my list is the bmw m5 sedan Mm. but the car the bmw car that i know that i every time i see somebody in it they're Probably a clown mm-hmm. is the two door three uh, BMW three series. Yeah, right. It's uh, always some dude who p- pretending to have way more money than he yeah, yeah, yeah. Than, mm-hmm. than he really has. Right, and then he's you know it's a BMW, and I'm like, dude, it's a three series. <laughs> hey, hey, isn't there one more Fast and Furious, and that's it? Like this this next one is it? The I thought it was, I thought they were doing two. Yeah, they were the first one they had, and this is the mm-hmm. second. And this, then I and think it, then I think you're right. Then I then, think you're right. And it finishes the story. Yeah, of course they say that, and then you know yeah. it, it makes I billions of dollars, so it could uh, it could come back. Uh, over the weekend, uh, the box office uh, once again Godzilla times Kong won again, and then Monkey Man came in second. What's Monkey Man? That is, uh, it, it, I think it's out of where's it out of uh, India. India, and it's kind of like a John Wick kind of a thing. 
I don't even know what that is. John Wick. John Wick. John Wick uh, with um, (laughs) Keanu Keanu Reeves. Reeves. You know, action movies. You don't know what John Wick is? Oh my God! I've heard the reference a lot. I'm just going to be honest and tell you, I don't know what it is. Shoot him up. Somebody took somebody took his puppy dog and killed his puppy. It killed the puppy dog, or or took the puppy dog. No, they killed the puppy. Killed the the puppy, and now he's killing everybody because they killed his puppy. And and there have been four of those movies. That's understandable. Yeah. yeah, but uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, Somebody uh, killed this guy's monkey. Uh, no, they no, called no. Monkey Man because he's it's it's a uh, it's a mixture of like the elements of uh, of John Wick, of Fight Club, of uh, and it's just crazy wall to wall action. Yeah. Um, and uh, oh, wait, jo- is there a monkey in it or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a monkey mask that the guy puts on oh, at, okay. at one point. Oh. Is that why they call him Monkey Man? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then Ghostbusters was in third place. It made nine million dollars. I haven't heard anything good about the Ghostbusters movie. I mean, I'll wait and probably watch it on. You know, I haven't on heard TV. either way, good or bad. Yeah, it's just kind of it's there. Yeah, same. But the Omen movie, they thought that was going to do a lot better. Usually, these horror movies end up winning the weekend. And but uh, uh, the tank. first Omen, uh, yeah, they're, mm. consi- they're considered kind of like a a tank and only made eight million dollars. Um, and people are surprised that Godzilla and Kong won again. They shouldn't be. It's Godzilla and Kong. It's Godzilla, yeah, yeah. Have you guys seen the trailer? I don't know what the name of the movie is, but this is the most ridiculous, insane uh, premise that I've seen what? for a horror movie. So apparently these gangsters kidnap this young uh, young little girl, mm-hmm. and they uh, go and they hide in a mansion. And basically they have to get $50 million for the girl or something like that. Come to find out. The little girl is a vampire, oh. and then she she systematically takes out everybody because cool. they're all locked in with her. I love mm. that. Yeah, that, so I saw that trailer. I was like, "This is nuts." Yeah, I think I might watch this. I, I, I'd watch that. I'd watch that. Hey, uh, Ryan, I did watch the Steve Martin documentary that oh, you recommended, yeah. and uh, the first it has two parts. It's, but the first part is about you know uh, him starting out, and the second part is about kind of him now. And I wasn't digging the him yeah. now part as much as him starting out, but. Um, Man, uh, I, uh, I found myself getting bored in the second half. To be honest, I kept looking like, how much time is left on this? Because I, I, like, I, I, I really enjoy Steve Martin, but yeah, his, his early career is what ins- inspires me, and uh, that kind of thing. And in the last half of his career, he's just an insanely rich dude who likes to cr- collect art. Yes, which is uh, which I actually didn't know what a you know avid art collector and art enjoyer he was. I mean, they show him making his breakfast, and and it's and he even kept he keeps saying this is really boring, and, and the more he kept saying it was boring, I kept going, yeah, yeah I think you're right, Steve. This is pretty, <laughs> it's pretty dull. I respect what he did though. Like he he so he's in his seventies. Uh-huh. He has a six year old daughter or an eight year old daughter. Yeah, uh-huh. and uh, he's like he's like we're not showing her. So when they when when she would come in the room for something, they would like put a sketch over her. Yeah. And right. like, and I, I respect that. But like, I was thinking like, okay, because you know, the conversation with me and my wife is always we're a little bit older, and uh, if we had kids, and we're like, okay, it'd be weird to have. But like, if you're like seventy, yeah, <laughs> you're not older in, in the grand scheme of all of this. You're yeah. not older. Yeah, but I'm saying like. He's not going to be there when she's like 20. No. That's no. like part of what you got to think he about. He might live 100 years. He's Steve Martin. That's that a good point. That is true, I hey, guess. Hey, speaking of uh, Steve Martin, of course, he uh, became famous on Saturday Night Live. That's when he really got his uh, mm-hmm. his juice. Uh, did you watch Saturday Night Live this week uh, with Kristen Wiig? I did. I loved it. It was really a funny episode. I mean, I, I love Saturday Night Live. Uh, you know, even when their people consider it bad, I, I think it's still interesting and good. You know, yeah. bad, bad sketches. I like to figure out why they're why they're not working. But Christian Wig this weekend, you had uh, John Hamm was on there. Fred Armiston. You had Will Forte. You had uh, uh, Martin Short, who obviously. Yeah. Works with Steve Martin a lot. Ryan Gosling and Ryan Gosling, who is taller than I thought when he when he oh, was yeah. when he was standing next to all these other guys, Matt Damon, all these guys. Ryan Gosling's actually a tall dude. Hmm. I, I had no idea. Yeah, is, it, is that, he really that tall, or is just all those other guys really well, little? All he was standing little, next yeah. to Martin Short, so yeah, you're yeah. right. <laughs> now Gosling comes in about six foot. Okay, well, yeah. he, well to the other oh, guys, he is? yeah. Then I, guess I wouldn't have thought that. John Hamm must be a the funny sm- one was a small guy. Hit, the, uh, the where I got, I thought I, I cracked up to myself was when Ryan Gosling is standing next to Matt Damon. Yeah, because up until that moment, because you think of Jason Bourne and you think yeah. his buddy's Ben Affleck and Ben Affleck is tall as yeah. well and everything, and I'm like, 
Oh, so they shoot him to be taller right. because standing next to Ryan Gosling, uh-huh. Matt Damon looks tiny. Oh wow! Really? I was Hell like, yeah. I was like, I was like, oh damn, he's oh. super. That's the thing that stood out to me in that picture. It's Kristen Wiig. It's all the guys coming yeah. out there, and then there's little tiny Matt Damon standing next to Ryan Gosling. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I couldn't uh, get over John Hamm's big ass head. That man has a huge yeah, he's got head. A t- he's got a TV head. Look yeah. at that. He does get a pretty big. But look how big Ryan Gosling is compared to all other guys. Look at those guys, yeah. Uh, I tell you what, uh, the, the, they did a bit, uh, Kristen Wiig did a bit about uh, Jumanji, the Jumanji uh, sketch. Yeah. Where, that was pretty funny. It was funny to me because as they were doing it, they were having this argument on, like, what is Jumanji? What is being Jumanji? Like, if you would you be sucked into the game? And the whole time, before they make the argument, like, because they're like, you don't get it. Ju- you don't, Jumanji comes out of the game. You don't go into Jumanji. What are you, an idiot? And then I'm sitting there thinking, like, no, Robin Williams got into Jumanji. She, she that says that one Jumanji. Yeah, one, <laughs> it's awesome. It's funny because, like, uh, the, the sketch started, it went somewhere completely from where I thought it was going to go because it's like three couples and they pull out a board game, uh, Ticket to Ride. I don't know if you ever played that game, but I, I thought it was going to go like, on oh, couple board game night, this is going to end in violence. You guys ever done a couple's board game night? No. No, I don't think I have. Yeah. It is one of the most horrific experiences you can have. You uh, want you, family family night, <laughs> family board game night, yes. Yeah, yeah like people like it's, it's like all of a sudden the gloves come off with people. If even if the couple's like you got one couple that's like winning, the other couple has no idea what's going on. They're yelling at each other. You're pull, and I've seen fights break out where like you're arguing about things from like twelve years that's ago. That's how couples get uninvited. <laughs> yeah. All right, listen, we're, we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we'll go over the rules of an up coming event that we're going to do. It's the uh, Cinco, de, Cinco oh. de Mayo Slapshot uh, event. What do you think? Thank now God. There are no, now there are rules. There, Russ, well, I can't Because every time there, I come in here, we never rules. talk about it. There, we're going to talk about he it. He keeps changing it. When we it. come back. I know he keeps changing it. Yes, I do. I change it. But That's at the right. end of the day, rules are going to be steadfast and hard, no. and you're not going to change. No. You're not going to go limp on these rules. No, they're open for change. What are you, <laughs> what, everything what are you is. talking about, like? <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? There are no hard, fast rules around here. We'll do that when we come back. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Your 30 seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. And the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. For slow westbound on I-4 from County Road 46A past Lake Mary Boulevard, and then again from the Beach Line to State Road 535. Had an accident southbound on Boggy Creek Road and Beth Road. Traffic signals aren't working on Moss Park Road at the Greenway. And the right turn lane is closed southbound on Orange Blossom Trail at Counselor Row. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Cracker Barrel. It pays to be early because at Cracker Barrel, you can get early dinner deals weekdays from 4 to 6 p.m. That includes their signature meatloaf, home-style chicken, and more, starting at just $8.99. So make tonight an early dinner night. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus, where relief is just around the corner. Aspire Allergy. Hi, this is Earl Ron. New South Window lives Florida weather, and that's why our windows and doors are designed to take on severe hurricanes and the most intensive. They're built and installed by us, meaning better value and a lifetime guarantee for you. Give your family security that lasts a lifetime. Get New South proud. For a limited time only, save 35% on New South Windows products and installation. Hey there, it's Russ for Zero Res. Get your carpets and tile clean without sticky, soapy, chemical residue left behind. Zero Res cleans the right way at the right price. This month, get 25% off floor cleaning, carpet, tile, stone, and wood. Visit OrlandoZeroRes.com. Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards, it's the right way to clean. Add value and security to your property today by contacting Fence Outlet. Now offering customers zero down and 0% financing for 12 months on any fence product. Go to FenceOutlet.com today for more details. Terms of financing apply. License number C-10252 and C-10803. 
Spectrum One is a big deal. You get Spectrum Internet with the most reliable internet speeds, free advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced security and privacy, and a free Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line with nationwide 5G included, all while saving big. For the big speed, big reliability, and big savings you want, get Spectrum One. Just $49.99 a month for 12 months. Visit spectrum.com slash big deal for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Get ready for three days of extraordinary store-wide savings at International Diamond Center. Next weekend, April 19th through 21st, you get extra savings across the board. Up to 20% off. Rings, bands, bracelets, earrings, even thousands of engagement ring mounting. This is the spring event everyone waits for. With all new fashion jewelry and a new selection of exquisite diamonds. Best prices of the year and up to three years, zero interest financing. Don't miss this once-a-year spring. Spring store-wide sale, April 19th through 21st, and only at International Diamond Center. All four Orlando locations. Homeowners, do you need a new patio, driveway, or front walkway? Install Brick Paver can give you a beautiful outdoor living space. Would you like a custom fire pit for relaxing with your family? Or a custom outdoor kitchen or pool deck renovation? Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise, Install Brick Paver can do with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. Get a free quote for your outdoor project at 407 407- 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years of experience and fantastic Google reviews. Call today and get $250 off your next project. Fire pits, paver driveways, patios, and pool deck renovation. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free quote and $250 off your next project now at 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. In this week's Marketer's Report, Chris Brandt, Chief Marketing Officer at Chipotle Mexican Grill, weighs in on the power of audio. We've used audio to reinforce what we're showing on TV, what we're showing in other digital channels. When your priority is driving reach, boy, everybody seems to listen to the radio. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the audiences, conversations, trusted influencers, insights, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Store Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Have you been into these meat sticks at all? Uh, they're, hard, they're hard to get into. I struggled the entire segment trying to, to open it. Just to open it. His meat. workout I, was this the entire. I break. couldn't get into this meat stick for uh, nothing. Oh, that's on you. Bloody then. it peels at the top. Yeah. Oh. They're, like it comes apart. Yeah, it comes apart at the top. But he's, he's, just, oh. he's just been biting through plastic <laughs> like an animal. Oh, what <laughs> kind of savage are you? Oh, my God. God. Have you never oh, eaten one look of these? No, I never. Ate one. Well, I got it. There you go. <laughs> I got it now. The whole, so break, the whole, whole entire break. break, he was trying to open that meat stick. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and bitching at us. Mm-hmm. Yes. Just you. Uh, I wasn't bitching at Angelique or Ryan. Oh, just, just you. This is my favorite day Mostly. on the show. Mostly. <laughs> is it? So coming up uh, on, uh, you know, we, we haven't done a, a, a live show in a while. The last one we did was Mount Dora, right? No, so, the last one we did no. this year was we did, uh, oh, yeah, you're, what, when did we Mount do Mount Dora? Dora? Yeah, Mount Dora. I was sick, remember? And got everybody oh, else. Oh, you got everybody sick. Yeah, 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 remember? No, I yeah. 
yeah. I, I spread my uh, my disease. Yeah, yeah. That, was uh, that, that was Mount Dora. Then we so. got the email from uh, the corporate and said like, no more events until this guy's 100 percent clear. Right. right, 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 right. So next event uh, where we're going to be live <laughs> doing a live morning show is going to be Cinco de Mayo. Come hell or high water, we've already presented it to sales and then when nothing's happening, so we're going to do our own and we're going to make it happen. And that's going to be on uh, Friday. That's going to go well for us. I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's going to be great. Where are uh, we doing it at? Okay, I, uh, well, we'll I've, announce I've talked, that later in the week. I, yeah, yeah, I have a meeting this week. Daisy and I spoke. Uh, Daisy's got like three or four places that are uh, Mexican restaurants that uh, have her tequila. Uh-huh. So we have a place that, that we are probably maybe going to go to. I have to have a meeting with them this week. Anyway, that's going to be a Friday uh, before Cinco de Mayo. And then we've decided that we're going to help raise money for the food pantry of Volusia County. And that was uh, with uh, Monster Music Man, Matt. He's a preacher. He's a, a pastor. And uh, he's you know, he's been doing this for a long time, helping Volusia County for people that need food. So we're like, okay, well, we can help out. So somehow, and i got to give Ryan the, the credit on this one. Ryan somehow <laughs> wrote me into. If we got to five thousand dollars, you know, because we're doing fundraising, and we saw the thing that 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 uh, that the the, uh-huh. the the bartender was doing, the yes. waitress was doing, where slap she would shot. We slap. We call it slap shot. Other people call it different the things. Hurricane. It's been around oh. for a while. It's been around oh, okay. for a while. I that's so what basically, the name of it was. You, you, you give somebody a shot, you throw a pitcher of water in their face, and you slap them really hard, right? And men uh-huh. pay for that. We were mm-hmm. like astounded that men pay for that. This woman was making six thousand dollars a day doing it. So we're like, okay, Daisy, would you do that? And she said, yes, she would. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, that's fine. So we're like, and. And we're like, well, let's see if any of the other girls would help out. Mm-hmm. Amber Nova said she's in. She'd be glad to slap shot people. You know, if it's raising money for the food bank, that's mm-hmm. fine. We talked to Angelique. She's like, oh, well, if they're in, I'm in. I'll be glad to do it, too. Uh, mm-hmm. and, but and we said we didn't think Savannah would do it. And I wouldn't do it because I thought the reason I said I initially wouldn't do it is because I thought they wanted me to slap. One of you guys, mm-hmm. right? Oh, like I thought it was yeah, no, 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 it's listener. It's that listeners. That would have been. So when I was yeah. first approached about it, I said absolutely not. It's not then, listeners that pay for it. Yeah. Then when I heard. Well, then Ryan turned it into, well, why don't we do this? I love how you're getting this? all the blame for this, dude. If we, yeah. No, not blame. He's getting credit. I mean, like. Uh, oh, I'm, he I'm, wasn't I'm, the only one. That's a group effort. Yeah. Oh, it was a group effort? Okay. So <laughs> so if, if we make it to $5,000, mm-hmm. Ryan said, oh, well, Russ should do the gauntlet, right? Like, yeah. which all four girls. You know, do the, you know, give Russ a shot, mm-hmm. throw water in his face, and slap him. But Savannah's got to be involved. And, and, and then I'm like, well, Savannah won't want to do that. And then I guess right away you text. As soon as I found out it was you, I was like, oh hell yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, I'm all in. Real so. quick, so understand what's going on here though. So it's going to be a long uh, all day event as we during the broadcast, and a portion of that is is that there's going to be opportunity for our listeners, our dudes that are listening or whatever, or even women if they want to to get that, slapped by the ladies. They, they can come up mm-hmm. and they'll you know pay the uh, donate their fifty bucks. With that, you're going to get to do the the shot, the smack, and uh, and the water. Right. That's mm-hmm. that's part of the event that's going on. That's and a that's huge how part. We're of, trying right. to get to five thousand. Dollars. Yeah, yeah. So, so if we don't get to five thousand dollars, none, of, the, the, none not, of this happens. I'm not doing any gauntlet. I'm not doing it. Mm-hmm. If we get to five thousand dollars, and a slap and a shot and, and and a water has to be involved. It's not just I'm giving money, but I don't want to play. The, no, and the and game. because of that, we've got a uh, uh, Mexican Jake. He's going to be on site. He's already uh, signed up for this, and he's he'll be taking uh, stunt uh, slap shots and, uh, for people and, that, for people that you know. Like if you're if you're on your way to work and you don't want to go in with a handprint on your face, I understand. But then <laughs> yeah. so wait. but then Angel changed the game a little bit. And then Angel does it. This is where I give you credit, Angel. Uh, Angel changed the game. And he said, well, listen, it's Cinco de Mayo. That's 5 de Mayo, right? right? So there should be 5 people. Right. Uh, and and <laughs> there should be five people and not four girls. There should be five. I'm like, well, uh, uh, Russell, are you willing to take five slaps? I'm like, well, it depends on who it is. And then they're like, well, how about Sabrina from the News Junkie? And I'm like, well, Sabrina's not going to want to slap Russ me. Russ thought for sure she was going to She's got no reason to <laughs> slap me. You know, I've known her for uh, She's a sweet, sweet girl. And then and we asked Sabrina, and she says, yeah, I think it nanos- are nanoseconds real? You, hadn't real? Even, you weren't even yeah. done with the question. Yeah, I don't even think I was done asking her, and she said yes to it. So now we've changed the game. Now it's five people, right? So, so here is what's happening with the five people. 
if we get to five thousand dollars that day from your donation. Wait, I thought it was two thousand, two thousand, two thousand, two thousand. Nobody ever said that. No, oh, Angelique yes, I said it, that. It, no, no, I said Thank no. Thank you for listening, Savannah. It, this is not a democracy. No, this is not, I'm doing. I'll. This is what I'm willing to do. If it's five thousand, if we get to five thousand dollars, if we get to five thousand dollars, I will mm-hmm. do the gauntlet. And I will do the first four girls. And, he, and here's here's the order I would go in. I would take Amber Nova first. Then I'd get slap shot by Sabrina. Then Daisy Del Toro. And then finish it up with Angelique. Side note, the fu- the funniest part about that part is that Daisy is taking offense. Yes. yes. She's, she's, been mm-hmm. a, she's, she's, she's pissed off. She is taking this up completely personal that you put her in that first group. Yeah, yeah she wants to prove that she yeah. should be the, uh, the, the, she should have been the one to be feared. Yeah. 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 Uh, I talked to her about this yesterday. So that's for the first, if we get to $5,000. Wait, if, she wants if, to be the ten grand, the $10,000? No, 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 no. Oh. She, oh. Wants, no. To the, the she wants to be my, the last one in my group. Yeah. Well, I haven't gotcha. gotten there. I haven't gotten there yet. So, yeah, so that's for the first group. That's for the first five thousand dollars. If we get to ten thousand dollars, and I doubt we can make that much money, mm-hmm. then I will take the slap shot from Savannah. Okay, can I but talk now? Only if we get to ten thousand dollars. Okay. And we're trying to raise money for <laughs> the uh, for, for the food bank. First of all, I need to say that I think Ray Trendley, friendly Ray Trendley, needs to come in and write up some sort of document yes. in case Russ gets hurt mm-hmm. physically. That way, he can't sue us. Yes. Um, oh, yeah, I'll sue you for your... For, 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 Dude, I'm going to smack your eyeballs out of your head. <laughs> you have no idea how... Listen. listen you have no idea how m- long mm-hmm. I've wanted to do this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then and then it was like it was like God said, you know what? Savannah's been doing a great job. Uh-huh. Let's let her slap yeah. the ass out of us. And listen. I was like, oh, my gosh. What a great opportunity for me. Listen, you've been breathing in mold for the past three months. You can't hit like you used to. You don't You don't have the right. I mean, if you, that's what you want to say, keep saying it. But then don't call me at the same time and say you want to show me where I'm supposed to slap you. Well, I tried oh, to, yeah, no, he was trying to coach me as to where yeah, I'm allowed to and, slap you. And as he started to try you to coach me, slap, I was like, uh-uh, ah, ah, we'll talk about this on the air. And I hung up. You can't yeah. slap my ear. I'll go deaf. I'm not, I don't want to slap your ear. Nobody I want to slap, slap your, your ear. We don't want to slap your ear. Right there, right there. That is not your your face. Yeah, right here. Now you no, might that think is not that it's blended face. in, but that is not your face. That is your neck. Right here. Uh, right here. That is the equivalent to a cankle, but on your neck. Uh-huh. <laughs> Damn, she said you had neck cankles. <laughs> I never heard that before. No, I mean, I've never look, heard anything look, more accurate. Look, you know what? I ain't worried about you. You can't slap like you used to. You, 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 ain't, you, you, ain't, you ain't got the right punch like you used to. Listen. Listen yeah, you I, might not deserve to get slapped on that day, Cinco de Trio. But <laughs> but uh, like there's cryo been so many slime. things, and, uh-huh. and as long as I've known you, uh-huh. that you deserve to get slapped for. Uh-huh. <laughs> like all of those old stories mm-hmm. I'm using for fuel, mm-hmm. and I cannot wait mm-hmm. <laughs> till I get to do that. Like this is one of, it's going to be one of the greatest things of my year. Well, She's listen. not even <laughs> yeah. looking at you when she's saying all those old stories. I mean, if she is concentrating to, if we on we don't get the $10,000, you I don't get even, no slap. I can even write down a memory list. Remember when Russ did this? Mm-hmm. Remember when Russ did this? Mm-hmm. Remember when Russ did this? Like, and then, and then as people are hearing me rehash those stories, they're going to be like, oh, we need to help Savannah slap Russ. Mm-hmm. Oh, we need to help Savannah slap Russ. Because Russ deserves to be slapped. I mean, let's be fair. This it's like when you get part. a speeding ticket and you're only doing two miles over the limit, mm-hmm. right? It's like, but you know, one time you were doing 40 miles over the limit. Mm-hmm. You didn't get caught that time. You get caught this time. I'm very excited about this promotion, probably more than I've been excited about any promotion in a long, long time. Like, I, I feel like this is just what is deserved. I deserve to be able to slap you in this way. And stop pointing to your neck, Kankel. It's going on your jaw. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's your on your jaws. On it's your ankles. I'm scalding your jowls. If we don't get to ten thousand dollars, there's I'm no not slap. I'm even concerned about that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't well, know why well, you keep repeating well, I'm that. I'm not doing it if we don't get to ten thousand dollars. We don't even have to worry about it. We're gonna get to ten thousand dollars so fast. Mm-hmm. Like I don't even have to like fight with you about it. <laughs> Just because I know the hell that you have put me through, and the oh. listeners oh. do as well. Oh, that's been personal. No. And the, oh, the listener, hell. And the listeners are gonna be like. 
Oh yeah, she deserves a slap. Yeah. Let me throw in five. Let me throw in fifty dollars. Let me throw in fifty dollars. Like that's just how it's gonna be. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm the people's champ. You yeah. know that, right? Well, you know, just like the Rock. <laughs> I mean, I'm the call her champ. again into her face right now, Russ. Like you were when she yeah, wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah you were I, I way. Mean, no, I'm telling you, she can't punch like she used you to. You were she way can't confident like last like, week if, if talking I, trash, and now that she's no. sitting right Listen, next to you, if I'm if I'm sixty years old, I know you're older now too. That's way time. Oh, he's just called. Oh, at, awesome, at, your, at your age, you can't slap like you used to. At your age, and, and here's the thing. Here's why I'm not offended by anything I, he's saying. Like, he, he can't even trigger a reaction because I know that the community that we've built over all these years on Real Radio understand how well-deserved this slap will be. <laughs> like, I don't even have to fight to get him to, uh, to add money. Uh-huh. Like, they just know. They're just going to be like, oh, yeah, $50 so she can do that. I, I, I wish I had more, but, but I, I but guess remember, I'll if they if they donate fifty dollars, there's got to be a slap involved. Like some, you know, yeah, that's fine. They, they, they've got to get someone. We got, yeah, we got that covered. How many slaps can he take? He doesn't care. Yeah, it's he, okay because somebody can donate a thousand dollars and he gets one slap. Right, right, exactly. That's so true. So someone can donate five thousand dollars and you he guys, gets a slap. you guys, just make sure you don't like. Don't get any blood on his face because you know he sweats blood, right? It's oh, that's not, true. I don't want to. Oh, yeah. I don't want to bare hand slap him if he's got blood everywhere. Zone. Yeah. <laughs> right. well. And that's why we need Ray to write this up because yes. because all of this like all of this energy going into this thing is yeah like you might get really hurt. I think you're underestimating what's about to happen. Well, I think Damn. that no, oh, another, another part of the gimmick I you guys know that is that uh, Amber Nova's picking out what you girls are all wearing. You're all wearing she like picking out S for me. <laughs> yeah, she is. I'll slap her I too. I still haven't seen what what is. I mean, she being can pick it out, but that don't mean I'm wearing that sh- it. That she's like picking out for us. Yeah, she's she's picking out uh, something so you guys can match. Yeah, so, no. yeah, she was just trying to do like uh, matching color coordinating. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's fine. I just Flat I hats. have not seen anything yet. Well, she hasn't seen y'all. Well, we, 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 oh. we, we haven't set everything up yet. Oh, well, okay. we, we have. Uh, Russ we, is scared. I've never seen know, him scared before. Right? I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't scared. This is, this of, this is how he is. Russ, yeah. your voice is I ain't scared of I'm Granny. Scared. Your oh, voice. Gra- granny can't hit like she used your to. Your voice is going she, up. She, she, yeah. she can and, talk and, and all the smack the she wants. And none of it bothers me. Uh-huh. Because the listening audience, I would be surprised if. If the Jim Colbert show didn't donate money just to <laughs> see me slap Russ, I would, I would be surprised that, to if be Tom and Dan didn't donate money to see me slap Russ. Damn. Like, see, you forget every, that Savannah also like it hangs out with billionaires. I, I, I mean, <laughs> Jackie likes you for whatever reason, but, oh. uh, but also like, like it's. I, I don't even have to worry. Like, you can smack talk all you want. It uh, really doesn't matter. Okay, it's like well, everybody's revenge will come yeah, through Yeah, everybody's Savannah. revenge is coming yeah. through Savannah. Like hand. Goku, Tran- 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 Kamehameha. And especially <laughs> if your face is wet from the water, uh-huh. it's going to stink. Like, I hope mm-hmm. that you have blisters all over the side <laughs> oh, of damn. your face. <laughs> like I wow. From the other girls? No, from me. Oh. I mean, if they blister your face and then I get to pop them, I'm excited about that. <laughs> but either way, like, this is, like, this is a red carpet moment for me, guys. Like, this is the way I get to redeem yeah. all the torture I've had to go through. Torture? Like, yeah. you guys out remember there Remember when they built the pinata? If you're with, yeah, remember when you guys built that pinata uh, on my head and took it downtown Orlando and, and slaughtered it? I don't, remember I didn't when build, you did that? I didn't build that. Yeah, but you were on stage and you condoned it. Uh, no, I laughed at it. It was funny yeah, as hell. see, there you go. <laughs> that that so, was some funny ass. <laughs> little, little known story, Angel. I don't know if you knew this story. But when I left, uh, when I left the monsters and no. went to work for the the competitor no. for a while, they made a huge paper mache head of me and took it on a stage downtown Orlando <laughs> on New Year's. To be fair, it was actual size. It wasn't and, really. You know. And uh, and slaughtered it with ketchup packs so that it looked like blood was coming out of my head. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I didn't realize and it then, was that. And then, as I'm still on this other station, right? That there's a billboard that said I was still on the monsters that a bird had nested in and the bird had pooped all over the face of me, right? So they took all the billboards down to change out the campaign, but they left that one. Oh, I don't remember that. I remember it. That's funny. Of course she does. I remember it, absolutely. And all of those things, I get to to 
They're going to move through my hand into your face. Man, it seems <laughs> like we're, it it seems like we're going to hit 10 yeah. grand by 7.15. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we have, a, we have a paramedic there, right? In case you yeah, yeah, yeah. do need assistance. I don't need no damn hey, paramedic. I'll, she's, I'll she's, need some mouth to mouth, so maybe. She, she's talking noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's okay. just talking. Hey, she can't slap. She can't slap like and she used to. And you are still talking about just her. You understand that there yeah. still are four other of us yeah. that get to slap you. I and if Day Day's yeah. nails get you, forget that's about what, it, man. That's... Yeah, that's the one I am worried about. I, I told Day she's going to wear a glove. The entire chat right now <laughs> is like, glove. Savannah deserves this. She's wanted to do this for a uh-huh. long time. Yeah. She deserves to be able to slap Russ. Woo! This is going to be so great. Whatever. Anything for the charity. We'll see if we can get to $10,000. <laughs> that's chickens gonna be are a... coming home to roost. That'll... <laughs> chickens are coming home to roost. That'll be on Friday. The day. <laughs> Listen, everyone's welcome to come down and join us. It'll be live on our YouTube channel. Uh, we'll see if we get to ten thousand dollars. If we don't, there's no slapping. I'm not even worried about that. Uh, I know okay. you keep saying that. All right, uh, you're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Real Radio is the news. Junkie. Here's the limited amount I know about earthquakes. Okay, I think that, I believe this is right. I think it matters a lot how deep the earthquake was. I think I could be wrong, Do you but I feel think it more if it's deeper. I think <laughs> sex, sex yeah. reference. Yeah, I think so. Junkie, weekdays at 11 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Eastbound I-4 is slow from before US-27 past State Road 429 and from Osceola Parkway past State Road 535 and also from the 408 to Amelia Street. And westbound I-4 is very slow from County Road 46A past Lake Mary Boulevard and we're heavy from Sand Lake Road into State Road 535. Traffic signals aren't working on Moss Park Road at the Greenway and there's wreck reported on Pine Hills Road at Pipes of the Glenway. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. At Massey Services, we know that no two laws are the same. That's why we create a customized lawn care plan for whatever your landscape looks like. From season to season, our personalized treatments keep your lawn healthy and beautiful all year long. Personalized, because it is personal. We take as much pride in your lawn as you do. Schedule your free inspection today at MasseyServices.com. Massey Services. Expect more and get it. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I'm concerned about my water heater. If your concern is of a serious nature, press 1. If it's more of a frivolous matter, press 2. Doesn't even make sense. Just press 1 or 2. Fine. Fine. What are you so concerned about? My water heater's like 15 years old and I'm worried it might... Oh, this is exciting! Has it burst yet? No, but... Only a matter of time. Hey, everyone! 15-year-old water heater, place your bets! Are you laying odds on when my tank will fail? Have to make this call interesting somehow. This would never happen at Frank Gay. True enough. So, $10 buy-in. What's your guess? Guess I should have called Frank Gay. When you need a new water heater, it's no time to gamble. You want your problem fixed fast before it turns into a bigger one. That's the Frank Gay way. I've got a side bet you'll hang up and call Frank Gay in three, two, I win! That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Boss, did you know Safe Touch Security is the home of the 45 second or less guaranteed response? Of course, it's just one of the reasons why I hate Safe Touch. For a limited time, save up to 50% on select security systems. Call 888-723-8682 or go to safetouch.com. State license EF2001945. Are you drowning in IRS tax debt? I owe the IRS $37,000. Get ready for a toll-free hotline. Take advantage of new IRS tax forgiveness programs that may protect you from IRS collection agencies. They have the power to garnish your wages, put liens on your property, and levy your bank account. Civic Tax Relief can help protect you from the IRS. Civic Tax Relief basically represented me against the IRS, and by the time everything was completed, I didn't owe the IRS anything. 
Find out about the Fresh Start program that is now available through Civic Tax Relief. Civic Tax Relief's special tax hotline can help you discover all the relief programs available for free. I would recommend anyone who has a tax problem to contact Civic Tax Relief. Just call 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Don't wait. Call now. 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere, a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at safelight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to safelight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair. Safe light replace. A Fifth Third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms? It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank. National Association member FDIC. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Lost 80s. Playing those songs you forgot you knew from the 80s. Duran Duran, Huey Lewis, Tina Turner, and more. All commercial free. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Lost 80s, and listen now. iHeartRadio. Free? Never sounded so good. GMC Sierra trucks in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Radio. Seven Americans have zero interest in seeing the eclipse. <laughs> That's another a story that just came out. It's it's the big uh, big news all over uh, all over the news right now. But uh, yeah, most people don't really uh, aren't really paying attention. I wouldn't be surprised if the if if Jim Colbert came just to see you get slapped in the face. <laughs> well, you know and what? And Tom and Dan. If it's a spectacle, and who then knows? It's a Carlos might show up too to see it. <laughs> It's fine with me. I mean, it's a... It's as long as it's a spectrum. Oh, it'll be like WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. WrestleMania. All of a sudden, you hear the music kick in. You're like, oh, damn. It's Jim Colbert on the top row. It'll be like another solar eclipse for him. It'll black out for four minutes, and then it'll come solar back. Solar eclipse in the face, bitch. <laughs> damn. You know what? I'll be fine. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. But you I, I are. About about... I've never seen... Have you ever seen him this scared shook. by an angel? No, shit. Who's shook, scared? Man. I'm not... What? Well, Your voice got awfully from hot. A, from a yeah. slap from you? No, I'm not... I'm, He's scared. Uh, uh, Just go ahead and say you're scared. Okay. You gonna what? do any training? Actually, I will tell you. You said something during the break, and you're right. And like Angela, when we went out to the boxing thing, and I saw Angela hit him, I'm like, damn, she can hit. And the other day when we were talking about this, she had a tank top on, and she got muscles. So, uh, so I, so mm -hmm. I, I, I am taking. You know, that's why I have her in the first group. I have uh, her last as the toughest one. But then Daisy Del Toro was offended that I thought she couldn't slap. So I yeah. think she, she made a whole video over it. So she, she oh, made a whole video? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. yeah. She made a video that she posted it over the weekend. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't oh, see that. Like, yeah. Why are you offended, uh, Daisy? She's she's offended that I didn't think she was going to be able to slap. You know, Sabrina. She's the wild card, too, because you got to watch out. You really want to wear some yeah protective ear cover because also she'll be on, drunk on tequila. Who, oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. She, I mean, I think she's going to hit pretty hard. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Too. Sabrina Wildcard. She's card. not a small girl. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how Sabrina hits. I saw her slap. I saw the thing that you showed me. Her slapping uh, uh, Sean, mm -hmm. and it didn't look too hard. It didn't look too hard. Why and she the, yeah, but she likes Sean. And then Amber <laughs> Amber Nova is. I think she'll be fine. She's kind of skinny. She, she'll be all right. She's I mean, got too much of a tender heart. She won't want to hurt you. Yeah, I yeah. think she won't want to hurt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest uh, of us, we were not concerned <laughs> with that. Damn. Mm -hmm. Uh, and listen, that's only if we get to ten thousand uh, dollars. Dude, we are okay. So if if two hundred people donate fifty dollars, we already we're done. Yeah. 
Like, it's yeah. already done. Right. Like, it's going to mm. be the, this is going to be the quickest $10,000 we ever made. So let me ask a question. Beverage Farm it's remembers $50 Russ. a shot, right? I, it's 50, the shot thing is you $50, $50 in order to get a girl to, 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 to slap, uh, to uh, uh, give them a shot of tequila, yeah. uh, fill a uh, pitcher water of water in, the in their face, and then slap them. So who yeah. do you, and then they can request whoever they want. Who do you think men will request the most to, to slap them? Would it be Daisy, a- Amber, yeah. Daisy, by far. Daisy, Sabrina, Angelique, or Savannah? Daisy. Daisy. You think Daisy? Yeah, Daisy. Why, why do you think Daisy? Because if, <laughs> I mean, let's just be real. Daisy has an amazing set of breasts, okay. right? Yeah, yeah. And as she's going in for the slap, yep. that's just what's going to be right in their face. Yeah. Just yeah. Like, that's what they're focusing on. She says she right has a there. special a special outfit for that. Oh, yeah. I'm sure she does. Go. She's yes. going to put that them on the is, glass. Yep. <laughs> You gotta put, so them, you gotta on put the- them on the face. Yeah. <laughs> but I will tell you, like uh, from from what I'm watching, I don't know what people are saying in the in the in the text service, but I can read the chat, uh, and the chat is bringing the fire. Like the chat is already mm-hmm. like they're already uh, adding up money from. Okay, well this person's gonna donate this, and this person's yeah. gonna donate this, and they're, they're also calling their friends with jobs, and they're also uh, <laughs> and they're they're also um, you know kind of getting around this, rallying this, and you know saying that you know we all deserve this, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you do as well, Russ. Same sentiments that are coming through the texting. Mm. I don't see that. I'm not, are you I, serious? I, I, I don't see that. Uh, well, remember that. when Savannah had to pick up dead animals? I know that, that's uh, a, remember that, when the roadkill thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, where's the other one? Remember uh, when Savannah had to be up in a cherry picker? Yeah. Remember uh, when Savannah had to? Uh, what else? Oh, there's a bunch of other stuff. And yeah, Savannah, exactly. You remember then he, then he all goes, of these. I don't remember. Huh? Hard, you half, remember all of these? Half right? this stuff all I don't Pepperidge remember. Farm always remembered. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm. This is going to be great. I hope. It's going to be the greatest day of your life, Ryan. You're going to get to see it firsthand. Yeah. It's going to be fantastic. How uncomfortable will you feel? We got to make sure our internet's good that day. So what, <laughs> yeah. Now, what, what if somebody wants to, uh, oh, yeah, we got to have great internet. What if somebody wants to donate, uh, you know, like, I don't know, uh, $500 and you get slapped? Nope. This isn't about me. <laughs> you won't do it. I will not. Let them be hungry. This is about you. <laughs> let, let, let them be hungry. Yep. I mean, there's a lot of fruit in Florida. And, and Angel, so I guess we uh, we had the wrong name of the charity. So uh, I know it's Matt's charity for the food pantry, but I ca- uh, I guess I called it the wrong thing. Is that yeah, accurate? Yeah, it's actually the UBIC food pantry. What the hell is that? UBIC. It's United. Uh, of course, you would ask me that. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's just UBIC it, getting slapped. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. The United Brethren in Christ, which is the name okay. of, of his church. Their uh, food pantry. Yeah, it's okay. their specific food pantry. Okay. Um, because, and he said it is a tax write-off. That yes. They have that. Yeah, yeah. So when you donate, know that it's a tax write-off. So listen, if you're preparing to, you know, have a, a donation yeah. cre- credit for next year, uh-huh. then, you know, just make a nice substantial donation. I'm you know, you're going to be feeding people. And then you know you're going to help in the cause of having Russ get slapped. If, um, is that a cause? That's not a cause. It is a cause. Yeah. It is. The cause is slapped Russ. It's becoming a cause, Russ. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the payoff. It's, it's, it's becoming a mission. The yeah. cause mm-hmm. is to help people who don't have food. That's the cause. Here's the other Slap part that's fantastic. And, and help, helping people is, is great, right? Mm-hmm. Like, we all want to help people. Uh-huh. But more people want to slap you than want to help people. Mm, uh, just you, I think. But, yes, uh, uh-huh. great. Yeah, I think this is going to be fantastic. I, mm-hmm. I, I think, and you know what? I, I feel like we should have a moment where a other... silence after Russ other, gets knocked out. <laughs> other members of the show, like, let us know what their grievances are so that it can go through us. Oh, yeah. Also. Oh, so yeah, 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 Ryan yeah. and Angel, you can give us your grievances, and then you don't get in trouble for it. Neither do we, because we have done what we were asked to do. How because, about this strange phenomenon you know? that's happening? What's okay, that? What is it? So we got, so uh, we had set up, and we have Mexican Jake standing in there to uh, accept uh, slaps for people that uh, donate that can't uh, stay mm-hmm. for the slap. We have other people? Now it's just kind of Texas. And then uh, Ray texted in just now saying, hey, listen, I want to volunteer to stand in for slaps for people. Ray Trendley? No, just some other Ray. Oh, okay. Uh, this is uh, yeah, this is Friday, Ray. Oh. Um, and so uh, <laughs> if you are w- one of these fellas that wants to be a stand-in, uh-huh. 
All right, wow. for the donations. We might need stand-ins, yeah. yeah. Feel free to email me, angel at realradio.fm, and I'll work you into the roster. Right now we got Mexican Jake and Ray accepting uh, slaps in lieu of other people's donations. So, yeah, but, yes. you, but every donation has to have yeah. a slap shot. Yeah, we're, we're fine, dude. And, we got that covered. Yes, and, and Ray Trendley, we, we need some paperwork. Yeah, we do need paperwork. <laughs> we <laughs> definitely they need, 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 paperwork. They need to sign a waiver that they are accepting these slaps. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You yes. can't slap my ear. No Dude, one's trying nobody. to slap your ear. Dumbo. She, I'm ain't not talking to you. I'm ears. talking to her. <laughs> you I, told I, me I, the just, same thing look, about where to yeah, slap you. I trust you. I look directly in her okay, eyes. You she just right called you Dumbo. Cheek. Dumbo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. right there. I'm talking you, about your damn ears. She called you Dumbo I, to I your face. I don't need to be deaf in this ear. You're already deaf in that ear. I know. I don't need to be deafer. What? <laughs> no, that's actually kind of funny, right? Of all the things that he's worried about, right? Um, this dude listens to his headphones so on loud. 10. I know, but did you, watch a, that, did you watch the thing uh, with the professional wrestler slapping, what was his name? Um... Oh, it was it was a Stossel, but that happened John to the Stossel. yeah that happened to the seventies. Uh, well, it can still happen now if you slap oh someone gosh. in the ear too hard. I don't think these broads want to slap you in the ear. No one wants to hit yeah, your ear. Nobody but cares but about your age, ear. But at her age, she can't see. She not know where she's going, oh, and she's gonna get my ear. Yeah. You you the thing, wait and see. The thing is, like like he's trying to throw out all of his lame ass insults, whatever. <laughs> like it's not even affecting me because not only do I have just the chat and the text messages and the team here mm-hmm. at Real Radio, uh-huh. like and when I say team. I don't mean just this show. I mean the whole of real radio <laughs> uh, is behind me in this slapping and is behind all of us in this slapping. Mm-hmm. But the entire Florida community. Man, like that's a lot of people. Everyone yeah. in the state yeah, of this, Florida. Uh, this is what they call the groundswell, Russ. It's, yeah. it's gaining momentum. It, it is. Yeah. Right? Uh, what, we, what we need to do is try to... Are, you, it, are you saying we should have held out for more money? I, <laughs> <what you're> yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> because 10, 10 grand's not enough? <laughs> yeah, because come uh, you know uh, May the 3rd, it's going to reach a fever pitch at that moment, yeah. and at that moment, yeah. chaos ensues. And here's yeah. the thing. Like, think of it. Think of it like this. Like, like maybe, you know, maybe you're a Russ fan on the show like probably not but maybe you are and so <laughs> like so like imagine imagine this imagine you had like this person that's not like technically your boss but has been hovering over you for all these years hovering and, over and you and all yeah, and, heavy and, and like trying to tell you what to do and insulting you and being degrading and all of those kinds uh. of things and then covering it up by saying it's under the guise of oh i was just being funny i was just making jokes nah, nah, nah. So think about that person and then and then think about what you would like to do to him. Like a boss man man that you could give one big smack in the face to that has treated you horribly for years. Oh Oh, man. This is like why why would you even come in anymore if it's that bad? That's terrible. Because she was waiting for this moment. I was waiting. She said it's gonna happen. (laughs) So this might be the last time we see Savannah. She gets her slap in and she's gone. Say for more. One perfect smack. <laughs> Russ, yeah. this is the, the, Russ, this is where like it's it's about to get away from us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the whole event's about to get away, and the, like literally, we're gonna have uh, news stations, will it helicopters. Be, will it be <gasps> successful? News stations. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the news station! Don't you do like a little? Th- didn't you do a thing like on the news station? Like uh, everyone's. Did, yeah. We could totally ask them to come and broadcast that. That look at look at one of us. It's going to get know. smacked. I like it. We got, we got the people who got, Listen. you know, it's been a big year for the Mons. It's been a long time. <laughs> and with the passing of Bubba and everything. Oh, know, oh, you got to bring up people, Bubba's people, death. People need to, like, you know, channel his spirit yeah. energy, oh. donate for that as well. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you brought in Bubba's <laughs> death. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. This is a big PSA of what not to do. Uh, oh, man. No, this is, this is what yeah. you got to do. And, and, and just know, channel uh, that energy. Right, listen. The spirit of Bubba compels me. <laughs> <laughs> the spirit of Bubba compels me. All right, when we come back, we'll take your phone calls. We'll take your raw calls, whatever you want to talk about, whatever you want to throw out, whatever question you want to ask. If you want to ask questions about the rules of Cinco de Mayo, we can do that about the uh, the, the slap shots. Also, if you want to talk about the stupid uh, the stupid solar eclipse, we can do that too. Whatever you want to bring up, when we come back. Can't tele- slap the sun, bitches. Telephone numbers, 407-916-1041. Uh, we'll take your calls right off the bank you got to make sure you don't curse make sure there's not a lot of noise behind you and please don't be on your uh on your speaker phone because i'll just i'll just hang up with you it's got to be clear clear so we can hear you so we'll take your raw calls when we come back you're listening to the monsters of the morning 
something on your mind? Text us at 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. This is Katina Mobley. This is what's trending from iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Mercedes-Benz. Similar to standalone games in the NFL, after following a team throughout March Madness, we have to be extra cautious not to overreact to a player's performance in March. That applies mostly to Purdue big man Zach Eady. He's a great college basketball player, but the NBA is a different world. He's an old-school back-to-the-basket scorer. That style of play often struggles in the NBA. Let's not let that cloud our judgment on making the major leap. I'm Dan Patrick. Owning a Mercedes-Benz EV isn't just extraordinary, it's extra easy. With full remote access to your vehicle from your phone via the Mercedes Me Connect app, the vehicles are all electric. The feeling is all Mercedes. The choice is all yours. Learn more. MBUSA.com slash EQ. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law from McCaughlin Lynn. Dude, I'm behind you. I can see you texting on your phone. Put the phone down. You know it's a crime. In the state of Florida, it's actually a misdemeanor to get caught texting on your phone. I know you're going to claim you weren't, but either TikToking, Facebook, texting, I don't know what you're doing. But when you get home and you want to see a good TikTok, go to Coffin Lind. For more information, contact me at winnieudis.com or dial pound 546 on yourself. Office Orlando. Mills Air, great company, been around for, I mean, so many years and uh, has helped me tremendously. The owner of Mills Air is Leon Mills, uh, great guy, uh, you know, locally owned business, and he always reminds me to remind you that, listen, maintenance on your AC is super important. You have an expensive piece of equipment, and to not do maintenance on it and wait for it to break down, and that's when you call the the air conditioning man, that's not a good plan. And that's what I used to do, but, uh, you know, Leon Mills talked me out of that, and now I have, you know, Mills Air come out and do maintenance on it every single year. I bought a brand new system from them. If you're going to buy a brand new system, uh, turn to the experts carrier because Mills Air is a carrier factory authorized dealer. They've got all kinds of you know upgrades right now. If you do an upgrade, you can uh, save uh, like $1,275 with rebates, and they can help you with that at millsair.com. That's millsair.com. That 30-point inspection will save you money. They, do, uh, they can detect and prevent an upcoming breakdown and save you a lot of money. They came to my house, and they found a capacitor that was going bad, and they were able to switch that out, and uh, and I didn't have any problems. Millsair.com, that's Millsair.com. Great people, and uh, you know they can they can help you with your air conditioning system and do maintenance to make sure you don't have a breakdown. It's about to get really hot uh, next couple weeks, and and you don't want a breakdown with your air conditioning system. So remember, Millsair.com, that's Millsair.com. Do you have information about a violent crime? Help solve crimes with your anonymous tips at Crimeline.org. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Your tips make a difference. Say it here, it's anonymous at Crimeline.org. Paid by CSTF. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. I had a radio listener call me after an accident. The insurance company offered him $700. He hired me that day and we recovered $100,000. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. Potential clients may not obtain same or similar results. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically for 
formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialists are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. Which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to LifeLock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you right now. Like Lost 80s. Just search Lost 80s and listen now on your free iHeartRadio app. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. When it comes to power, trust the source. SolarSource.com. Hey, this just in. If you're one of the folks that wasn't not was not able to get the glasses that are approved glasses to see the uh, solar eclipse today, we gave a bunch out. I say we, Solar Source gave a bunch out on Friday. Uh, I just spoke with Richard because he has 200 pair left. Uh, so if you want to go to uh, 925 Sunshine Lane in Altamont Springs, they have 200 pair left at Solar. It's the Solar Source building uh, and uh, their offices. Their offices. So they have 200 pair left. If you're looking for, you know, solar and you know, the, the, the solar glasses, sunglasses to be able to watch the solar eclipse today, they have 200 pair left. And it's uh, 925 Sunshine Lane in Altamont Springs. It's Solar Source building, and uh, and you can go by there and pick some. Sweet 1010. If you want. So go check You're it out. A sweet 1010. Thank you, baby. Welcome back. Yeah. Monsters Mornings Real Radio 104.1. I'm Russ along with Angel <laughs> and Savannah and Angelique and Ryan. And we're going to take your phone calls, raw calls. That means raw right <laughs> off the board. So we're not going to screen them. Mm. We'll just take them. And uh, and whatever you want to talk about, whether you want to talk about the Slapshot uh, mm. fundraising event that we're doing on Cinco de Mayo. Actually, it's not Cinco de Mayo. It's Friday before Cinco de Mayo. Uh, if, you want, if you want to call about that or any other thing we've talked about today, we'll just take your call. Calls and chat with you. Uh, hey, you're on Real Radio. Who's this? Hello. Raw. Hey. Okay. You're, you're on with the monsters. That was a good call. Are we up? Oh my god, dude. Let's try another one. Hey, uh, you're on Real Radio 104.1 with the monsters. Who's this? Monsters. Hey, buddy. What's up? <laughs> good cowboy soup here, man. Haven't checked in in a while, and it's all Daisy Del Toro's fault. So, oh. that being said, Russ. These shoes that you got, the shoes, the oofas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the the oofa, oofa loofas. Yeah, they mm-hmm. are, they are your generation's Doctor Scholes. You know that, right? You know, I don't care. Are they, they, <laughs> they, 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 they are comfortable as hell. I don't walk around the house barefoot anymore. I only wear the oofas. And here's what I need now is uh, I need about a half hour of your time, Russ, sitting at a table. And I'm pretty confident I can probably embellish a couple grand out of you. What do, him. What, what do you mean? Because you're you're a you're a glutton for these cons, man. You are. You'll just believe anything. Well, yeah, I mean, hydrogen I, water. He's I, not wrong. What, what, are, you, what are you talking about? The oofas? No, I, I got that from a uh, from a, a, a pediatrician. 
What? No, no, what? Child, 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 child doctor? doctor? Yeah. What are you talking about? Or or uh, what is it? It starts with a P. Podiatrist? Uh, Podiatrist. That's what it is. Oh my Sir, God. I got a bigger question. On why is your name Cowboy Soup? Yeah. So uh, it goes back a long time. I grew up in uh, I grew up in Wyoming uh, on a farm, and so I was a cowboy for a very, very long time. And my last name is a certain kind of uh, soup brand. Campbell, gotcha. It, so they just kind of fit together. <laughs> I like okay. how you tried to mask it. Yeah, yeah. It's a very mysterious. Oh, is your name uh, Johnny Prego? <laughs> 407-916-1041. Taking your raw calls right off the board. Uh, Real Radio, uh, you're on with the Monsters. Who's this? Cool name, though. Damn, that line I don't think works. Uh, Hello? Uh, Real Radio, you're on with the Monsters. Who's this? Hello, Monsters. This is my grandson. Monsters. Hello? Hello, hey. Hey, what's up, man? Be ready to go. What's happening? Hello, Charles. This is Charles. First of all, I want to say congratulations to Ryan and Angel for baiting you into this bit. For us, they did an amazing job. Mm, I'm proud of it. Uh Uh-huh. You should be proud of yourself. Second, uh, Savannah, make sure you get the baby powder like they do in the Slap Fighting Championships. Get it nice and dry so you get a full connection there because you know it's going to slip off because of the water. Got to make sure we get them fully, fully, fully slapped. Oh, is that what the water's for? That that must be what the water's yep. for. Mm. Ah, yeah. so it so slips. It off. Oh yeah, I, you yeah, know exactly. what? I could, I could, I could, I could put uh, shiny no, stuff on my cannot. face. No, you cannot. That's uh, cheating. Yeah. That's cheating. Absolutely not. I will wipe your face down with uh, a rag first. By the way, um, I can cheat no. if I want nope. to. <laughs> nope, I will wipe down your face. But, Why are you being so mean to Angelique? Yeah. I'm, no, because you can't tell me I'm cheating. That's I, fine. I, then you can't tell me I can't wipe your face down with the rag before I. Sm- Put I, water in it. I, I, you you will not be touching my uh, face with a rag. I'm sorry. I'm not being... <laughs> <laughs> You're on real radio. Who's this? Weirdos. Uh, it just got weird. Uh, this is Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer. How you doing, Jennifer? What's up? Hey, uh, She's calling us from the eclipse. Oh, yeah. That, that doesn't sound very good. Hey, you're on with the monsters. Who's this? Hey, this is Ed. Hey, buddy. What's up, Ed? None. Want to talk rock hall. Oh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? No, raw call. I wanted to ask oh. him, did he? Yeah, you're did, on. Did you yeah, have... you're on. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> hey, buddy, what's up? Hey, what is, did you guys already talk about Kiss selling their whole catalog album? Yeah, $300 million, and it was uh, not only just all their music, but it was uh, it was everything, like uh, their lightness, the, the makeup, uh, the, the whole deal. What, and they... What do you think about that, Ross? I mean, it's the biggest fan. I mean, yeah, big fan. Um, I think it's smart. I mean, you know, they, they, throughout their career, Gene Simmons has made like four hundred million dollars. I think Paul's made two hundred fifty million dollars, and now they sell all of their stuff and they, you know they're cashing out for another three hundred million. I mean, it's you know business wise, it's a smart move. They're still involved. They sold it to the people that uh, uh, started ABBA, and and they're doing that. Uh, you know, what is that? Uh, they go out and they do the, uh, what's it called again, Angel? Um, a virtual, uh, virtual, uh, virtual reality, reality concerts and everything like that. So, and Paul and Gene are still involved with it. So, yeah, I think it's, you know, it's pretty smart on their part, business-wise. What do you so think? No more, fi- no more final, final, final tours. No, no G- Gene said the other day, they, he's never putting on makeup again in his life. He said, I'm, n- I'm never doing that again. I'm not going to, uh, we're not going to perform as Kiss. So, uh, yeah, they, I guess they, they're done with the with the touring. Yeah, I'm a little bit older than you, and I mean, I, growing up, they, I think it was just great music. I think it was a great business move as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm all about it. 407-916-1041. Hey, you're on Real Radio on the Monsters. Who's this? Whoops. Okay. Ooh, I just uh, got a message from Ray Trendley. Uh-huh. He's working on the contract uh-huh. that says that you can't sue us if we hurt you. What, is, what did I sue you for? For what? It doesn't what? matter. That's no, no, no. I need the waiver. Yeah, the no. same. This is being video. Same, same. This is plate. being kept. Hey, uh, uh, Real Radio, you're <laughs> on with the monsters. Who's this? This is Jennifer. I'm calling back. Hope this, this is better. Yes, that's this better, is better, Jennifer. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing good. Um, I haven't listened in a while, and I caught Savannah, so I've been kind of tuning back in. You just said that we have the spirit of Bubba. I didn't know. Did Bubba pass away? He did. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry to hear that. I yeah. remember him from back in the day with, um, Miss Mary, was it Miss Mary? Mary Louise Mary Johnson. Louise oh, Johnson, that was it, yeah. So I go way back. Um, hey, where's, what happened to Soul Brother Kevin? Uh, so, Brother Kevin, I think he's driving truck now, isn't he? Uh, Angel? Uh, actually, he's uh, gone on to another uh, job as because uh, he had a uh, uh, 
a minor incident with the, yeah. the trucking stuff. But he's in Tampa. He's doing fantastic. He had the transplant. He's uh, real active on social media, Mama. So if you hit him up, track him down. Soul Brother Kevin on Instagram and Soul Brother Kevin on uh, Twitter as well. 407-916-1041. Hey, you're on uh, with the monster. Whoops, no, you're not. Let's go to, uh, <laughs> hey, you're on with the monsters. Who's this? Hey, Russ. Hey, buddy. Hey, 30 grand for Jim Colbert to slap you. 50 grand so you and Jim can slap Jack. How about that? Wow. No, no. See, this man is just one. See, wow. it's not just yeah. about violence. It was supposed to be about raising money for the a nice little way yeah. to raise money. And then Savannah turned it into all violence and mean How did and I nasty. Because yeah, you, 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 you're talking about all your grievances and you want to hurt me and all that stuff. <laughs> Don't it's blame supposed, it's supposed, to be, supposed to be a fundraiser for, uh, but whatever. Are you going to cry whatever, now? Whatever, no. Hey, listen, I will take your, drop out of the I'll take your little baby slap. I have no problem Don't with it. Cry, and I'll do it. And I'll do it for the charity. I'll be fine. I'm doing it for the charity. Uh-huh. I, do you wanna... If it weren't for the charity, I wouldn't just randomly want to slap you. Hey, Real Radio, you're on with the Monsters. Who's this? Hello? Hi, this is Friendly Ray Trenley. <laughs> yeah, hey! Friendly Ray! What's up, Friendly Trenley? So I, I'm working on this assumption of risk, and I want to make sure that we have a clear technique on what a successful slap looks like. Yes, yes we got to talk so, about that when you come in on Wednesday. Well, I want to make sure that there's not going to be any defensive uh, actions taken by you when you're getting slapped, because I think that that would result in, obviously, an automatic reslap scenario. Oh, well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well Trendley, here, here's no what I'm saying. Flinching. I have no problem putting my hands behind my back. I have no problem with that. But I, 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 but there can be no – I, I, I got to make sure they don't <laughs> slap my ear. I don't want my ear slapped. So I defined as the slappable area anywhere between the top of your forehead to the bottom of your chin to avoid your eyes and your ear. What and put it? No, 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 no. It needs to be below the ear. Below the ear. It you can't got big be below ears. the ear. Yes, below it does. The ear. Right here. It's below your ear. In it's the neck? Only below yeah, the ear can, and the neck. Mm-hmm. Below the he ear wants- and eyes, uh, Ray, and above the neck, cankle. Yeah, because he's trying All to get right. us to smack his neck, not his face. Yeah. Legal term is neck cankle. Yeah, in professional wrestling, neck that's cankle. what they do. They we'll slap sure the neck. Yeah, that's not what we're doing. We're not doing that. It, well, it's just a bigger smack, and it sounds better. But whatever, do what you want. It, 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 it's, uh, not gonna be, it's not going to be because of the smack there. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not scared of your old ass slap. You, you can, I know. I'm not scared at all. Oh, you got uh, your, your veins are popping out. <laughs> I've never seen that vein in his forehead before. What's that, Ray? Botox. I think you're underestimating all the women on the show. I would uh, yeah. not want to be in your shoes. Okay, well, that's fine. But I'll see you on Wednesday. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully uh, you know, you survive today. All right, yeah, no, I'll be fine. I appreciate it, Ray. <laughs> all right, take care, guys. Take care, all right. Uh, 407-916-1041. Hey, we're ready. You're on with the Monsters. Who's this? Hey, Russ, this is Dave the Tent Guy. Oh, you're an arch nemesis, <laughs> Russ. <laughs> Dave the Tent Guy. You called him, you called him out. Oh. He's doing the Earth Day birthday tent. Yeah. And, and, yes, yeah, Dave. And, and, I'm, and I'm glad you picked up because Savannah picked up the phone. I could hear her talking. Then she disconnected, so I was frantically trying to call back. So I'm glad that you picked up the phone. Okay. I'm doing, so I'm doing the walkthrough tomorrow with Super Dave of the fairgrounds. And you keep saying that you're having a monster tilted. So actually, I emailed him because you're talking about air conditioning. Yes. And there was nothing on our order about a tent with air conditioning. <laughs> and he responded back saying, you guys are in a building, not a tent. Oh, that's not what we were told. <laughs> Dave, yeah, so you called us up to correct us about the information that we're getting from Rick? It's the monster <laughs> childing. Yeah. All right. Hey, that's cool. You know what, Dave? How about you call Rick and you handle that as if you're trying to be cute on the air about it, dude? We're just uh, giving the information no, that has been given to the tent. Yeah, that's being given to us, man. So I don't get, uh, I don't get the the uh, like. Rick, Rick is my boy. I, I actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm curious how your boy would feel about you calling us and trying to be funny about it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of aggression towards Why? tent people around here. No, we, we've been told that it was, was a, a, mo- a monster chill tent. So uh, if they moved it to a different area, we don't know about it. Maybe they're just calling the building the tent. Yeah, I don't I know. Mean, hey, uh, know. Real Radio, you're on the Monsters. Who's this? Nonsense. This segment's right, awesome. That's what Savannah brings with all this uh, negativity. I'm exactly. Savannah's all hostile. This girl. Oh, hostile Whoa. violence. Wait a minute, all wait a Savannah's minute. hostile violence yeah. is what it brings in. All, all the negativity she's this bringing. This segment sucks when I'm not here because I listen to y'all sometimes. Okay. Uh, you're on with the Masters. Who's this? David. Hey, David. What's up? 
It's also David. Hey, I just want to tell Savannah I love the way you're selling this slap. You deserve it. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, David. All hey, right. Monster. Hey, let Monster. me get them tickets hey, roll, to the Childing. Roll Radio, you're the, you're the last caller. Who's this? Catching on. Uh, this is uh, Dean, man. I just want to know what happened to the to the guy who was doing uh, taking it to the top. Because we, we might need that segment back the way Carlos just jumped all over that tent, man. Uh, that was Angel. That was Angel. That was Angel. Yeah, I, Angel. And uh, call me, the, you know, my, my name's Angel. <laughs> I was the dude that jumped on the tent, dude. Don't put that on anybody else. <laughs> And there you go. Yeah. All right. When we come back, it's time for the King of Denmark, Ryan Holmes, to make oh his daily gosh. proclamation. You're listening. See what you brought. See. It's uh, not me. Uh, when we come back, it's the King of Denmark. Don't go anywhere. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1. Tap the microphone and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash. Call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Eastbound I-4 remains pretty slow from before US-27 past State Road 429 and heavy from Osceola Parkway to State Road 535. And westbound I-4 is heavy traffic from the beach line to State Road 535. They just moved a crash southbound on Kirkman Road south of the 408 all out of the roadway. Watch for a wreck on Victory Way at Century Drive and traffic signals aren't working on Moss Park Road at the Greenway. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477 from the traffic. Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. The Filatowski Eye Institute is where I got smile LASIK vision correction surgery, and it is the best thing I've ever done and I wish I'd done it so much sooner because I get to see all of this stuff in HD. Uh, when we, we do the bit with Russ, I'm going to see it in clear crystal vision. Oh, man, it's going to be beautiful. I'm so excited about it. But seriously, though, the thing about it is it's like my days are just like so much easier now to just get up and go. I don't have to stop and wear contact lenses. When I go on vacations, I don't have to think about what I do. am I packing my glasses and contact lenses. And uh, I love when people hit me up and tell me that they got it done, too, and how happy they are with it as well because it's fantastic and it's easy. Easy and it's minimally invasive. My goodness, my thing took like seven minutes and go to work the next day. And now every day I just have better than 2020 vision in my particular scenario. I love it. Plus, it is super affordable. They offer 24 month interest free finance for qualified patients. You can even use a flex spend account. And your eyes are in good hands because the doctors at the Philatelski Eye Institute have performed over 65,000 LASIK procedures. Okay, so all you have to do right now to change your vision, change your life, schedule that free LASIK vision consultation by sending the message 1041 to the number 868686. It's that easy. They brought back the free LASIK vision consultation. Send the message 1041 to the number 868686. It's clear to see why you should text the Filatowski Eye Institute right now. Are you ready to put some cash in your pocket? Because Real Radio is giving you a chance to win $1,000 by putting a grand in your hand. You know the deal with our national contest. We'll give you a keyword at the top of every hour from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And all you have to do is enter it on our website at realradio.fm for your chance to win. With 13 chances every weekday, you'll have plenty of opportunities to win a grand in your hand. But there is a catch, because there's always a catch. Right. If you get a call, you need to answer your phone. That's right. The key to winning is picking up your phone when we call. So don't send us to voicemail. This contest brought to you locally by Mills Air. Mills Air been in business since 1992. That's over 30 years. Carrier factory authorized dealer. Rebates up to $1,275 for brand new carrier units. Turn to the experts. Carrier. And you can always turn to the experts at MillsAir.com. At Mayo Clinic in Florida, we are predicting the unpredictable. Our experts are using a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making complex surgeries more precise, efficient, and less invasive. We are making more possible at Mayo Clinic because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic, you know where to go. Here's how to avoid a top mistake in divorce. Text messages and social media posts can wind up in front of a judge. Act accordingly. Don't post like a fool. Divorce? Trendly Kramer Law. TK Law. One firm for life.com. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. 
For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at abacuspays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at abacuspays.com. Hey there, it's Russ for Zero Res. Get your carpets and tile clean without sticky, soapy, chemical residue left behind. Zero Res cleans the right way at the right price. This month, get 25% off floor cleaning, carpet, tile, stone, and wood. Visit OrlandoZeroRes.com. Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards, it's the right way to clean. Committing to saving for four years of college can be stressful for families. Not to worry. Florida Prepaid has a plan for you. The reality is, most parents don't cover all of their child's college costs. A Florida prepaid one-year university plan lets you start small and add a year at a time as your budget allows. The plan starts at just $34 a month, the lowest plan price in 10 years. Remember, any amount you save today means less debt for them tomorrow. Florida prepaid open enrollment ends April 30th. Find your plan today. They're modern-day con artists, and they're the focus of Creating a Con, a true crime anthology podcast. Season 1 spotlights Ray Trapani and his tech startup scam, endorsed by DJ Khaled and Floyd Mayweather, and built on empty promises and millions from built investors. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I don't think start a business. I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme, and I can't help it. Listen to Creating a Con on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Open your free iHeart app and search Creating a Con. It's the Marketer's Report. Today, Capital One's chief brand officer, Mark Mentry, weighs in on building loyalty with customers. Capital One has really worked to create amazing access moments for our customers. We will do sound check parties so that only Capital One cardholders can get access to, and we can't pull that off without iHeart. As the number one audio company, iHeart Media gives marketers access to the audiences, insights, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. You got a service dog? Actually, he's a deals dog. Since I'm looking for a new car, I trained him to sniff out awesome rates, member discounts, and fast decisions. Cool, huh? But you know Navy Federal Credit Union has all those things, right? You're right. He's got the scent. Oh, wait. Nope. That's just the bacon in my pocket. Apply for a Navy Federal Credit Union auto loan online, at a branch, or on our mobile app. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Message and data rates may apply. Visit NavyFederal.org for more information. Are you bogged down with constant sneezing, watery eyes, and congestion? Do you get sinus headaches and infections? No one should have to suffer season after season. And thanks to Aspire Allergy and Sinus, treating your allergies is easier than you think. With personalized treatment plans tailored to your needs and budget, you can say goodbye to allergy and sinus issues for good. Book your appointment today at AspireAllergy.com. Aspire Allergy and Sinus where relief is just around the corner. AspireAllergy.com. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere, a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let SafeLight take care of everything. SafeLight Repair, SafeLight Replace. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Who, what? <laughs> Who and what was that? Somebody help me out here. Motorworks Brewing. That's uh, my friends over there at Cavo's, Cavo's Bar, Oops. and then Motorworks as well. Wow. Uh, They're so amazing. And nice. yeah, so Motorworks Brewing dropped off a little uh, sixer, and then uh, Cavo's Bar and Kitchen, located on Washington. I uh, uh, felt compelled because of this hot fire entertainment that we've been giving them all morning mm-hmm. long. Yeah. I uh, felt compelled to run over some uh, sandwiches to us. They're that located- might be the best cheesesteak. 
sub I've had in 100 years. It's yeah. a pretty good one, yeah. right? That's pretty good. Cavos yeah. is right there downtown, 900 East Washington Street. Uh, their website is cavosbar.com. Obviously, our great friends over there at MotorWorks have been featured on uh, Beer of the Week. Their uh, Beer of the Week. And uh, they were actually partners, one of the yeah. first um, br- on the one of the first brew buses when we went to uh, Tampa side. Uh, we went to MotorWorks Brewing in Bradenton. They had that fantastic tree. Right. And then they also dropped off this, Russ. Did you see this? What's up? This is the uh, my uh, veggie sandwich. This is uh, something that Krispy Kreme is doing. They're doing the Eclipse Donut today. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. did see that in the news. As an uh, Oreo and uh, some frosting and a, a little uh, chocolate-covered donut with uh, sprinkles on it that make it look like stars. The Eclipse Donut. Hey, the, the sandwiches and everything, it's to remind you about the Brew Bus, yeah. Monster Brew Bus, is this Saturday. We will be on the Monster Brew Bus Saturday, and we're inviting you all to stop by and say hi to us when we stop at 1145 Brew Lando Brewing. Uh, that's over on Hoffner. Uh, the whole bus of uh, Monster fans are going to pull up, come by, say hi, take photos. And it'll be me and Angel and Ryan and uh, my buddy Bo the Big Man Rhodes will be with us. Jack Bradshaw will be with us. So if you want to come by and say and take pictures with us, say hi. That's awesome. At 1145 Brew Lando. Then we're going to Toll Road Brewing uh, in Ocoee, right in the middle of the Ocoee Music Festival. But we're going to be at Toll Road Brewing at 145, partying down, once again, all 50 of us with, uh, with the Monsters and Jack Bradshaw. It'll be fun. And then the last stop is Claremont Brewing Company, and that's at 4 o'clock. We got M- Monster Music Man Matt will be performing. I mean, live, Daisy Del Toro is going to join us out there. So it'll be a lot of fun. And we want to thank Wasi's Meat Market and uh, uh, Just Call Mo. Uh, injury on the go, Just Call Mo. So we want to thank them for sponsoring the Monster Brew Bus. Now it's time for Ryan, to bring the king of Denmark, Ryan Holmes, to make his daily proclamation. <laughs> you forgot your name. Uh, he shook today, baby. No, <laughs> I'm thinking about what, another bite of this sandwich. Yeah, is what I'm thinking. Good. I know, my sandwich looks great. I know, me and Savannah went out to, like, like what do you want to do for a segment? And then we got distracted by food and beer, and I don't, I didn't, I, I didn't do That's anything. It. So we're gonna freestyle this one, baby. From the king of the Danish nation, let's all wave our fingers. K-O-D's. Mm. The K-O-D's nut. King Thank of Denmark. You. This dude is going to eat the whole time, aren't you? Yep, yep. King Denver brought to you by that mortgage guy, Don, and that mortgage guy, Don.com. But more on that later. Yes, Savannah. Oh, I was just going to say, are we eating and doing the segment, or are we going to stop for a second? <laughs> I think we, I think we gotta stop. i let you be the boss for this segment. <laughs> I think we got to stop for a second. This has been a wild Monday. I'm not used to a Monday with this much energy on them monsters, you know? Like when I bring lot. it, I bring it. Yeah. Yes, you do. Consider you brought, it you, You've brought out a, a whole feeling of people in, in Central Florida. Is I what know, I'm right? <laughs> Channeling in that energy. Underlined, underlined grievances. Yeah, underlying hostilities. Yeah. <laughs> Negativity and, uh, and, 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 and bad. It reminds me of that oh, moment uh, when, um, you remember in the Angela. office when, uh, what's her name, got to, got to hit Michael in the face? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It reminds me of that moment. Oh, but I forgot about that. But then afterwards, she was like, she was like, Pam, do you feel better? And she was like, no, but I know I'm going to feel better. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah. I know. And I know Central Florida is going to mm-hmm. feel better. Heavy is the crown that has to be in charge. Whatever. Your crown's a Burger oh, King crown. Are we? Are we, are we it sounds Heavy like you're almost the, trying to be a martyr in this. Yeah. Well, you can't be the martyr in well, this. I was like, hey, do you want to make a song today? And I'm like, well, we don't really have time now, so we're just going to freestyle something real fast because we have something so people can play it. And I was like, you know what? Let's do no instruments. What is the sound of slapping other than clapping, right? That's just right. slapping your hand. So uh-huh. let's get a beat going. So, Oh God! You'd be a little faster, like, dun, 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 dun. here we go. Everybody clap. Clap, Russ. Come on, Russ. Clap, clap Russ. Mm-hmm. You're not participating. Russ gonna get slapped in the face, in yeah. the face, in the face. So you guys repeat after me. Ready? When I do that part. <laughs> okay. Yep. Russ gonna get slapped in the face, in the face, in, in the, the face. Van to hit you like a mace, like in the face, face in the face. face. Russ's face. <laughs> face gonna be real red, in the in the face, red. be real red. Russ might end up really dead, really dead, dead really, really dead. dead. Russ gonna get slapped in the face, in, in the, the face, face, in, in the, the face. face. Russ don't not remember his place, his Russell place, his place. place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. Did you run out of words to rhyme? No. 
That's just like the clapping. All right. It was, it was worth a I shot. I love the laugh and clap. I love the laugh and clap as well. It's good, man. I, Russ, I'm worried about you, baby. I've never seen you do, shook before. Do not be worried. I'm not going to be shook. I Look at a, that. I just had a sandwich. I'm good as I can be. Russ is shook. Shook. Okay. Shook. Keep, you you keep ain't saying a crook, it, I guess you'll believe it, huh? Uh, I, I mean, okay. look, I, I get it. We all we all temp, we all put a bravado out there to cover our right. fear. Uh huh. Okay, it's okay. To if be I was a truly bit afraid, scared. I would say no. I'm not doing this. Well, that would make you a no, pussy. No, you wouldn't. I, yeah, I just I've been a pussy either. before. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> oh, all about to, hey. I, I, oh, I've dude. pussied up many times. So, but I, I'm not scared of this. These, you know what? Uh, I'm more. Actually, if you weren't scared, you would have clapped and sang the song. I can't sing. You what, not, your album told you me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That didn't clapped. stop you before, you did it? Never it's stopped okay me before. to say you're scared, Russ. I ain't scared of you. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No. I would be. I it's not. It's not like, I ain't scared not, of you. Here's the thing. It's like you're telling this lie that you're not, mm -hmm. but the entire world knows that. <laughs> it's like it's like the Diddy thing. Stop stop trying to act like you didn't do oh, now, it. Oh, now I'm Diddy. Oh, hey. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying, it's like the thing, right? Like, there you go. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to be your 50 cent, dog. I'm going to troll you. I'm going to throw some stuff out there online. Oh, I like goodness. this. Now I want to like I want to get a Rocky style training montage with oh. you done. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, where you're, you're practicing the slapping. You're you're slapping are you gonna, are old you, meats you, in, you, a, in a fridge. Are you going to train? Are you going to start training for this? I don't need to train to slap you. Mm. That's, I, can, that's, I can see them jails a mile away. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't understand. The one thing I don't understand is like your very specific slapping yes. area. Yeah, yes. like, right, right here. Because I don't want her to slap my ear. Are there goes, penalties? Why I, do you I, think I, someone's I, trying I, to I slap a, your ear? I have a fear of, of what happened to John Stossel and going deaf. I, I don't want to go deaf in one ear. We, you it could, can happen. You could do the show with one ear. <laughs> I, don't, I would prefer not to. <laughs> It'd be fine. Your hero, your hero, Paul Stanley, made an entire career of rock music with one ear. He most certainly did. That's you could, true. you could be like, you could be like Paul Russ. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. And then people could sing, and then an ear comes <laughs> along <laughs> with the strength to be so wrong. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be good, man. Like, oh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be for charity. Yes. And then again, this is very specific, and it's so easy to do. Once you say it this way, it's so much easier. It only takes 200 people giving $50. That's right. nothing. And that's like nothing. Like, I'm, like, What's the percentage there? Can I put in my own money if we're getting close? Uh, yeah, you got to get, sl you get slapped, though. Yeah, or, well, anyone, just, anyone, yeah, there's some anyone, other person to get slapped. Anyone that puts in money has to, there's got to be a slap shot with it. But it doesn't have to be that person. Yeah, it doesn't have to be right. you. You no. just pass it no, on. We've I, got a, yeah, I got a something. stunt double. No, no, we're assembling a pretty impressive roster of uh, dudes that are volunteering to be the guys, the recipients of uh, slaps that are donated. Some guys are into yeah, that. The day that we that, that Russ came to me about it, I got at least three messages about, I can't wait for you to slap me. Oh, so, really? So, like, I'm sure <laughs> one of them will be more than what willing your to DMs take look your like? you don't want to know. So, you know, there's there's that. Just real quick, what's the creepiest message you've I ever gotten? Angelique, spread I, them cheeks. No, the creepiest oh message was probably the, hello, I just want to make sure I introduce myself. I will be your future ex-husband. That's not that creepy. Yeah, it is because there was more than that. But that, was just the, that was just the beginning. Oh, let me, yeah, let me lick them boogers out your nose. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Bring more negativity. <laughs> Russ, just stop hey, Angelique, this. is this your address? No. 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 Yeah, no. Hey, I'm out front. You know what's a real slap in the face? <laughs> what's, what's that, that Ryan? Paying too much for your mortgage. Oh, yes. 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 And you can avoid that with that mortgage guy, Don, from thatmortgageguydon.com. That's right. If you're paying too too much for your mortgage, you can get a refi, you can get a HELOC, you can, and traditional mortgage, he does it all. That mortgage guy, Don, will slap away the high oh. prices and pass along the savings to you being the mortgage wholesaler that he is. He's got 5,000. No, he doesn't. It's 1,000 five-star <laughs> Google reviews. There we go. It'd be pretty cool if he had 5,000, though. Uh, check out a show on Saturdays from 9 to 1030 here on Real Radio, and so it shall be. Oh, I'm going to eat this Philly. Problem solved. Uh, uh, someone said if I if I wear those foam ear things in my ears, then it, it will. Uh, okay, then there you go. Slap wherever you want. See, look right. at you. Okay, there you go. Solved. Look at you learning it. new things, you earless leader. I'm going to choke on a Philly. I don't know what that even means. It means nothing. That All means right, you're there. our earless leader. All right, don't go. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Don't miss the boat. Compare your quote with that mortgage guy, Don.
us on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Eastbound I-4 remains pretty slow from before US-27 past State Road 429 and heavy from Osceola Parkway to State Road 535. Westbound I-4 is heavy traffic from the beach line to State Road 535. They just moved to crash southbound on Kirkman Road south of the 408 all out of the roadway. Watch for a wreck on Victory Way at Century Drive and traffic signals aren't working on Moss Park Road at the Greenway. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier Factory Authorized Dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. In today's Marketers Report, Kate Cronin, Chief Brand Officer of Moderna, weighs in on the speed of audio production. In this day and age, and particularly at Moderna, where we have new information coming out on a regular basis, being able to feed that information to the audio format makes being nimble and pivoting easy, and that's what I really like about it. As the number one audio company, iHeartMedia gives marketers access to the audiences, influencers, insights, and data you need to grow. If you're a marketer, go to iHeartResults.com. Sunnyside Air Conditioning. Oh, hi. My air conditioner is blowing hot. For air conditioners making a funny noise, press 1. No, it's... Try to listen to the whole message before making a selection. Sorry. For air conditioners blowing cold, but not quite cold enough, press 2. No, it's blowing hot. I haven't gotten to that one yet. Well, can we speed this up? Don't get grumpy with me, or I'll take you back to the main menu. No, anything but that. Please don't send me back to the main menu. Fine, but I'm watching you. Bet if I'd called Frank Gay, I'd already be getting my problem solved. But you didn't call Frank Gay. So, what do we do now? I'm calling Frank Gay. When your air conditioner is blowing hot, you need a solution now. A helpful operator to guide you, all your options explained, and your problem fixed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. If you're ready to pull your hair out, press 7. Ah! That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navage helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Hey, if you're listening to me right now, I have one thing every business needs most 
attention. Think about it. We swipe and scroll past stuff all day. But when we're driving, cooking, working out, we're also listening. That's the magic of audio at iHeart. We're in your next customer's ears while they're living life and listening, just like you are right now. So get your customers to listen up today using radio, digital, and podcasts. Call 844-AD-HELP-5. That's 844-AD-HELP-5. Look at all the complaints that our competitors have on their BBB ratings. Give me the Vin.com is a five-star rated company. We do what we say we're going to do. It's that easy. Sell us your car. Give me the Vin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. I'm Johnny B. Good, the host of the podcast Creating a Con, the story of Bitcoin. This podcast dives deep into the story of Ray Trapani and his company Centratech. I'll explore how 320-somethings built a company out of lies, deceit, and greed. I've been saying since a very young age that I was going to be a millionaire. If someone's like, oh, what's your best way of making money? I'm like, oh, we should start some sort of scheme. Listen to Creating a Con, the story of Bitcoin, on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. A solar store still has some of those uh, solar inter- the, the solar uh, glasses, you know, to be able to watch the solar eclipse today, the eclipse glasses, they still have some. If you want to go by and get them, it's uh, 925 Sunshine Lane in Altamont Springs. It's the Solar Source building. They'll just meet you outside and uh, hook you up. Yeah, sweet 1010. Yeah. They have people stationed outside, yeah. and, and they'll just kind of give you their glasses, uh, of, you know, limit to four, you know, per car. And, uh, yeah, they'll be glad to do that. Thank you, Richard. Appreciate you telling us, buddy. And uh, you can go by Solar Source and pick them up. Thanks to Solar Source, I was able to go swimming. This weekend, I had a great conversation with Richard on Friday. Yeah, I got to talk to him about a bunch of stuff. It was uh, that's the first time I had a chance to really uh, talk to him. Cool and, guy, man. And, and, and Ryan was asking him about the you know having uh, the solar heat for his pool because, yeah. oh. like you were saying, like you only get to use your pool half the year if you don't have uh, if it's not heated. You have a house energy. with a pool, Ryan? Yeah, he does. You know, yeah. he's fancier than me. Dude, you're, you're rich. No, I bought Thank my house you. at the greatest time to ever buy a house. I'm so lucky when it comes to that. Like I got my house for cheap, low mortgage rate, and these people were like. Needed to sell, and I was like, "All right, cool." And he can that park, mortgage any, guy, any, any that can park, mortgage guy, Don. Yeah, and he can park on the grass wherever he wants. Oh, yeah. I yeah. can, and an apartment <laughs> building will just catch fire next door to you sometimes too. But it's, <laughs> uh, but uh, honestly, dude, I I was like, I asked him how much, like you know, like what it would run for one of those systems, and you know, I kind of gave him a rundown of my house, and I'm like. Oh, I need to get one. Oh, it's worth it, dude. My I'm pool just you. sits there so long throughout the year. It does it, nothing. It was super cold on, was it Friday night? But yeah. yet the next day, it, it heated up. Well, normally, you can't get in the water. I because tried. Of, right, you can't get in the water. But, but mine is always at like 89 degrees, 90 degrees. So I jumped. I was able to go swimming then. Um, uh, we want to thank Elixir. Yeah. For yeah. And yeah. we just saw Rick Everett, who's in charge of Earth Day Birthday. And they had to change something because one of the bands, we, they, 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 there's this whole thing, you know, they, they so uh, so they did, and they had a bunch of people. Don't tell me stuff. You know I'm going to say it on the I air. I literally <laughs> followed that up with, hey, we can't go to air with that just yet. After the event, we could tell this story. Okay, oh, so I, then oh, don't tell the story. I, did, I didn't hear that part. I was talking to her about the he Philly did, cheese He steak. did say that. Uh, but anyway, uh, so anyway, <laughs> the, because there were so many people that wanted a monster, you know, to be in the, uh, the chill area, they have moved us to a building that's air conditioned. So it's the monster chill zone, and we'll be there, and Angel will still be spinning tunes, yes. and I'll still be there with the... Uh, uh, with the whiskey, the official whiskey. We literally had building. that conversation just two minutes ago, so we just found out, yeah. all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Elixir brought by food, yeah, and yeah, by yeah. the way, Elixir is where Angel is going to be mm-hmm. this Saturday night after an entire day of drinking Woo. beer on the brew bus. I'm going to have my celebration right, victory exactly. watching UFC 300 I in you, baby. at Elixir. Uh, Russ and Ryan, don't Ryan says he believes in me, but Russ doesn't believe in me. He does, <laughs> He thinks I'm going to be a mess. You're going to so, be a mess. Okay, that's all right. By nine I'm going to be a mess. I'm going to have... I'm going to be a mess. I, I, I'm a, it's a brew bus day. Brew bus days were always all... So you're going to have to scale back. No, on the I'm going to do bus. the only scaling back that I'm going to do. Again, I've been very forthcoming. What threw me off my game last time was a 500 milligram edible. Well, you're not supposed to. Ryan. You're not supposed to do those. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, yes, so Ryan, I'll be fine. You, you take 200 milligrams? Yeah, we'll split it. Okay. <laughs> Splitting up. 
Yeah, so, uh, but the post party, my celebration, my victory lap will be held at Elixir. I'm inviting everybody mm-hmm. to come hang out. I'm going to be there from 9 to 11 that Saturday night. So we're going to be watching UFC 300. I should have a table uh, taken care of and uh, come hang out. And you guys will be all my witnesses on how I was able to handle myself and let you know Russ what? know on Monday because Russ, for Ooh. some reason, I'm taking it personal that he doesn't think I can do this. Listen, there, here is a possibility, okay? I possibility possibility is that me and Ryan and Bo the Big Man Rhodes uh, decide that, that we're going to keep the party going and we join you at Elixir. There, uh, there, there, you there is that possibility. Nope. <laughs> Savannah no, says no. Okay, yeah. Not in them oofas. Y'all can't last that long. In, yep. our, in our day, we would have done that for sure. Bo for sure still could. 100%. Yeah. Ryan, maybe if Bo put his arm around him, kind of dragged him down yeah. the road, well, no way would well, you make it. Well, if I got if I got Bo and Ryan going, no. I might end up going. No. You're going to go home. You're going to be tired. I might be. Yeah, we'll I'm going to be tired. That's but the problem with like- my life right now is like, like it. you really have to hit a high level of something for it to be better than my yeah. house. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. My, house, my house is dope. It's got my wife in it. I got a big TV. There's food there. So if, if you're like, Ryan, you want to go out and do this thing? I gotta go. Is it better than sitting on my couch? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard. It's hard to hit that bar a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Angelique is leaving yeah, here, yeah. and she's going on her very first cruise. Very first cruise. Never been on a cruise before, nope. and it's so funny because you were asking me. Well, you, know, you were saying I need advice on a cruise, and I'm like, mm-hmm. well, and and. Because I've been on so many cruises, there were things that I didn't know to tell you that I'm like, well, I thought everybody knew. So you were like, hey, I, I, I didn't know there was such thing the as a captain's, captain's dinner. dinner. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah, I thought everybody knew that. Uh, the captain's dinner is when the captain of the ship sits mm-hmm. down with everybody. It's a big ordeal, and you're uh-huh. supposed to wear your finest of clothes. Okay, I brought a gown. You brought a gown. Perfect. I, I, like a, like I wore it for a bridesmaid, as a bridesmaid once. Yeah, nobody will. Yeah, that'll be yeah. fine. Yeah, that'll, no, it's that'll a beautiful be good. gown. And, uh, and you, you, know, you toast champagne. Beautiful gown. And there's okay. a big toast. And you know, I'm all for it. But now it's a it's a long dinner though. That's the only thing I don't like about those is they start oh. at a particular time and you're like three hours later you're still eating. Three hours later? Yeah. But if you're okay. working on the ship, do you get to go to those dinners? I do. Okay. Because we're we're a third party. Oh, so that's you're why, contracted. Yeah. So I'm so they encourage us actually to come out and be at the pool. They encourage us to of go to the they dinners. Do. They encourage us to do all this stuff. So, let me ask a question. So, when yeah. you go to the pool, what does Angelique, the dancing queen... I can't do? wear what I thought I was going to wear. I was gonna we say, were I mean, told that you, there were certain things we can't wear. You got a very good figure. And, you know, so, it's like, do, oh. do, do you wear... Stop getting creepy, dude. Creepy. Creepy. It's, a, it's a nice compliment. I said it in a nice <laughs> way. I didn't say you're hot or anything creepy. I said you have a very nice figure. That's worse. What? That, 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 that she's hot? So, what am I going to wear? Go, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you have a very... Very nice figure, so no, what are you going to wear? If I go, Angelique is hot. Angelique, you're hot. Here's if what I go, you're Angelique, saying. you got a nice figure. Here's though. what you're saying. It's Ange- 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 Angelique, you, you got a mic? nice figure. Oh, Tell me what you're wearing so I can go home and think about it. No, I... Uh, no, I Savannah. And send pictures to my friend Tony. No, I knew that wow. she was told she couldn't wear certain things. That's yes. why I asked the question. Yes. Uh, so they told you you couldn't wear certain things by the pool. What was it you can't wear? You can't wear any thong or anything that is close to... You can't wear any severely cheeky or thong bathing suit. So, so you were basically to told you not to have your ass hanging out. Correct. There but we go. Girl, your I cheeks mean, the are prob- so good. And listen, no matter what I wear, my cheeks are coming out. So it's just one of those like, okay, I'll do the best to, to cover as much as I can, but I can't promise that one won't be like, hey, girl, them things the- get wild. They do. <laughs> but there's all they kinds got a mind of-, of their own. They got their own zip code, man. International waters, baby. Okay. Like, there you go. <laughs> All the other girls are wearing like thongs. Why can't they? I don't understand? So, because you work for them. Because yeah. because we're contracted. I got you. So there are certain things that we are not allowed to do or wear, and then they just say, "Please be careful with the drinking." At the end of the day, Russ, remember she's working. It's yes, a working it vacation. Is a working, it's not like it a, is a working. It's cruise. not like what you've gotten to do, or even when you were with the radio station and doing these, they we were, were expected to be yeah, drunk and exactly. Belligerent. <laughs> she's got she's got what yeah. you got uh, at least one performance a day that you got to do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. At, so, at least one a day that I have to do, and then and then we'll see from there. Like I told Savannah, I've got enough Dramamine. I have uh, ordered the seasick bracelet. And I bracelet. told her, Dramamine makes you fart. You're not going to want to take that on a cruise. <laughs> I said, Dramamine, I'm okay with that. I'd rather be doing that than Dramamine it up. makes you tired though. So I got the less drowsy, tired okay. and fart. Yeah, you know, tired, sleepy farts. Listen, I, 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 will, I, I, I will whatever. They, they you don't want to be fart. up there dancing. Come on, shake your body, baby. Do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't want to do that, Angelique. Well, I'm being partnered and lifted and turned upside oh, down. Now you're going to face. Oh, that poor guy. Thing. No, actually, his face is not in the back of me. It's in the front of me. Like, Savannah. I I jump up. And you're going to front fart? I don't he think. Catches. <laughs> I don't think Dramamine <laughs> makes everybody fart. I think that's just Savannah. No. Dramamine makes life. everybody it fart. It does not make me. That's, that don't work for, yeah, for me like that. Yeah, it's called the waterfall. It makes me tired is what it does. It <laughs> makes you tired. Then you go to sleep and fart. You, just, you don't know. <laughs> like a dog when it turns around and bites his tail because it hurt a fart. Listen, at least, <laughs> at least we have our own rooms. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I can do whatever I need to. In Wait, are, you, are you in the crew level or are you like in an actual state room? Are you down at the bottom room. like t- Titanic? No, oh, no, no, yeah. no, we're in an actual state. We're in an actual room, oh, not okay. in a crew room. What's some other things we need to tell her about? Because I didn't even think about telling her about the uh, the captain's dinner. What else should we remind uh, her about? I her to stay, keep your eyes on the horizon. Like if yeah. you start to feel nauseous or whatever, keep your eyes on the horizon. Like don't look at what's going on around you. Um, Does it feel worse like when when you're in one of these ships, does it feel worse when you're like enclosed and you can't see outside? No, it's for, better for me. Yes. Yeah. I've but ne- for I've a lot of people, no? no. I've never had a problem with it. There was one cruise that we went on, a uh, monster cruise, and it was a smaller ship. And there was a remember there was a storm, and it was all over the board. I do not remember. You don't remember that one? Uh, Ryan's the expert, but like you, so you're saying to stay in places. With no windows? For me, personally, I sleep better when I have no window. I don't know why. Because, uh, oh, generally because they're more towards the center of the ship, I think. You get a little bit less of the rocking. Less rock? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know where my I don't know where my room is, as, as far as all of that is concerned. So, and, and like I said, I've tried and I've done the, what is it, the pontoon boat, which is supposed to be really making you sick. So I've tried that for like four hours with mm. the medication and I've mm. done okay, but I still, I mean, I feel it before anybody else does. Right, All I of a sudden I'm like, whoa, okay. Where and are, I have to stop and concentrate for a minute and then I can be okay. Where are you guys going to? We are going to Cozumel and then to the Bahamas. Okay. It should be a lot of fun. Everything should be great. My my other thing is that I'm not just cruising to cruise. I'm dancing. Like, yeah. we're jumping. We're moving. We're, you know, and if Fire, there's any busy. sort of whatever, all of a hey. sudden, you know, I've been told that sometimes people go to, like, do a leap and the floor is is not closer there. than you realize or yeah. not there at all because of the way that the ship has moved. It doesn't it? move that much. It does like, not move that like, much. Like, it does not move That's that much. That's my ship friends that, that, like, actually performed on them for a while. But well, I'm, I'm sure, they, like, within I inches, but I can't, I, I if mean. If there's a storm, it yeah, will yeah. be yeah. moving. If, if yeah. there's a storm. Yeah. But they've got, uh, I think they're called baffles that make sure it levels it out. Like, okay. uh, I, I don't think that's going to be that much they of an issue. They don't put baffles on casino cruises, I can tell you that. But man, No, they don't. No. But no, uh, no, do, no. do you do a lot of gambling? Are you a gambler? <laughs> no, I'm like a drive-by person. So I'll gamble, yeah, but I literally. What, you can't be, what do you do with drive-bys? Listen, I do drive-bys. In Vegas, I go, I, I look around. I pick the roulette table normally because it's an, it's the easiest in and out. And you just go. Like I put my black. money down. I put, I, no, I'll normally put like a couple mm. numbers or something. You ever and blown then, on some dice? What? I have. I knew oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I definitely have. And um, yeah, I mean, I I won a really good little amount of money, like 300 bucks off a $20 bet once yeah. in Vegas. And then I treated myself to a really nice dinner and, and by the way, $300 real quick. They, they told you that there's a captain's dinner there, right? No, one of my friends said it. One oh. of the people in the in the in the group was like, "Hey, so for the captain's dinner, are we all going to go? Yeah, let's the, all make sure we meet up." And la- I was like, "Yeah, let's do it." Last cruise I went on, there was a captain's dinner. Someone just texted in. There's no yeah. more captain's dinner, but I don't know that that's They're true. They're calling it formals now. Oh, yeah. I went to the captain's dinner very recently. Yeah, uh, the, the last, depends on the ship. Last cruise I went on, yeah. there, there was a captain's dinner, and the captain was there, and he did the whole thing. Do I need so. to dress up for all dinners, guys? That's You're, my other thing. I do not no. have clothes to dress up no. for all dinners. You, you don't. You're supposed to, I mean, but you, you don't. It's and, Walmart at sea. It, it really is. Angelique, I think at some point you you might go, uh, I'll just go and get a salad at the bar, at, at the at the, the yeah. buffet, and I don't need to sit for two hours for a dinner. Like, I don't do the dinners except for okay. maybe the captain's night anymore because it's just too much. It's like, I'd But maybe th- also take some granola bars or some, like, I think I will be. something like yeah. that because, yeah. That I know that I can eat and I'm safe yep, with. Yep, yep, yep. The dinners yeah. are, a, are a project, man. It's like... We're hit, and you, you know, and they really yeah, like draw it out. Yeah. It's a little much. And you just, I can just wear like shorts and a t-shirt to walk around. I don't need to be all super fancy stuff, right? 100%. I'm not going to be cold. Do no. I need a jacket? No. I get cold. No. No. You're on a You're cruise. A jacket. Take okay. a jacket. All right. I can wear sneakers. I don't need to oh. wear like get some sneakers, flip flops, okay. ufas. Get some ufas. Oh 
Oh yeah. <laughs> but, I'm getting, but they had they gave us a I, well, I still haven't seen the credit yet, but they were there we're supposed to get a credit. And so one thing I'm doing is the Wi Fi. And yeah, I still good. don't fully understand that because the way they it. describe it is kind of weird. I don't need it. I, I get the Wi-Fi package every time. I rarely need it. Like, I, if you, I want to watch Netflix and stuff, or yeah, if I want to do something like, you, you need it. Be a, yeah, okay. Yeah. You guys are on your like. You really need the package. I po- I always post stuff for the show, so yeah, I get the package. Yeah, yeah stupid. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> bad. Sorry, I didn't realize you're doing the show at sea. I do. Stupid. Man. I'm, I'm living, I live it. I live it, man. I can't help it. Okay. All right. Well, have a good trip. I know you got to you got to run yeah, now, I but go uh, I, I, I really. When when you be back? I we port on the 14th, so on Sunday. This, this Sunday. Hey, port this. this. Sunday. Hey, port this cruise part. We all three did that. <laughs> smell, <laughs> smell like Dramamine. Right. So, with this, so next week we'll find out how uh, you can give us a report. Yes, the, yes. Hopefully on Monday I'll be able give to. Give us some dirt, we'll some see. good stuff. Yeah. stuff you go down to the bottom I'll, of the ship I and find some dirt. I will watch. I'll have to be careful, but I will, I will watch. Yeah, give I us will the watch dirt. and give some dirt. All right, when we come back, it <laughs> is uh, it's your hot takes. Uh, you can always leave hot takes by listening to us on the iHeartRadio app. You click on the microphone and you can leave us a message and we'll play those messages, those hot takes. When we come back, you're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Real Radio. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. The traffic lights are working incorrectly where Moss Park Road meets the Greenway. There's an accident causing a bit of delays on Victoria Way near Century Drive. And traveling on I-4, there's stop-and-go traffic before US-27 and after State Road 429. Around the perimeter, no major problems on State Road 429. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their end-to-end solution helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all year round. Schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from your Indeed dashboard. Learn more by visiting Indeed.com slash credit. Solar Source. Hey, they uh, want me to remind you that obviously today is the solar eclipse. They still have some glasses left if you want to go by their office, which is uh, 925 Sunshine Lane in Altamont Springs. They still have some of the official glasses. So you can watch the solar eclipse today. We gave away like 2,000 uh, glasses last Friday, so that was very nice of them. And then we were talking to him. Uh, Ryan was talking to Richard from Solar Source about uh, the solar pool package. It's something that I have on my house. I've had it for over a year now, and I love it. I'm able to go in my pool anytime I want because the you know I can set the temperature of how I want my pool and it's done with solar energy. If you want the same thing, go to this website, solarsource.com slash monsters. That's solarsource.com slash monsters. And you could uh, set up an appointment to talk to them about building your own solar package on your pool and make it so you can go in anytime you want. Yeah, you know, a lot of times you don't get to use your pool for the entire year because it's too cold to go in. The water's too cold. Not mine. I have you know, I have solar source. So now I can go in anytime I want, and I really love it. It's one of the upgrades that I'm so glad we did for our pool. It makes it so we can use it all the time. Solarsource.com slash monsters. If you want to do a pay-as-you-go plan and start small and build up uh, bigger, you can do that. Solarsource.com slash monsters. And remember, they've got some of those solar glasses so you can see the solar eclipse today over at 925 uh, Sunshine Lane in Altamont Springs. That's the office of Solar Source. SolarSource.com slash monsters. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a fifth third better. That's what a fifth third better means. This is banking a fifth third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Another happy Safe Light customer. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. There I was driving down the highway when out of nowhere a rock hits my windshield. Ah, so annoying. But then I remembered Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. I booked my appointment at SafeLight.com. And with my insurance, my new windshield was no cost to me. Safe Light even handled my insurance claim, which was the best. Cracked windshield? Just go to SafeLight.com and let Safe Light take care of everything. Safe Light Repair. 
Hair safe light replace. This earful of Real Radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. You don't need a resolution to lose weight. You need a solution. And that's Red Mountain Weight Loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has full-strength semaglutide in their newest medication called Revelex. It's specifically formulated to provide full-strength semaglutide in a daily tablet. With Revelex, you'll lose up to 15 pounds a month. And it's not a shot, so you can skip the weekly trips to a doctor's office. But here's the best part. Revelex costs about half of what you'll pay for other semaglutide medications like Ozempic. That's right. I said half the price. Plus, Red Mountain includes medically supervised meal plans and free lifetime maintenance to help you keep the weight off. So why go anywhere else? At Red Mountain, you get no shots, just results for half the price. Trust the leader in medical weight loss. Red Mountain Weight Loss has helped millions of people lose weight safely, and they can help you too. Go to RedMountainWeightLoss.com. That's RedMountainWeightLoss.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. Injured? The choice is easy. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. Fraudulent tax returns due identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Their U.S.-based restoration specialist are dedicated to helping solve identity theft issues, and all plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package, which means if you lose money because of identity theft, a LifeLock will reimburse you up to the limits of your plan. Help protect your information with LifeLock. Go to lifelock.com and save up to 25% your first year with my name, Clay, as your promo code. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Join the Orlando Magic on Sunday, April 14th at 1 p.m. as they celebrate you, the best fans of the NBA, during Fan Appreciation Day against the Milwaukee Bucks. Enjoy exclusive giveaways, special deals on Magic gear, and more. Get tickets at OrlandoMagic.com. Tommy Mello here, owner of A1 Garage Door Service. Springtime savings are here, and now is the perfect time to service your garage. Don't wait until a simple garage door repair becomes a major problem. We fix garage doors fast and with quality parts designed to last a lifetime. Replacing the bottom rubber on your garage door can have a huge impact on the number of bugs you see in your garage and in your home. Call A1 Garage today and receive the best service, best parts, and best warranty in the industry. A1 from day one. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. This is your midday weather update on Fox 35. Storm Team meteorologist Brooks Garner with your Fox 35 Central Florida forecast. Today, high clouds, our high temperature close to 80 degrees. All eyes on the sky for a 3.03 p.m. partial solar eclipse, where roughly 60% of the sun will be covered for several minutes this afternoon. You may notice a brief dip in temperatures before they warm back up. Speaking of temperatures, we'll be back up toward 90 by the middle of the week. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Brooks Garner. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Real Radio. 104.1. Savannah, will you be at uh, Gatorland today? Yep, just as soon as I leave here, I'm headed on out to 
Gatorland. Right. You know, Robert Kennedy Jr. was there yesterday. Was or he? not yesterday, day before yesterday. Oh, what was he looking for more gator conspiracies? Was <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I never even saw him because we were so busy, but he was in the park, definitely, with some security people. And really? Gatorland's a hot spot, man. That's so what, he's, he's, was he <laughs> causing a January 6th uprising by any chance? Uh, you know, I don't know his politics. I just thought I would share that little bit of information. He sucks. Look into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Monsters Mornings, Real Radio 104.1. I'm Russ, along with Angel and Savannah and Ryan Holmes. And, and then I'm leaving, so this is my last morning here for two weeks oh. till the end of April. Oh, really? Oh. I'm going to Australia. Good wow. eye. Yeah. A- another trip to Australia. That's good. I'm going to Australia. <laughs> See you in the Northern Territory. That's what? it. See so, you in the NT. <laughs> so will you, you be back by, uh, by Cinco de Mayo? Uh, yep. Okay. I'll be back by Cinco de Mayo. Get back like the 30th or, or the 1st or something like that, so... I'm gone, and uh, and I'm really excited about this trip. I'm going to the IUCN Crocodile Specialist Group meeting, mm-hmm. where I am so beloved, almost as beloved there as I am in Central Florida. Mm-hmm. How'd, was, how'd being, that happen? I was being sarcastic. How'd actually. that happen? Um, but, no, I'm going there to do some presentations and, and help them out with some stuff and then uh, and then go see some big crocs. Good. Yep. Is it, it's f- exciting. Is, is it official uh, Gatorland business? Official. It's official Gatorland business. Yeah. Okay. Savannah, bring it back, uh, Tim Tam. Okay. All right. You like Tim Tams? I want to have try- them free on the airplane. I want to try one. I've never tried one. Oh, okay. I'll bring you guys back some uh, Tim Tams. What's a Tim Tam? It's the like it's the Oreo, but of Australia. Oh, okay. So it's like a cookie. It's almost kind of a, like a cousin of a Twix, but not a Twix. Um, it's its own thing. But yeah, I'll bring back some Tim Tams. And some Cheezels. Cheezels? Yeah. I don't know what those are. They're they're Australia Australia's version of the Cheeto. Oh, I have, I don't think I've ever had one of those. I I wish I could bring you guys back um cuz so in Australia they eat a lot of pies and sausage rolls. Right. So meat pies and sausage rolls, oh. which are really heavy foods, but I don't know how I I wouldn't be able to get them back through customs. <laughs> they are hearty people. Yeah, they do. They eat hearty food for it to be such a warm climate. No. I, just, I always am confused about that. I just saw Australia today like has like that the highest uh, level of skin cancer of anywhere in the world because they're just like, Why? they just don't wear sunscreen there and it's just always sun. You know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think anyone wears sunscreen. They, they, they seem to be tan, very tan. Well, because it's the climate. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Is it, but, is, is, it, is it near the equator? No. <laughs> okay, it is in the complete southern hemisphere. All right, just it's, um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a really great place. I love, and, and they like, got I, buildings there? Like I always tell you guys. Uh, the Northern Territory of Australia is the Florida of Australia. So I fit right in there. And uh, I, I, I saw some movie about you know, Australia recently, and it looks beautiful. I mean, of course, this was a movie, and they want to make it look beautiful. Right, so you want right, to go right. There, but, yeah, it looked look beautiful. But the Northern Territory is the is 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 Florida. Savannah, Florida. you don't have to bring me any of the, if you can't find this next thing I'm gonna ask you for. Uh, then grab that instead of the other things. Uh, any good Australian hot sauce? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think they eat much hot sauce, but I'll try to find some. Oh, okay. I will tell you, last time I went there, I went to a Mexican restaurant. Mm-hmm. What? It was oh. brand new. Everyone was really excited, right? And they brought me what I, I was like, mm, I, I don't know what they're going to do here. Let me just order their something version? really simple. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'll just have like three pork tacos, like po- like pork belly tacos. Kangaruto. I don't know what they brought me. <laughs> I don't know what it was. And I was like, and I'll have an agua fresca, like a, a Jamaica, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, I have no idea what they brought me, but it wasn't anything I've ever eaten in my entire life that was Mexican, and they should close that place down. It was ridiculous. <laughs> you didn't like it. Hey, uh, Ryan, we have any hot takes, any messages? We do from the Frank Gay Services Hot Take Pipeline. If you want to be in the Monsters, go to the iHeartRadio app. Use the Talk Back feature, and you can be heard on the Frank Gay Services Hot Tank Hot Take Pipeline. <laughs> hot Tank? Hot Tank. It's time for the hot take. I thought he said hot taint. <laughs> Nope, different thing. Uh, so here we go. Hot take number one. It's Brush Your Tongue's Five Things. Yesterday had the CMAs, NASCAR, and WrestleMania, or as I call it, the Redneck Triple Crown. Right. <laughs> Cody Rhodes wins a fake fight in 30 minutes that he would have lost in 30 seconds in real life. Right. Halloween keeps me in business, but this eclipse is like the Super Bowl for eye doctors. We found out Russ's type is basically any chick. Really? The girl from Ozark? Who's next? That loser Caitlin Clark? March Madness ends tonight. Triple R is cheering for the Huskies, which is the same size as his snazzy red suit. Oh, he said he got a Husky suit. I do have a Husky suit. The uh, uh, First of all, sir, the, the girl from Ozarks is hot. 
I think so. I, yeah. some, uh, the, uh, Ruth, something is weirdly attractive about her, I yeah. think. And, and she's going to be the new sur- Silver Surfer. Uh, and uh, and I know that's not a popular opinion, but I, I think she's very attractive. I can't wait for it. Hot take. Good morning, guys. This whole eclipse thing has really just gone too crazy. Like, we just had one in 17. It wasn't a huge deal. I remember when I was a kid, I seen a, a eclipse. And in school, we made little shadow box things yep. to watch the eclipse without eclipse glasses. And you could see it. And I, I remember that. And you put a little pinhole in the paper or something. And people have lost their minds nowadays. It's unbelievable, man. My goodness. It's it's an eclipse. Take it easy. It, it happens. Hey, All take right. it easy. Bye, guys. People are excited about it. They think uh, aliens are yep. going to come at the, yeah. right, uh, the right time. Right after. And it. don't eat during the eclipse because the or radiation will make you sick. And the cell phones aren't going to work. Like, all that stuff is not yeah. true, by the way. But. I hope I turn into an Incredible Hulk type situation. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. I hope the aliens do come. During the eclipse. Yeah? Yeah. It'll be cool. We'll get to chill with they, them. they might be cool. Yeah, yeah they, might, they might be nice, I know. You know, nice, uh, nice folks. I think they should come. All right, what's next? Biden probably let them in. Hot take! <laughs> Something else that's going to happen during the eclipse is that all the normal werewolves turn into super werewolves and what? can't be killed during that four-minute time period. That's right! So there's that. And then if the solar yeah, eclipse underworld. winks at you... You get superpowers, but you go insane. So those are two things we got to watch out for. Definitely. Is that, is that from Underworld? I think that's Underworld. Oh, was it Underworld? Or Underworld. Or was it that's Twilight? from a movie. If the eclipse winks at you? No, it, they, they, you can't You can't kill a werewolf during a solar eclipse. Oh, I didn't they know. They become super werewolves. I thought that was Twilight. Huh? Is it Twilight or is it's it Underworld? Just, it's such a short amount of time to be a super werewolf. Hmm. Hey, I take what you can I, get. Hot hey, man, take. four minutes is an eternity for yeah. some. Yeah, hot take. <laughs> Russ versus Meat Stick. Who will win? Still a better story than WrestleMania. <laughs> Damn. Damn. WrestleMania was good. Go back on our YouTube channel and watch that break where Russ, for a solid seven minutes, got his ass to whooped. <laughs> I, get in there. I finally got in there, though. Uh, hot take. Hey, Savannah, I just want to let you know I expect a training montage video of you training that slap arm okay. uh, to some weights and the Rocky montage music. Done. Hot thank more WrestleMania. Good morning, monsters. This is Carlos from Claremont. Just want to say what's up. How you guys doing? Hey, Carlos. Keep up the good work. Thank you. And I'm happy today because Cody Rhodes beat Roman Reigns. Finally, he finished his story. See ya. <laughs> I mean, for the people that care about this, they care they about care. this. It was yeah. cr- when they showed the crowd, people were crying. <laughs> people yeah. were, it was it, it was about that, man. It was funny. All man. our hot takes are just wrestling and eclipse stuff. Hot take. Okay. Hey, with today's eclipse, it's essential that everyone realizes they definitely need protection. Everyone should be wearing a condom. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, will it be a super werewolf baby if you get someone pregnant at exactly the time oh, of the eclipse? Oh, like a blade situation. Yeah, and then it could just yeah. eat its way out of your stomach. Isn't that what happened to Blade? He was born during an eclipse half vampire situation? I don't know. No, I thought his mom, so that mom means, got... So, like, eclipse is only four minutes long, right? Yeah. So you got to last four minutes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well... Then... <laughs> what is wrong with them, Angel? I don't know. <laughs> hey, I want to remind you that the Monster Brew Bus is I this, genuinely don't. this coming <laughs> Saturday. We want to thank Wasi's Meat Market and also just call Mo for sponsoring the Monster Hell Brew yeah. Bus. Appreciate it, guys. Let's if you want to join us on Saturday... You can. Uh, all you got to do is join, like, like Brew Lando Brewing. We will be there at like 11:45. We're gonna pull up in the big bus. Come say hi. It'll be me and Bo and Angel and Ryan and Jack Bradshaw and all of y'all. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Then we go to Toll Road Brewing at 1:45. By the way, the same time that the Okoe Music Festival is going on, so that's gonna be a blast. And then we end up at Claremont Brewing at four o'clock. Uh, M- Monster Music Man Matt will be performing live. I know yeah. Daisy Del Toro is gonna show up there. Uh, that at, at Claremont Brewing, so it'll be a big time. And then later that night, Angel is going to be out at uh, Elixir. Elixir. I'll be there from 9 to 11. 
and uh, we're going to be I'll be hosting UFC 300. Come on down. I'm going to have a big old table and I need you guys there to witness me being awesome. That's right. He's going to be awesome. <laughs> and if you want to get your tickets for Earth Day birthday, get them at Elixir in downtown Orlando. You don't have to pay the uh, uh, all the uh, service fees and Very stuff. Very true point, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's a good thing to do. And then remember, for Earth Day birthday, we will have a monster chill area. Uh, it's a building now because we've got a, a bigger area. Thanks, air condition. Dave. Shielding. Uh, the bigger area, you're going to have angel spinning tunes. I'll be there with some of my Triple uh, R blended whiskey, the official whiskey of Earth Day birthday. Uh, and then later on that night, it's the uh, Edgewater High School Hall of Fame. If you want to join that, you can at, at Edgewater High School at 7 o'clock. Uh, Savannah, what you got? Follow me on Instagram at Savannah Bone. I love you guys. You're good to see all my adventures in Australia. And I uh, love you guys, and can't wait to get back for the slap fest. Uh, Angel, what you got? Hit me up on any social media platform. It's official, Angel. Holmesy. Check out my new YouTube channel about putting up tents at Earth Day birthday. It's called Low Stakes. And <laughs> oh, nice hey, one. Tomorrow we're going to have uh, a gentleman who uh, won, I think, two now Super Bowl rings with Kansas City. Uh, the kicker for uh, for Kansas City will be with Mr. Townsend. Uh, so we got him coming in tomorrow and a bunch of other stuff. So make sure you come back tomorrow. Stay tuned for the News Junkie right after after the monsters in at three o'clock is the Jim Colbert show. We're back tomorrow to do our thing from Savannah, Angel, and Ryan. And the leader of this mess of merry men and one smoke show of a crocodile lady. Woo! Russ, whole lot of world to rock rock. like crap. Hey guys, thank you so much for listening. We ain't gotta go home. We gotta get the hell up on out of here. Swirls. I kind of slap. You do words good? Prove it. The talk back feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Doing a quick checkup on some of the major roadways. Traffic is up to speed on Florida's Turnpike. No major problems on the beach line. If I-4 is a part of your commute, you could expect your regular delays before US-27 and approaching the beach line. Around the perimeter of I-4, no major problems on State Road 429 or the Greenway. The traffic lights are working incorrectly eastbound and westbound on Moss Park Road at the Greenway. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. At Rasmussen University, we offer 50-plus programs from health sciences to 